What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Beat Strategy. I'm Pete. I'm a top player in risk global domination. The daily release on YouTube. I do weekday streams on Twitch. And if you are interested in getting better at the game of risk, if you're interested in looking at this ugly mug, if you'd like the two shows a day, 14 shows a week, holy fucking shit! Let's get ready to five round rumble currently known as speed blitz formerly known as five round rumble we haven't seen the last unexplored frontier of competitive risk and i'm very excited <laughs> to be a part of it do this one live on twitch hosted by nathaniel on the event labs in the main server ladies and gentlemen the first ever five round rumble tournament who's excited Ladies and gentlemen, flying flag of the United States playing blue with crackle 69. 1200, 64 hours, 2671 games, gone 440 and 573. I'm playing as yellow, flying the flag of Tokalau, if you know what I'm saying. Apes flying poo. 1929 hours played, 4700 games, and 866 to 2129 FFA record. Playing as white, flying the flag of Canada. And horse boy. 538 hours and 14. 56 games gone. 48 and 160. The old Peach Mound. Flying the dragon flag of Bhutan. Grandmaster. Was 24, 91 hours and 67. 66 games. And my FFA record is 2356 to 787. Are we waiting for an additional player? Or how is this lobby going to work? We're playing Speed Blitz. The settings, Rivertown Advance, auto fixed, 60 second turn timer with fog on, blizzards off, unstable portals, no alliances, balance blitz dice, and one expert AI. And we're just waiting for a final seat or a second bot. We're going to see which way this one goes. And finally, playing as orange, flying the fly of Canada, we have Zango, Grandmaster, 439 hours, 918 games gone, 214 and 267. Ladies! Gentlemen, we got what is this a three game set? Uh, scoring for five round rumble tournament is fuck. Is that please tell me it's pinned in the okay, it's got to be pinned somewhere. So the tournament is scored in a specific way. Can I link to the scoring rules and info? All right, Wapa. Uh, scoring if you win from the first, second, or third position, you earn seven points. If you win from the fourth or fifth position, you earn three. If you win from the second position or from the final position, you earn two. Um, the only way you win any points, you, the only way you earn any points by winning the game, and it's heavily favored in the mode to go latest. So apes flying, apes flying poo is advantage in the first game. We will be playing a, a set of three games. All right, now we're going to focus on the game because as much fun as I like having singing Eminem and talking smack. Thank you, Nick D. Brew. And thank you, Andre Hedges. As much fun as I have talking smack, I want to win a tournament game. You know how it does. That was interesting. You guys just see how the cards populated towards the end of the first turn? <laughs> Peace, it's the game style. Yeah, perhaps. All right, so we know Crackle is here. This is the bonus the old Krakul is trying to take. Krakul's in the first seat. I'm in the third, so if I can win, I get seven points, but don't actually look like I have a great line to a bono. Go for a Rhodes bonus. I don't know how safe that is. Can I take a turn one bonus? Mm. Okay, we're going to assume Horus takes the bridge. Yeah, Horus has the bridge. Okay. I don't know what I do here. I don't like this. I don't like this very much at all. You kind of need a bonus on Rivertown. I don't have anything for first turn. Do I go whole hog for a two turn? Like, that's already kind of shitty. Uh, well, how big is my hog? Huge. Okay. Mm. 
This one is worth more. This one is worth more. Ah. It's still like a... Ah. We don't know. If I can get that, maybe I'm in an okay way, but I'm pretty far from getting it. The bot might cause some chaos, which is nice. Oh, a four stack and crackles bonus is decent. Okay, bot's taking this here. Hmm. Does that help me or hurt me? Thank you, older than dirt. I didn't realize that dirt was particularly old, but... Uh... What's with the color coded circles? I'm just showing I'm showing everybody where uh where people are. So Crackle's trying to take this blue, trying to take this. Uh proper name of the bonus is Mayor's District. Uh Horus already has the bridge. So bridge is plus three. I can show you guys the bonuses um on Rivertown events if you'd like. Uh we have Court District two, so is North Watch, so is Mayor's District, West Rooms three, so is West Roads. Bridge and East Roads and Clerical Quarter. Slum is worth four, so is Merchant District. Fishing District is worth five, and so is General District. If you can hold it. Hey, you Baza. Nathaniel says Arco uh, got a win from the third seat, so he got a seven pointer. I got a win. I got a seven pointer in my practice game, as you recall, my friend. <laughs> Crackle not happy. Maybe I get a clutch ten set or something. Anything can happen. There's three rumbles. Ooh, that's not good. Just like, don't be there, crap. Just like, just like, please move. I needed that. <laughs> no. No. Crackle, no. Please don't fuck me. Move the four. Move the four. Oh, what a homie. Okay. Four is held. Apes also held a plus three. No, Apes just got went last. Okay, so Apes wants to be here, I'm guessing. Oh, fuck. All right, Horace already trying to take a second bonus. Fook. This is too tight. Well, gonna turn three plus four with no set. Don't know that we're winning round one. <laughs> what a nice shirt. Thanks, Yexen. Ooh, bot is fighting Crackle in the bonus. Crackle is trying to take the bot ticket turn one. No, but Zango has 12 territories. Okay. So Zango's trying to take this. I assume he gets it soon. Maybe not. Looks like Apes already has. Oh, Apes got a turn one. Oh, ho, ho! Turn one plus five in the final seat. Very, very good spawn for yellow. Yeah, that is good game. I agree. I think we see a see a two point round for the first game. Portal shift.
me having a portal open in the bonus. I'm trying to take suboptimal. I don't know. Don't look good here. Zango also in this game. Zango is orange. Do the players again. The blue player is Crackle. White player is Horus. Red is myself. Purple is a bot. Zango is orange. And apes fly in poo in the ultimate seat. Crackle gets a 10 set on three. That'll help him. So some of the things about five round rumble. Um, mode heavily favors going latest because the win condition of the mode is who controls the territories at the end of the fifth round. Um, how do you mitigate that as players in the early seats? Well, you can play very aggressively to them. It's a very aggressive mode to begin with. I can hit Crackle here, but I don't want to fuck him over. Yeah, Horse just takes a second bonus easy. There's nothing I can do about this. I have to hope for like a. First of all, I have to hope for really good dice. We do get. I also have to hope the bot doesn't break me. Let's see. We take a plus four turn three. That sucks. Do we have a 10 set? We do not. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Zango now is the plus three of Western Ruins. We assume he has 12 territories, so he gets seven troops. Looks real good. Ooh, 10, 7, and 3 as well. The cards are working. Well, here's my hope that the bot punishes someone else. Otherwise, I'm just stuck in a corner with a slow bonus and no set. Luckwise, this went about as bad as it can go. So maybe we, uh... Maybe we get better luck. Why would you split that way? You'd split it here. So goes a two point on two bonuses. Don't pop me there, apes. He's swear I'm gonna break him? Or is that ready for a run late game? Okay. Crackle holds a plus two. You need to set whenever you have a high set. Yeah, you set as early as you can, basically. If you are if you have a low set, but the set allows you to take a bonus early, you do it. This map is bonus heavy, right? Everyone's going to take a piece of the board. So now we understand we have Crackle, Zango, Zango, Apes, Horus, Horus. Crackle's now working on bonus two. I don't know who's up here. Um, I think the bot, but this board gets organized quickly. <laughs> Six year Pete, thank you. I'm going for uh Lock Sack McGee over here. If you're on the last seat, maybe stacking setup late. Yeah, exactly. Last seat is advantaged already. So you actually don't have to do much. You can just Relax and wait. Let's got a nice little bonus quarter. It's turn four. <laughs> this is a five round rumble. So this game ends in two turns. I have two more actions to take. This will be my second last action. I think this game is just too little too late for me. I'm super weak. I'm by far the weakest player. We'll wait. We'll wait for another game. One of the benefits is we're seeing three rounds, so three games per round of tournament. Oops. 
Okay, we have a 10 set. What do we do to stop an ape's rush? Nothing, right? I don't think anyone's addressing apes. I certainly am not. Just suicide into him, make him lose. I don't want to do that. I'd rather apes get a two point round than someone in the earlier round. So it's. Who do I even want to punish? I don't want to feed the game. There's an, and it, there really hasn't been very much of consequence that I could have done differently. Starting with no cards would fix it so everyone sets once. No, starting with no cards might fix it so that nobody gets sets. You can just miss a set. Right? If you have five cards at the end of the fifth turn, you you might just miss miss a trade and have no benefit. Zango seems to have stopped apes, which we like. Let's see if cards pops the twelve. Yeah, Apes beats the shit out of him using the portals. Mm -hmm. All right, I have a line of attack I'm going to attempt. Me horse's final turn. Does he get my five? He might. You know, Steve. Thank you. Dude, moonshot. <laughs> and for a quickie, we're in for three quickies. I'm 50-50 on horse hitting my five. Yeah, 11 hits a five for sure, and it gets in. Or are you just being another? I'm great, man. Well, the reason he wouldn't hit my five is that he knows I'm on five cards. I'm the last guy to set. So that just, if he breaks me, it goes up his ass. If he doesn't break me, it might go a different way. Yeah. Guard a piece of board. Will 16 be enough? Sorry, it'll be 15. We might hold 15. I don't think we do, though. Horse can't retaliate because he goes before me. Apes is pissed. 15. Let's see if 15 is enough. I'm expecting to lose this territory. I see losing this one is less likely, but still possible. I, I figure the eight goes like this and then this, which hopefully guards my four, but we'll see. Zang only gets three. 15 is still a lot of territories. Triathlete gaming, catching a live stream. Holy shit! How you doing, triathlete? And how you doing? Your ex-waifu, longtime YouTube watcher, 
So happy to finally catch you live. Welcome in, guys. How are you today? Nathaniel says, 18 is generally the magic number. I've seen wins as low as 14 or 15. I think that was my best line of play. Try and guard 15. So we'll see if it, it we'll see if it's enough. No expectation. That whole game just felt it felt like that was my best line to play this game. I played it. Take our shot. Why would White not go into the bonus you stole? Because White doesn't get another turn. This five round run, we see the round counter up here. This is the final round of the game. This is why yellow was advantaged and why orange was so aggressively hitting them. I figure Ape still wins this game. It's my intuition. Maybe I'm wrong. You got a bad feeling? Ah, yeah, I don't think I win. That's okay. Older than Dirt finally made a stream? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't think we win. I think someone has more. I think yellow easily is more. I think orange might, depending on who hit who. And yellow? Two-point game? Apes. Yeah. Yellow won that one for sure. Game two. We going back in for game two. The bot is black. Let's see how the... Let's see who the spawn favors. Okay. When is the next Risk World Championships? We don't know. The main server's going to have another tournament. We don't know if we're going to call it the Risk World Championships, though. So waiting to see how that all shakes out. All right. Well, I have a bottom right position again. I'm in the fourth seat, so I'd only earn three points if I win. Um, hmm. Apes, apes spawns in the ultimate seat yet again. Lucky apes. Okay. Well, this looks good for Zango. I mean, I do have a lot of material bottom right. Can I snag that? Quarantine H apes won game one and he won it from the final seat. Who said rum? <laughs> How you doing, duck? You thirsty? What the fuck? Four starts with fucking four? Hmm. You miss rum? I don't blame you. I would miss it. I said rum, yes. I do. It was I. Okay, well, I guess Sango doesn't have that. <laughs> cool. Can I push the bot out? What does the bot do? Please don't add to the three. Go somewhere else. Mm. Top right? I don't know. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, that's okay. Dice? Come on, dice. Guard three position sucks. We'll take it though. We'll take a turn one bono. Hey, what's up, Zam? I was watching one of your YouTube videos and I thought, I wonder if Pete's live. <laughs> I am. Hi. <laughs> Hi. What's up, perfect dice? You know me, Leona. Luxac McGee. Okay.
Don't see action from Sango. Thinking, thinking, thinking. I love that duck. <laughs> what the fuck is this gif? <laughs> Pete, after the game, can you listen to Rum and Red Bull? What's that? Is it a band? Okay, Ape's not hitting me. We happy. Ape's not hitting me means he guards me, means I can take a second bonus in a second position, but I'm fourth seed. Yes. Okay. Crackle has 12 territories. Happy for him. What else can I see? What information can I glean from this board? Okay. I can glean this Crackle's bottom left. Okay. <laughs> cool. Crackle is in Western Ruins. Uh, Horus, off bonus, has to hit a two and a three. He's not going to be happy about that. He's going to try. Hits the three first. Hits the two first, hopes to get good dice. Okay. Do we see him go 5e3? I don't think we do. I don't think he's willing to hinge his game on it. Yeah, on a 73% roll. Too bad. Okay, bot does what? Please don't break through my through the portal. That would be heartbreaking. Literally breaking too. But also heart. Yeah, I totally lose that. Fuck. Okay. Uh, I mean, the bot is just luck, right? So the bot steals the whole bonus that I spent my turn on taking. Bot eats my first turn, and I die in fucking three turns. All right. We go on to game three. Too bad. So what's going on, guys? Why can't you see emotes? That's okay. It's a very lucky tournament, so. That's the way it goes. Do I have cards? Maybe cards make up for it. Nope. It's possible that the bot... Hey, what happens if the bot wins, right? There's no points, right? If the bot wins, nobody earns any points. I'm pretty sure. No points if a bot wins. That's right. Hey, Nathaniel, what do you think? Have I been doing all right so far? Pete, you look like you belong in the casino, catching card counters and beating this shit on the board. Can I also sever their fingers? Can I threaten them with drills and other assorted power tools? Am I thinking about the movie Casino too much? I love Casino. Joe Pesci is amazing. I feel like Joe Pesci is underrated. Casino is greater than Goodfellas. Dude, Goodfellas is awesome too. I think you've been doing fine. You've played as well as your luck is loud. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. I just... I don't like to, you know, bitch about bad luck too much. But I feel like part of the reason we don't see competitive five-round rubble is you just have to make your peace with how lucky it is. Connor from Roadhouse was Pete. Is that, uh, what's his name? Um, Patrick Swayze. Tell me I'm Patrick Swayze. You really, you really want to get on my good side. <laughs> Tell me I'm Patrick Swayze. Okay, well, if the bot has two bonuses, I should do everything in my fucking power to get them away from me. Who has anything? Oops. 
Because if I don't, I never will. We trade a six set on three. On four, rather. Godfather is greater than Scarface is greater than Goodfellas is greater than Casino. Yeah, see, I tried to watch Godfather. It was too slow. I liked Scarface, but not very much. I thought Goodfellas and Casino. I, I, I guess I'm a Scorsese guy. Would there be a better map for Five on Rebel? I would assume that Nathaniel has all sorts of settings um, planned. How many weeks does this tournament go for? These are fucking sick Five Round Rumble settings. These are great. <laughs> so I'm really excited to see what else comes. You liked Irishman? I don't know, man. The the fake aging kind of did me in. You know, I just can't believe that Robert De Niro is anything other than a 70-year-old man. Six weeks of point accumulation in the finals. Yeah, I think, I think these fucking settings are sick, frankly. I think these are about as good as they get for five-round rumble. But you got to... Um, the only thing I would change, given that I've played a game and a half so far, so I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. The only thing I would change would be I would want to play more games, right? I want to play like five. It's just too perfect. Five round rubble, five games a week sort of thing. It's not that big of an ask. It's still only 25 turns. You get that done in like an hour-ish. So to be honest, the bot taking your bonus is a skill issue. Thank you, Johnny. I always can count on fucking Johnny to be on my side. <laughs> Favorite actor. Hmm. Favorite actor for what? Six games would be better. So each play. That's what I was saying, Leona. But it, there's only five players because there's always a bot. So it would be five player, five game, five round. Rumble. <laughs> All right. Horse getting a bunch of shit. Crackle is nine. I'm like out of this game, so it doesn't even fucking matter. I call it as I see it. I have high expectations. You're, you're a mensch, Johnny. You know what that means? Anyone ever call you a mensch before? You're a real human being. It's a compliment. It's meant as a compliment. Do it take the bonus? Of course I'm going to take the bonus. Surely there isn't anything other than a one in the pocket. <sighs> bot sets get to 10. You see why I removed that shit? Did you guys see why I removed that bot material from my fucking side of the fucking map? Sets gets the 10. I knew that bot was going to continue to fuck me in the ass. <laughs> Look at your feet. Thank you, Vaza. The bot might win. It's fucking massive. All right, let's see what's in the pocket. Get the fuck out of my face. I have too many, too many inactive troops is the problem. Hello, Pete from the UK. How you doing, Jax? <laughs> Don't worry, the ball will cross half the map to break your bonus. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh. So, yeah, almost identical. I just inverted with the bot. Every other player is in the same seat except for me. I went from having a potential seven points to a potential three. This is fine, Pete. This is fine. This is fine. Everyone did poorly this game. It wasn't just me. Crackle's doing all right. 
This is a tournament. This is a five round rumble tournament. We're in game two of three. Uh, the only player with points so far is Apes on two points. You are in seven in the first seat, seven in the second seat, seven in the third seat, except the bot. Bot won't earn shit if it wins. Uh, uh, fourth and fifth seat earn two or earn three points, and the ultimate seat earns two. You better win so I can watch this on you smugly on YouTube. <laughs> it's the best way to watch it. I'm gonna oh, listen. I'm gonna try to win. <laughs> you guys know me. I certainly don't try to lose games. Interesting addition to this tourney. You're in VC with someone different each round. Working together is allowed. Long term alliances allowed would be interesting. Eh. You need that for more. You need more rounds than just one to actually coordinate with people. What's up, Texan? Howdy. I love watching your vids while I write my novels. Keep it up, man. We love it. What do you, uh, what type of novels do you write? That's exciting. I like your shirt. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for describing me as positive early. I do try. Anyway, I've taken my birthday shrooms. So apologize, man, if writing something I'll regret. No, nope. not at all. We are here for you, Arkin. Don't you hit me, Horace. Don't you hit me, oh, you motherfucker. What's he trying to do? Oh, he's just trying to make me lose, too. <laughs> sure. That's fine. Bot starts with, ooh, somebody tried to cut the plot down to size. Too bad fucking apes has fucking five cards. Pete, I just pulled a double joker for the third time in a game. That is wild, sir. That is absolutely unconscionable, and you should be proud of yourself. Two, three. Yeah, I mean, look, we're dead, but let's just make sure. Fuck. Oh. 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 The last chance to get any fucking territories, so we might as well do our worst. What is the most efficient line? This one. I mean, that's a decent amount of territories, right? Let's see if anyone gets fucking back there. <laughs> Let's see, right? Who hits me? Does Zango hit me? Does Apes hit me is the question. Fuck off, Sango. Fuck off. Yeah, taste dick. Taste the dick. Yes. Okay. Dude, 21 still good. How hard does fucking apes hit me? 21 is pretty good. How hard? Come on. Come on! Okay, he's got the 10 set. He's not on my side of the board. Oh no! It's a 20! <laughs> Apes wins again. <laughs> Fuck! Uh. Those sound to me losing it. All right, well, we tried. Congratulations to Apes Flying Poo for having half the fucking board. <laughs> and game three. All right, so for game three, our last chance to earn points. So far, we have Apes Flying Poo on the board with four points. 
Everyone else, big fat old goose egg. Thank you, Jock Snows at the Prime. Thanks, man. Just get six and turn over skill issue. Yeah, you're telling me, Leona. You're telling me. These are interesting. These are interesting puzzles to solve. We need the the way you do five round rumble properly, properly, is you just make sure you have a very large sample, right? So I, I'm assuming this tournament has no elimination. Um, I don't know that the scoring is how I would do it, but then again, I don't pretend to know. I assume the thing I was iterated this a bit, but but the one thing I would say is we want more games, right? We don't want one, two, three games. We want like five minimum. We want the number of games equal to the number of players minimum, I think. Small cuts after round four, there should be zero cuts. There should be absolutely zero cuts in this tournament. That's a mistake. Don't do that. Don't, like, you can just change that. You don't have to do that. There's gradual elimination. Why? What's the upside? The shortest worth three points? Give it to me. Give me all of the free points. Why no cuts? Because um, of, so what we're trying to do is we're trying to adapt a inherently volatile uh, mode for competition. So one of the ways you mitigate against luck is a larger sample size. So reducing the sample size in any way is a mistake, in my opinion. Okay, so Apes <laughs> goes last again. <laughs> well played. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, good enough. <laughs> this is fine. Apes hackerage confirms. I'm going to kill Apes, fine. yes. This is what I'll do. This is, yeah. <laughs> This, this is, we're gonna kill you. We're gonna fucking kill you. <laughs> Team up and kill apes. What, defeated to crackle? <laughs> oh my god. This is hilarious. Ah, uh, what do we do here, folks? Mm. Can I get Western Ruins turn one? It's not possible, right? What am I going to get? I'm going to get four troops? No. Not possible. Yes, thank you, RJ. We do try. Want to try to get seven points winning from an early seat? I'm not in an early seat. I'm in the three-point seat. Where are you gonna have this casting of only a black? I don't. I don't get that joke. Yeah. <laughs> everyone, everyone hit snapes. <laughs> everyone hit some. Everyone just hit some turn one. I love it. Is stream sniping a thing in these games? Stream sniping is not a big problem in risk tournaments yet. So, like, sniping is not a big problem in risk tournaments yet. I would say stream sniping would be, like, if any of these guys were in the stream. And we can check, right? Crowd gets turn one. Yeah, I mean, look, you can look in the... Um, somewhere it says here who's watching the stream. He just takes a bonus. Hit him. Don't give him all the points. Yeah. <laughs> mm. 
did Horus. Horus got the fucking bridge in two different rounds. Hmm. Death to apes. <laughs> Okay, Bog gets four. Make apes extinct. That would be bad for us. Ah, my two! Hey, Aries. Hey, Pete! You are Captain Picard, having just learned about the illegal cloaking experiments that took place on the Pegasus. As now Admiral Pressman is escorted by Worf to the brig, he remarks, I have a lot of friends at Starfleet Command, Captain. In the coming weeks, you discover... The pressman is right! Starfleet seems to want to bury this like last time. What do you do? Is it out of your hands now? I actually don't remember how that episode ends. Um, here's the thing. Picard both shows loyalty to the Federation and the rules of the Federation, but he also shows more loyalty to the principles of the Federation. So my viewpoint as an outsider has been that the ridiculous orthodoxy they show to the fucking Treaty of Algernon, right? The the uh, presumption that the Federation shall never develop cloaking technology is just insulting. It's like, are you fucking kidding me? Right? You're going to keep yourself at a tactical disadvantage for how long? Um, so the way I've always taken that has been... Pardon me, let me play my turn. Nope. Uh, the way I've always taken that has been that. And like, obviously I'm not a captain or an admiral of the Federation, but why would the Federation artificially keep themselves at a strategic and tactical disadvantage? Um, so whether or not we vilify Pressman, what do, I don't particularly hit him, hit him. Yeah. Oh, wait, is he going in? Please be going in crackle. Um, I don't, I don't particularly care or, or presume to talk about whether or not the Admiral, um, good. Yeah, hit him. Well, well played. Well played. Can't give this guy all the fucking points. Um, but what I will say is, it's not about friends at Starfleet, it's about principle. And for Picard, it's always going to be about principle. So if Picard wants Starfleet to have a cloaking device for whatever reason... Is it out of our hands? Well, section 31 might disagree. We're getting really deep into the weeds, but, uh, holy shit, Horace boy getting fucking nine a turn. Oh, and a 10 set on three. Lucky fucking, oh, the Pete men. No, that's not a set. All right. You know what, folks? It was not meant to be this day, but we shall live to fight another day. And that's why you want more days. Horace just takes a third bonus, which makes total fucking sense. <laughs> Good game, horse boy. So, does widespread resilient interest in Star Trek come down to good writing? Aries' questions make me think so. Oh yeah, it's I'm look. I'm a big plot guy, so I can't speak to what general interest likes or dislikes. I wouldn't even pretend to know, as if I'm the average person. But what I will say is, I watch movies for plot. I watch TV for plot. Give me good stories. Give me new stories. Give me interesting stories. I completely failed to anticipate your method of response, and now I've ruined my next planned question. <laughs> did I not? Did I do a bad job? Was that not how you would? Okay. What did you expect? Where did you expect me to go with that? You expected me to go. I want to read the question again. You expect me to go. Uh. Is it out of your hands now? I don't think Captain Picard has issue with... I fucked up. I'm sorry. I fucked up with the Star Trek question. No. Oh, shit. Zango's taking a plus five. Okay. Well, I guess we don't get a fucking set again. What the fuck, man? Pete, would you ever watch Battle of I loved. Yeah. I've, not only have I watched it, I think I've watched it two or three times all the way through. I love Babylon 5. Picard is Starfleet. No, it was fine. The next question was going to be about peace with the Romulans versus cloaking technology. <laughs> I was anticipating something about leaders being corrupt. I don't know. We would hope that in the era of Star Trek, 
Um, the leaders are slightly less corrupt. I mean, the incentives are hopefully aligned with humanity, right? Um, hopefully. Nathaniel likes B5? Fuck yeah, man. Did you guys know that... Ba okay, so for those of you who don't know what Babylon 5 is, Babylon 5 is a star... Uh, as a uh, science fiction television show from the 90s. Um, it was written by uh, J. Michael Straczynski, and it was the first ever uh, television show on, t on uh, cable TV that did season-long uh, plot arcs in the writing stage. So most science fiction, most television at the time before was episodic. And you guys take this for granted now. Um, when I was a kid, I watched Nick at Night. We had one of those old uh, HU satellite dishes in the backyard. And one of the things that I got into is I watched old sitcoms from like the 50s and the 60s. So I watched The Dick Van Dyke Show and F Troop and Get Smart and The Avengers, all sorts of like really, really old school TV shows um, when I was a little kid because my father had access to American TV, which was like super cool for us. Um, yeah, horse is killing it. So my appreciation for the way television has, has evolved is not lost. Television has made a significant improvement, generally speaking. You like Dick Van Dyke? Yeah. You know, he's still alive. Dick Van Dyke is still alive. This man was making television in the 50s, <laughs> 70 years ago. You hit blue? I mean, I kind of have to, but I don't know. How big is blue? What was crap again last turn? I don't want to put ah, it. starts with 10. If I don't, I die. He's still alive and dancing better than me. Yeah. Of course, starts with 10. Both of these guys are starting with 10. Well, I don't think Apes is winning game fucking four, that's for sure. I have a 10 set on four. No, I have no set on. Are you fucking kidding me, game? Fuck it. Suck my fucking cock with no set. This is really infuriating. All right, if I piss off Crackle, what happens? Do we roll the dice and find out? <sighs> Those dice were shit. He's on the portal. I saw him on the portal. He still gets eight. Shouldn't be all that pissed off. Which character from Sex and the City would you be into and why? Um, Charlotte. No. Uh, yeah, Charlotte. I was always into Charlotte. Big fan. It's not a hard question at all. It took me a, a while to type it out. I've never been a Carrie fan. Um, she's got a bit of a schnoz. Uh, <laughs> never been a Miranda fan. What's the other one? Never been a Samantha fan. Oh, my goodness. Don't break both, Crackle. I need those bonuses. Always been a Charlotte fan. Easy answer. Asked and answered. Fuck! What? God damn it! You are not happy with fucking plus eight a turn? Plus eight a turn wasn't good enough for this man. I feel like you enjoy Cheers and Frasier. Never watched Cheers. I've seen all 11 seasons of Frasier. Loved it. Loved the show. You can always just set suicide in my total. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> but this fucking game sucks too. Because I don't want to make Crackle lose. That just feeds the wind to Horus. Let's see how, how Horde Horus extends. Never been a Samantha fan. The chick would take you out for a $200 steak. And lick your asshole kind of like Kyle. What's wrong with that? 
You're saying you're saying two completely different things simultaneously, Arkin. You're saying that like that would be a bad thing. <laughs> Zapes die here. I don't know where he is, but he just put in a ten cents. I don't think he dies. Mm. Okay, does the bot do anything impactful? I don't even care about this outcome. I think Horus wins, frankly. So I should probably hit Horus boy. Horus has already acted though. So I actually think my correct line of play is to hit Crackle. So I think it's strategically correct to hit Crackle in addition to being, you know, the vengeful play. Hey, you disturbed bassist. Hey, did you hear this uh, crazy disturbed? Um, it's It wasn't me by Shaggy Mashup that I was putting on stream the other day. You might enjoy. Hold on, let me just smack the shit out of Crackle quickly. All right, fine. You know what? I don't even care. I want Horace to win. Couldn't you weren't happy with the fucking plus eight? Wasn't enough for you? Oh, fuck off, losing fucking. T God damn it. Ah! All right, we get no points this round. <laughs> Missed it. <laughs> Strategically and emotionally. Well, not even emotionally. It's just like, ah, man, I couldn't have a fucking bonus. Fuck you. Stop Horus. We still wins. You're not stopping him. You're not stopping him. You got to stop Horace, boy. Or he still wins. I, I don't think Crackle wins. I think Horace wins the game. I think Horace has enough for it. Ah. Too bad. Dude, my dice are so shit. So... I will say that we've played three games. All three of them, the luck has gone very badly all three times. It's like you just need more games, right? That's how you that's how you solve for this. You think it's a first he win? I don't even know. I think Apes is okay. Crackle might win. How much board? So Crackle is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Crackle's okay. Horse is one, two. I don't know. It's tough to say. Apes trying to hit. Horse is good. Rolling dice, getting good luck. It's anyone's game. I don't win, that's for sure. Crackle. Yeah, well, good enough then. Good for you. All right, there you have that. That's three games. Uh, we are going to let participants vote for five. Why do you care about. Uh, Marcellus. Why do you care about the average player's opinion? You know they don't know what they want. <laughs> They're too dumb. <laughs> Anyways, do what you guys want to do. Um, I liked that a lot. I need more of that because otherwise it's just a bunch of shit happening, right? But I had fun with you guys. Um, and that's really all that matters. So thank you for watching. Hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you found some of it fun and entertaining, maybe even a little bit educational and informative. If you are interested in getting better at the game for risk, I invite you to. So it's democracy. Yeah, democracy of dumbasses versus other dumbasses. If you're interested in getting better at the game of risk, I invite you to subscribe to our channel. Let's come along the ride with me. We have a daily release on YouTube. I do weekday streams on Twitch and for all of you on the path to world domination. Good games and good luck. What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete strategy. I am Pete. I'm a top player in risk global domination. A daily release on YouTube. I do weekday streams on Twitch. And if you are interested in getting better at the game of risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channels. Come along the ride with me. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going in to the five round rumble tournament. This is five round rumble tournament week two. Uh, Nathaniel and in his infinite wisdom has decided to buff the points 
the opportunities for points from three chances to five. We'll be playing five games of five round rumble. Good luck, guys. Uh, you score seven points for the first, second, and third seat. Uh, what is it for? Someone, someone refresh my memory on the scoring. If you win in the final seat, you get two points. Um, if you win in the fourth and fifth seat, you get three points, I think, and then seven from position what? Seven, 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 three, three, two. All right. You heard it from the man himself. Thank you, Nathaniel, for hosting this tournament yet again. I'm really happy that uh, someone has taken up the mantle of Five Round Rumble. And we are going into week two with zero points, so wish me luck, folks. I get five chances to earn some points today. We're going to be playing Dracon's Fortress. So the way Five Round Rumble works, if you're not familiar, um, the game is scored based on the player with the most territories at the end of the game. So going in the last seat... Heavily favored. This map is going to be the wacky do backy because uh, I'm playing as black because this magenta bot is going to be a pain in the arse. But I actually think I have a cool spawn here. So let's see how it works out. Don't hit my three. Fuck. All right. Less cool now. Fair enough, Bart. Fair enough. Go the other way or some shit. Fuck. <sighs> Fine. Okay. It, it's all about bot dodging, as I can tell. Okay, so red wants to be there. Uh-huh. So I lose that three as well? No, he forts it out. Oh, that's fucking very nice. Thank you. That's very, very nice. Please give me a good roll. I have to roll a fucking... Oh, Jesus Christ. I really hate this fucking game sometimes. So you get an 89% roll on a 3v1. You get a 75% roll on a 3v2. I am going to try and take a bonus. Watch the... <laughs> yeah, I get nothing. I get nothing turn one. I don't want Bart to take another bonus off me. I want that five to move up and break him. Roll of three. Does break him. Good. Okay, that was good for me. All right. And red wanted to be nice. So red has a... Let me show you guys the bonuses in five round rumble. Um, Tempest, Rampart plus three. The bot moves back into my bonus with a two stack. Okay. Pterodactyl Nursery, Pteranodon Tower, Windy Causeways, Zephyr Alley, Drafty Alley, Royal Observatory, and Wall of Winds, and Breezy Bulwark, each worth three. Nomad's Path, Southern Parapet, Lower Courtyard, each worth two. Wind District, four. And Sky King's Castle, plus five, if you can hold it. Um, let's see. I think I'm fucked, right? So I, losing losing two yeah. on a two, and then follow up losing a 3v1, so I have no turn one bonus. Um, it did break Bart, but now red is an advantage. Who are my opponents? Are the risk devs active in talking to the community? No, not really. Uh, are, in the first seat, we have our reigning Grand Master Tournament Champion uh, in Bart. Bart playing as yellow. In the second seat is Spicy Mercy 19 from Turkey. Um, in the third seat is the Old Peachman. I'm playing as Black. The Magenta player is an expert AI, I'm assuming. Which I really don't think we need in these games. I think it causes far more trouble than it's worth. In the penultimate seat is Benwork Shoe. Also find the flag in the Netherlands. And in the uh, in the final seat is P uh, Fitzhugh Hayashi flying the flag of Norway, playing as blue. And does Bart have a bonus? Okay, Bart. <laughs> Bart had two bonuses turn one. So Bart's already snowballed somehow. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, now red takes that. No reason for him not to. Yeah, fine. Okay. And we're going to roll 73. Um, and we're going to claim this bonus. It's up to Bart if he wants to break. He's looking real strong. So Bart had a plus two, I think, here. 
So now he has two and three. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Probably enough to smack my three, smack my four if he wants to go that road. And then um, I'll just be dead. Do we have cards? We do have cards. Okay, cards help. Welcome in, Cannibal Nelson. How are you, man? Okay, Bart didn't, wasn't there. He was somewhere else. He was up here. Okay. Oh, it doesn't roll. Thought he had that for free. Uh, thank you, Reven. Thank you so much. Welcome, everybody. I hope you're having a fine Friday. We're going to be doing a five-round Rumble Tournament. Five rounds of the five-round Rumble Tournament. Five games. Uh, and then we're going to move on to uh, casting the Classic Tournament with my good friends Kyle and Noob No More. Oh, we got a hype train, baby. Thank you, King Tiger, for the, for the tier one sub. Will streaming uh, this allow for cheating? Yes. Yes, it is possible to cheat um, in this very, very important, um, heavily lucky five-round rumble tournament. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine with you. I didn't fuck you. I didn't fuck you. Is it the final for cl classic? Apparently. Hmm. Red guards instead of breaking. Okay. Looks like I will get to hold a bonus. Sweet. This looks fine. So we're in the third seat. If we win this game, we get seven points. I don't see how we win this game. There are only two more turns available. That's why I put my stack on a portal for two reasons. I don't think Bart breaks. Um, so his stuff actually guards me. And now my portal lines will ideally be open in some directions. Ah, I'm glad I removed Bet because he also had a set on 10 set on three. Lucky fellow. Bet's Ben starting with no bonus. All right. Didn't quite get there. But he's breaking Bart. Also good. That's why I left a two there. What do we see Bart start with? Uh, blue gets eight. Blue's a plus three. I assume that's the wall of winds up at the top. Me having a two up there is still good. Have a... Okay, and I see a 12 stack of red. Hmm, a lot of dead troops now. Don't move them somewhere. Let's see. Let's see who wants to stay nice to me. Is that all for Magenta? Magenta goes to five. Okay. These settings are absolutely brutal. You're half blind the whole time. Bunch of people punching shit. Pete went away from being red. No, I, uh, I just don't care. I don't care to ask people to change their colors. If they join the lobby before me, I'll, pl I'll play as any color. Um, this time around, someone else chose red. So I would honestly choose to play as white in a tournament. 
uh, of all of all possible choices, but I think the the difference is quite negligible. Who gets eight? This is fine. This. Ooh, that five stays a portal, but this is the final round. Hmm. Hey, thank you. Still well. Thanks for the sub, man. What is the strategic choice? You think? I think so. Okay, and red has their set here, so I probably get broken. Maybe not. Eight set. Stacks on a portal. That's not gonna do anything because this is the final turn in the game. He's gonna roll my eight? Really? That's how you're gonna get more territories? Just making me lose? That's just gonna feed the game to someone else. He's gonna hit 13v8 and 7v3. Okay, I guess we lose. Game two. Well, that's better. Maybe he has my kill. That's way better if he has my kill. Huh. Yeah, all this does, by the looks of things, is feeds the wind to blue. I don't think white has it. I think blue has it. Here, that was dumb, and I'll make you lose two. Oh, or I just won't get any cards because I suck. Um, yeah, I want blue to win. Let's just thin you out a little bit. That was a terrible move. And I'm going to make sure you lose two. If I can. All right. So what do you even do here to go for a win? Well, you want to go last. A um, couple of things. So these settings are, I think these settings are way, 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 way better without a bot. So if you had no bot here, what you would do is um, you'd, you'd win in position and you'd kind of push out, and you'd, you'd target the players at the end of the turn order. Um, so the bot either gets strong and fucking kills people, or gets weak and gets fed to people. Either way, kind of determines the outcome. Um, but I think red played that so poorly that it's a guaranteed win for blue. Which, you know, you would expect the player in the ultimate seat to win. So I think we're going to see blue end with a two-point game. You don't understand the premise of these settings. It's the person with the most territories at the end of the fifth round. So you hold, 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 build up, and then explode at the end. Spicy Mercy 19. Is that red? Red still won. Ha! You guys suck. You let him win. <laughs> well, there you go. That bot kill, right? Good job. Game two. So red did not play poorly. Everyone else played even worse. Oh, well, that was pretty embarrassing for my opponents.
All right, we got a lot of chats. I'll let Buddy play his right if he wants. Rubble, let's go. Nathaniel says, Is the player in the early seats on these settings? You do need to go for kills to have a shot to win, which is why the bot is there to give a target for players to go for. I think the bot decides every single one of these games. That is my prediction. We shall see if I'm wrong. It makes it just fundamentally less skillful, right? It's already very lucky, so you add luck. I know it's just not what I... There's some, some settings I can see the bot making sense. The problem with the bot on these settings is the bonuses are too jacked. So it's like, you know, he breaks you early. That's your whole game. Do we have to see the kitties? I don't know. Oh, well, there is a kitty. You know what you do? Let me bust out the kitty cam. Kitty cam, let's go. I've had games where I get multiple free kills, but I don't even come close to winning because people go after me. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say I've had a shot yet to earn any points. So let's hope we get some lucky spawns. Four cat breeds, yes. This one is orange. The breed is orange cat. <laughs> hey, thanks, RJ. RJ with the five gifted. Thank you so much, man. If it was TR, you could leave twos and threes everywhere. Yeah, TR would be interesting here, too. How am I doing? I'm all right. I'm a little hot. Call me overkill. Hi, overkill. Hello, Pete. This is my first time catching you live. Love the channel. Thanks, man. What's up? Very generous, RJ. Much appreciated. We all get to watch Ronnie lick, herself, uh, lick himself. All right, game two. A little hot. Have you looked in the mirror today? It's, oh, sorry, a lot hot. It's like 30 degrees outside. Can I spawn with two fives? The bot immediately puts next to it. <laughs> All right. I am last, though. That's good. That's less good. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay. Hmm. Do I get the three on the other side popped? Oops. 
four for Bart. You look like an Italian mob boss. That's quite the compliment, Obi. Thank you. Let's go commit some organized crime. I mean, no, we don't talk about that. Okay, red goes for a plus five. Hmm. Good dice. Bad dice so far. Good enough dice. Fucking bots over there now. That was a risky four to five. Probably should put both there. Okay, hit the three. Interior. Don't break, take. Fuck! Oh, it hold! Oh! 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 Oh, ladies and gentlemen! Ladies and gentlemen! Okay. That's actually a really, really lucky roll for me. That's like a 8% roll that I won. Okay. I'll have a two point. You're in here. Portal shift. Everything about unstable, right? Helps helps the player in the last seat. Does red have the plus five? They don't. They have a plus three, though. Red's going to hit my two. They don't hit my two. All right. I have to deal with this two point then. Build that out first. Okay, portal in the middle. Set. No set. Okay. Hmm. Okay, bot there. I actually think the play is to be conservative from here, not expand until the end. Why don't you hit the yellow and the white one? Because I want those troops. I'd rather have a stack. All right, so blue goes hard on me immediately. So now I have to suicide into blue. Oh, he leaves me something? Oh, okay. That was a mitigating play. You wouldn't leave me anything, though. Hmm. Okay, let's see if he leaves me something, then. That's very interesting. I wouldn't have done that. I would have, if I was going to break me like that, I would have broken everything. Red kills the bot. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Steal my shit. Set? Nope. How do how you doing the realist? 
Looking slick and ready for the dubs. We'll get one out of two. The slickness. Last two games say on the meta settings where it was shamelessly obvious that players were cheating and collabing. Hashtag balance. The blitz. <laughs> Down with the slickness. Yeah, no reason for Blue to not just slam everything into me and kill me. But he doesn't see it. Doesn't see the kill. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. No set here is quite bad. What is the hashtag? Hashtag is anything and everything that's wrong with risk. Let's all let's all group these complaints in one place. Let's hire someone or consult with someone who actually has the design wherewithal to fix the game. Hmm. Collaboration is preventable, folks. We don't need to rely on reporting. But, but but before that happens, we need a development team that cares to fix that problem. You stop them then, Blue. Okay, final turn. I will have a set. I will be last to act. Let's see if we can actually take enough territory. Let's see who you're hitting. Okay, you're not hitting me. Is he hitting red? Mm, yellow still gets 10. He locks up my five? Hmm. Okay, let's get the four trade. Locking up the stack is an interesting way to play it. Okay, it looks like we've fed the game again. Has the Bumpus Boy. What trade do you have? I have uh, a trade. I think red wins again.
Nope. Not gonna be enough. All right, well, blue successfully stopped me from winning and gave the game to someone else, right? Red wins again? Yeah, red wins again. Game three. Got the bot kill uh, turn two. Bot decides the outcome of this game. Yeah, pretty sure the bot decides the outcome of all these games. These settings are, these settings need no bot, um, probably need no portals. Settings for round one were better. Think we proved the blue is not good? Well, they're good at giving the win to someone else. Looks like the red player does not uh, join the game very quickly. Too busy enjoying being fed the wins. Hey, Rug. What's happening? Pete, I need your opinion on people who load into games at risk and collab. Sure. Uh, since hitting GM, I feel like it's much more obvious to me when player slash person slash an individual loads into a game with two accounts for the goal of boosting their main account. All right. What's the question? Looking fresh. Thank you, guys. I did just get out of the shower. Ah, thank you, Rug. Is a way to stop this slash counter it. Uh, yeah. So if you host your own lobbies, um, hey, we spawned in the last seat again. Let's see if our opponents throw the game to someone else this time. Uh, <laughs> so the the ways you mitigate collabing are host your own games, and when you see players join the lobby um, at the same time with the same flag or any other sort of sus. Then you can kick one of them, fire the game, see if the other one readies. Um, you can kick one of them, see if the other one keeps persistently joining, then kick the other one. There's, there's a number of ways that you can mess around in the lobby if you find players collabing or suspect players of collabing. Um, as far as, you know, what to do about it in-game, the only thing you can do to stop players collabing in game if you suspect them of it is kill one of them because then at least you're on a level playing field sky king's palace but yeah that's what i'm thinking thinking take the take the plus five on a one point and try to expand i need to get good dice on that three How to report them in game? You go. Um, oh, I actually can't report here. No, you can't. So you click on the player. You click on this icon, and then it gives you a number of reasons why you might want to report them. Um, and bear in mind, um, 
the reporting system, you know, seems pretty lax. It's the best way I can put it. Now, white's going to break me there. Probably not. He probably has these two, though, so let's see. White has these two. He breaks for sure and steals the pocket. Okay, bot has a plus two. Oh, I'm gonna lose my five? Through a portal. Goes through a portal. Okay, broke somebody. Hmm. Broke blue. Okay. White has an eight. As the three takes the pocket. Or defends from his position. Defense from his position is good for me. Okay. Now I can step out. How do I actually leverage this? Yeah, seals that from red. Yeah, okay. You should place your cap better. Thanks, Tyler. I'll try harder next time. Ooh, lucky that's a portal. Okay. Can we see 5v2? Spawning with two fives that I haven't had to add to is really nice. Just in terms of them sticking, in terms of them sticking around. This is one out of five. <laughs> Bart has a lot in the middle. What do we think the chances are of this being Red's last territory? Okay, we do have a 10 set on four. Where's the bot? I don't think I set. I think I stack and punch out it, like from an impregnable I set, but I don't... Okay, there's the bot. Do we see it die? Ah, it traded. It's worth nothing. Hmm. Probably better to keep it alive. Yeah, it's everywhere. Hmm. Okay, 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 okay. So I'm going to set, I'm going to stack. I'm going to leave my lines open. 
and go for the run on the final turn. Does purple go to five? No. Nice. We got a kill. Ah, oh, but it's all dudes. No! <laughs> it's all dudes. Ah, oh, man. Okay, but more likely I have a follow-up set. And yeah, okay. I think I win this one. <laughs> I think I win this one. <sighs> Do we finally get on the board of the five round rubble tournament? Nice. It's not just the set itself, right? Killing someone on five cards gives me an almost um almost sure thing we get another back we we get another set on the final turn of this turn. And we're last act. Everything seems to have gone our way. 11 for Bart, though. What do you do if you're Bart? You take the bot kill. You take the bot kill for a set. I like that. Yes. Yes. Not lined up on me. Can't really kill me. You kill someone else, though. Going for purple. Does he get it? That won't be a set. But that would be... He does get it! All right, so purple won't be able to act... Um, now Bart's job is to stop me from winning. Yeah, shrink my stack. Cool. Okay. Well, I gotta, if I kill blue, I don't chain it. So I actually, I just have to shrink yellow. Focus yellow. I, I don't want to run into too much blue material. I think that's a win. I think that's a win, folks. Peatman is on the board. Is the Peatman on the board? Good game, fellas. We got a two-pointer. All right. Feels good. 
game four. Oh no. Oh no. Chad says, I lost a perfect play tournament game because I traded my Joker instead of a natural set for the 10 trade in Prague. Cost me the win. I blame myself 98% for this and S&P 2% because I should have noticed in time, but still frustrating. It defaults to trading the Joker. Well, I would say let's flip the onus. Let's say uh, good design is invisible and bad design sticks out like a sore thumb. So what you're talking about, Chad, is 2% your fault and 98% bad design. Um, if the game did not provide you with an option you would never choose, you wouldn't be forced to blame yourself, right? <laughs> what happens if two players have the same amount of territory it says give a draw? I don't know. I figure it counts the number of troops or something would be my guess. At least we're on the board. You want to go into fucking round three with a goose egg, I'll tell you that. Thor, hello, sexy lady. <laughs> Capital Goblets? No, sir. No, sir. This is the oft-forgotten mode. Speed Blitz. Rug knows. Rug says it's troop count. Right on. Good luck. Okay. Oh, we get an ultimate seed again. Hmm. Take that. Ultimate scene is what you want to see. Bot five is not <laughs> what you want to see next year's six. <laughs> All right, let's see how it goes. Okay, we lose that three for sure. And whoop. Yep. Well played. Ooh, same blizzard, too. If that, too, survives the bot's turn, I can go for the same play. Huh. Same blizzard. It did me all right the first game. Should we try it again? Not just last position. Not just last position. Last position, same blizzard. Does the two survive? Okay, it hits my two, right? Hit something else. Thin that stack out. Hit something else. Hit something else. Hit something else. Lose my three. Yeah. Let's lose my two as well, right? And yeah. Well, all right. Thanks, bot. Thank you. Okay. Two point on the bottom. Blue's just going to pop it. I, it makes more sense for me to steal Blue's bonus after the way he played in the second game. It looks good. Thanks, guys. I've gotten a lot of compliments on the hair. Interesting. Yeah. Mm hmm Spot start with five? Doesn't have it yet. 
Are you as good at the board game? I mean, I'm the same. <laughs> this is this is the board game. This is the same game. I know it doesn't really look like it. Yeah, these are all all five games against the exact same players. This is game four of five. I'm better at the board game because of no slider errors. Nice. Who's winning? I have no idea. The uh, the magenta player here uh, won the first two games, and he the first game was from like a third seat, so he got seven points. So he's doing very well points wise. Yep. And this is going to carry over to multiple games now, where I suicide into blue. They seem good at making me lose. Lose the bot. Why are we suiciding blue? I think the, uh, you know, like he started it, right? So now I'm just, he keeps hitting me. I keep hitting him. Now he hits me back. Now I'm going to have to hit him back, right? What is Blue's problem? Why is he always attacking you? I don't know. You can ask him. How you doing, Slevin? Thank you for the prime. No, Blue didn't win. Blue has not won a game. The guy who was red is now magenta. Yeah, he just he's just lost and made me lose. <laughs> the fuck blue? No. <laughs> I'm not fucking anyone in the butt, Kyle. It's more your job. Hi, all. Do we have cards? No. No set. We die. I'm going to make sure last position doesn't win again. I don't know about that. I would focus more on winning myself, if anything. Looks like white wins here easily. Yeah. Looks like white wins. People don't start hitting white, they never will. If Bart kills me, they win. If anyone kills me, they win. I don't have a set on for. And Bart's not going to take a card? That's not good. He does. He takes it last second. Huh. What's up, Shan Rahan? What's up, Pete? First time catching a live stream. Love the content, man. Thank you. How you doing? This is me dying. Yep. And final turn. All right, let's see if the board can effectively team on white. This is the final turn. Yeah, that pocket's so OP. I love it. We got a we got a five card uh, five card player in uh, magenta and in yellow. 
Does Magenta understand how big white is? Ah, but he only has... No, that's not the move. Hitting blue is not the move. Okay, Magenta... Ah, throws. Yeah, limits... Uh, limits his neighbor's ability to address white. Maybe trying to gobble up a piece of board. What does blue do? Is blue good enough to see that he has to hit white? I don't think so. Hit blue as well? No. He just stacks. Stacks on his two point. All right, we get eight. That eight goes in the middle and hits white. Good. Okay, good play. Won't get in there. So it doesn't matter. Because white is last act. Unless Bart like full sues. If I'm Bart, I full sue into white here. Set sue the 33. How do you get there? Bart's actually okay if he can get to the 33. How much does Bart see? He's going to go around. He's going to try, I think. Or he's going to try for kills. Try kill blue? That's actually a spicy play. No, you need to break the 33 or else you're dead. You need to break the 33. Yeah, That's your only chance. Let's see if he sees it. Ha! Ah, blue blocks! Blue guards! <laughs> guards the white wind! Blue is feeding these winds! Oh no! Oh no! Bart did see it and he does go for the play! I love this from Bart. Awesome, 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 awesome. Blue King makes again. <laughs> <laughs> Way to lose and determine who does. Okay. Final game, folks. It's close. Like, White's job is just to hit yellow, and then he wins. Yeah. Oh, he locked his stack. Oh, no. I think he still has it. But he locked his stack. One more. You have a territory. What? Ben, you had a, he had one more territory to hit. He's so tilted from that miss split. Yeah, he still won it. GG. Okay. Uh, we got one more game. Let's, let's get some more points on the board. All right, I got to uh, just take a quick little aspirin here. All right, final game, folks. All right. Okay. Am I still in JJ's Meta Attorney? That's what's up tomorrow. I'm going to be playing uh, however long it takes to win JJ's money. My game is tomorrow morning, uh, 10 a.m. 10 a.m. start, folks. Wish me luck. All right. We are in the ultimate seat. Okay. Okay, let's see if some bullshit fucks me.
I like Bart's open around me, though. That's not ideal. Well, Bart plays well. Let's see if we can good neighbor with him. It's just too heat because I'm in the, the final chair, right? Maybe lose a two to the bot. Release it to the Ben. Really good dice. Hmm. Yep. That makes sense for Bart. Mm-hmm. Pack through the portal. There's the bonus. A lot of bomb material I have to hit. Okay, I got bot on either side of me. A good thing or a bad thing. It's usually a bad thing. Okay, let's try this. I don't love what I'm about to do, but it feels like the best line. Yeah. What do you mean, wah, wah, wah. you already fucking hit me. <laughs> I have a three point on two bonuses. And I pulled a joker, and I'm in the last seat. This is a lot of different instances of luck going my way, so we can't expect the bot luck to go our way too, right? The bot is gonna hit one of these stacks. Unless my opponents break them. I hope the, um, my expectation here is that my opponents break at least one of the bot stacks. If the bots hold, um, both of those bonuses, then they eat me. If they hold one, I might be okay, depending on where their stacks go. So it was like a high risk, high reward play, but I wanted to put myself to hold one, not both, right? And set, get the 10! Here's where we eat it! <laughs> we're gonna see, yeah. So we're gonna lose both fives, and then we're gonna be trapped behind the bot. Okay, that's actually the best possible scenario where the bot hits me, but um, don't know that my game is sunk because of that.
The portal being where it is. It's quite bad. I don't even have a two point on the worst bonus. So how do I win this game in three turns? Is anyone big yet? Gent is getting nigh. I think I let them break me. Um... Someone breaks that for sure. Bart gets eight to start. So Bart just has up here on a one point. But he's not hitting. He didn't hit. You win easy? I don't think I win here, man. Biggest issue is that good play gets rewarded with the suicide where... Oh, in, uh, in meta settings, yeah. Yeah, well, it's you know it's a fundamentally stalemate mode. It's not the uh, not the issue of the players, right? It's the issue of the mode. Okay, we lose red. Blue gets a kill. Double sets. And blue run away with this game. Bot gets six. So bot still has this. Nobody broke me, which was nice. I don't think I even take a card here. Just hold up as potential energy and explode. See if we see how far we can get. Ah, maybe. I mean, no, no real reason not take this card. Okay, and we're ready. We have twelve and fifteen. Probably not enough. Uh, maybe we try for the bot kill. Good luck. Yeah, well, let's see how this cookie crumbles. So Bart gets eight. We're going to see Bart play well for sure. He knows exactly where I am. He doesn't have the troops to kill me. I don't think I have quite enough troops to do a run where I hold enough board unless the board is quite open. Blue starts with Five. Okay. Goes for the bot kill. And he gets it. Then what happens? You want to tank that on a 12? Or do you want to run for more board? He wants to run for more board. He okay, put a stack there. We don't see it fortify. So we know there's a stack here. So this has to go. All right. So this stack has to go this way. And this stack has to go this way. They're all keeping each other in check. 
I have all my troops as potential energy. Okay, that line is now open. Or is it? Does he leave a 10 there? No, he's going to keep hitting. Maybe he pops me. Popping me. Yeah. No, I, I don't hate that. That's a good play. Blitz it. Yeah, I don't hate that. Okay, so now I have to hit white. Because if white's pulling this shit, he probably has a lot of territory. When do I hit a brick wall here? Okay, let's see if we got there. Well played, good game guys. Do we get there? Do we think? We got 22. 22 has got to be enough, right? We're on the board with four points, baby. We won two of the five games from the fifth seat both times. Thank you for watching. And again, thank you to Nathaniel for uh, hosting the five-round Rumble tournament. Four inches, baby. Oh, baby. Hey, man, better than zero. I got a big fat goose egg last week. And uh, I hope you guys, if you are playing, that you're having fun with it. I'm um, wishing everyone the best of luck. And uh, it really is funsies time, right? So thank you, thank you, thank you. If you're interested in getting better at the game, I invite you to subscribe to my channels. Come along the ride with me. I have a daily release on YouTube. Both Kill Beat Strategy and Free Pete. That's two shows a day, 14 shows a week. If you want to look at, uh, at this ugly mug or... This wannabe mobster, apparently. Uh, I'm, I'm really happy to be growing my hair out, I gotta tell you. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And for all of you on the path to world domination, good games, good luck. And follow Kilted! What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete Strategy. And welcome to week three of the five round rumble tournament, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Uh, three out of the four players in my group are uh, top 10 on Sabre. <laughs> Me, Jax, and Speedster. And we also have Koenig Spook. Good luck, fellas. We're playing five-round rumble with two bots. Uh, five game set, so that's five games of five-round rumble. 25 rounds if you're doing the math, folks. Um, the scoring is seven points for a win in the first three seats. If you win from position one, win from position two, win from position three, you get seven points. If you win from position four or five, you get three. If you win from the ultimate seat, the favored seat, you earn two points. I'm in the first seat. So as I said, right, if I win this game, I stand to earn seven points, which is just, just bonkers. I don't have a turn one bonus. Maybe I do. Let's see how these dice go. 6v3, that's a bot. Yeah. Purple one's also a bot. I don't have a turn one bonus. Need the uh, very distracting emotes. All the distraction. Um. Oh my lord, everyone. <laughs> everyone shut the fuck up. Uh <laughs> All right, let's try this then. Okay. I mean, spawn's okay. I got a lot of material on the left-hand side. We'll see how it goes, right? Do this one live on Twitch. Hope everyone is well today. What's up? Papa Pills. First time here since a random YouTube recommendation. Enjoyed seeing your play and enthusiasm. Keep it up. I shall. I shall indeed. Not having turn one bonuses is a huge detriment to my game long term. I'll show you guys the settings. We will be playing five games of this. Speed Blitz on Operation Adam. Auto 60, expert, automated, and we start with two. Unstable portals, fog on, blizz on, alliances off. Need to do a little bit of peat. So the win condition of the mode is if you are in the, um, 
if you have the highest amount of territories at the end of the fifth round, which is why the players at the end of the turn order are favored. Having two bots really throws a monkey wrench into all of this. It is fixed. Everyone starts with a card. Um, what else can I tell you about Speed Blitz that we don't already know? Let's shout out Nathaniel for hosting this tournament. Thank you, sir, for doing what you're doing. Now let's show you all the bonuses. On Operation Adam, we have Nurup plus four. Lithiopia and Bismuthia, worth three. Tungstania is four. Mercuriopia plus three. Then you have the fleets. Uh, we have three for twos. We have three of them. We have four for threes. We have two of them. And then the Margin Territories, plus four of Ut Utopia Planitia, plus three of Sabatia, and plus three of Promethea Terra, if you can hold it. Okay, so Purple Bot took out a bit here. Looks like we had a line for turn two bonus. I don't know if my opponents interrupt. What on Earth is this map? It is not only just Earth, it is also Mars. Um, cool thing about these maps, you can actually zoom out and get like the... The big picture, man. Um, and yeah, high luck. Just a, a lot of luck in these settings, and it's kind of the way it is. So if you're if you're playing in the five round rumble tournament, of course it adds there. Of course it adds there. <laughs> Fuck you, orange bot. Roll the two then. Just block me, right? At least roll the two. Let's exhaust some material in the bonus I'm trying to take. Okay, that was a net positive for me. All right, so. Can I get both? If I do get both, will I be allowed to hold two plus threes? No reason to not try. I'm gonna prioritize hitting my um uh, my opponent bot material out of the pocket just because bots will add and do all sorts of stupid fucking shit. Um and that also actually nicely hides what I'm doing from my opponent's vision. So we cover every entry with a stack. We actually have two plus threes now on the second turn. We get no additional troops on the on the second turn, but now on the third turn, if we hold, we're getting plus six, which is really, really good. And then I'm gonna hollow out this. Having no portals on the side of the board. I see a lot of speed though, and I don't like that. Speed probably is one of those, maybe both. Did Jax hold anything turn one? He did, he holds a plus three. At some point, these guys are gonna are gonna have to break me. Uh, what are these blocks? What to call them on white, pink, and black? They they started emoting a bunch. I just find emoting distracting. I've uh, it's nothing personal, right? I, I just I mute players sometimes when they emote a bunch in tournament games. I want to focus on the action. If alliances are off, I don't much care about anyone's opinion. I think he's talking about these. We're talking about the the way you mute players. It's just distracting to me, right? I don't need extra distraction. I want my brain to kind of process what the hell's going on. Okay, so Magenta has the plus three, and he's going to go for this plus two now. Okay, we do see him doing that. Magenta wants to be a good neighbor with me. How do I feel about that? Let me show you guys the players. Pete muted me once and I'll never get over it. Sorry, Zango. Please, please forgive me, sir. Um, Pete, how long do you think it would take a new player to get to master? Um, very much depends on you. Depends on what you play, what you like, and how good you are. Um, I forget how long it took me to get to Grandmaster on um, the very first time I played on my phone. I, I will let you guys all know, I was a GM before... I figured out how to turn off camera animation, so. <laughs> Gives you a little bit of context. Okay, sp uh, speed got a plus two. Which one is the, one? Of, either one of these. Either this or this. At some point he's gonna break me. Chris says it personally took two seasons, interesting. And, and how much longer before uh, GM? Okay, which one do we see him attack with? I think letting speed have that is an error from me. It's considering speed is favored, right? He's the player in the latest seat in the turn order. Um, yeah, I'll show you guys the player. So I start, I'm in the first seat, okay? Speed has that top one. 
Mm. I don't want to hit the shit out of him, but I kind of do. Set? Go set. Oh. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. The problem, though, is it's very, very easy to feed on these settings. You don't want to hit anyone too hard, but you definitely don't want the guy in the final seat um, to have advantage. Tricky settings. Okay, I'm in the first seat. The white player is Jax Wild. Jax Wild currently sitting at rank five on the world leaderboard, the Sabre system. Um, Jax has GM USA flag, 1480 hours in 3,517 games. Jax is an amazing, amazing player. In the third seat, the Magenta players, Koenig Spook, flying the flag of the Netherlands, Grandmaster with 207 hours and 400 something games. This is his record, 115 to 127. In the fifth seat, we have Speedster. Speedster streams on Twitch. Do go check him out. I don't think he's live right now, um, but give him a follow. He's another excellent, excellent player. Uh, Speed is sitting at KPO Finals uh, last season. Speedster ranks six, <laughs> just behind Jax. Speedster and Jax, less than 100 points, less than 50 points difference between them. And uh, so we have, we have rank four, Five and six <laughs> in the world in this game right now. High skill five round rob uh, five round rumble game, and of course position five and or position four and six are expert AIs. Um, it's gonna be a fun series. I know. See another black five hurt my feelings. He sets. He smacked the shit out of me. I wouldn't blame him. Ah, we had dudes trade. Do we trade the dudes trade? Or do we hope for better? Yep, obviously. Oh, look at all those tropes. Speedster now controls all of Mars. Uh, I'm just going to go, uh, I'm going to go ahead and be like, uh, <laughs> you're like, ha, ha, ha. Good game. <laughs> I think he wins this one. I don't even know how the fuck I get back to get your ass to Mars. Um, portals will open, I suppose. And then me beating the shit out of him just feeds the game to someone else. So I kind of want. Yeah, this is so tough. I kind of want to hope that someone also tries to address speed. It's not just me. Do we have a good trade? No, we have a dude trade. Ah, first seat dude trade. Luck did not go our way this game. Too bad. Magenta's in a good seat. What did Jack start with? Yeah, Jack just pummels me. He sees that I already did it. Interesting. Right, now he takes it. This is the problem with uh, five round rumble is you you end up king making a lot of the time, right? Very difficult for a player in my seat to play to win. Um,
all I can do from he from here is king make. There's no way I can win. I can just influence the outcome. I no longer care to make speed lose. It won't make me win. I can't play to win on my fifth turn, I don't think. How would I go? If I could, how would I go about doing it? Hmm. Uh, Pete, currently at 2,200 points or so. How many do you need for GM is 26K. Okay, we get the bot kill. Yeah, Magenta's in a great spot to win this game. Okay, they leave a 15 stack open. Hmm. The other bot kill? Ooh! Would you look at that, Frogs? Yeah. I don't see any play from this seat that um lead, that that is a line of play that will make me win. All I do on my turn is determine or try to help determine who wins. Um and I hate situations like that. Cuz I have no hard feelings against any of these players. Magenta 15 also rolls through me. Maybe if I had a bit of a better set, maybe if I was able to make one of the kills, you know? If ifs and buts were candy and nuts, but like... Ooh, there's a 13 there. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. You know, fucking smoked here, I think. How do we join the new fixed tourney and event labs? I don't even see it. Yeah, is there a new tourney? The fact that I'm not getting pinged for it is a problem, right? I should be pinged for every tournament. M. Stanley says, also, I should add, I wouldn't have gotten past Intermediate without watching your videos. Oh, you're very welcome, man. You're very welcome. Thank you, Floyd Ricks 8 Elitar posted it yesterday. Okay, so why aren't I getting pings, uh, Marcellus? You need to have the event labs roll. Okay. How do I do? Pretend I'm dumb to scroll in event labs for the ping. Scroll in event labs for the ping. I, I really dislike this level of complexity. I can't find it. I'm too dumb for this, guys. Someone has to help me. Classic fixed? Oh, interesting. All classic fixed? I love that. <laughs> Speed has a dumb set, but it's his second. I kind of tuned out of this game once it became obvious that I was irrelevant to the outcome. I tried to slow down Magenta, but I don't think I succeeded.
Yeah, speed's looking good, though. Speed's looking good for some points. Game one goes to... Magenta. See, I hit him. Didn't hit him enough. There you go. And we go to game two. That's a seven-point game. Being in the first seat really sucks. You, there's no, like, the only line of play that you can realistically um, expect to win from is by holding a pocket and snowballing, right? Look, they were going to win. Yeah, I hit them too. You saw me hit them. Did not hit them hard enough. <laughs> That's a dumb, that a fucking dumb thing to say. Fucking noobs. Yeah, well, you know. Might have something to do with the luck inherent in the mode. Has there been any news with the FFA tournament? Not that I'm aware of. First and third in the turn order usually want to take some territories to protect them. So the next don't hit you. Yeah, they're going to hit me anyways. Hey, Hubsker signed up. Let's go. Sneak said FFA signups will be. Announced will be tomorrow. Fuck yeah. The rounds are, yes, the rounds are indeed rumbling. Yes. Science, science fucking fact. Mm-hmm. I have the ping, but I still don't know to sign up. I need a helmet. <laughs> I want to play the thing. Let me play. I want to play the game. Mm-hmm. Game two. Hey, thank you, Steve. That thing you saw, Pete, we're announcing at the end of July. Sick. The thing. I just, I just, I'm in. <laughs> I do everything. <laughs> Whatever it is. Who won last game? Uh, Magenta. Koenig Spook. Double bot sucks? Yeah, agree. Okay, third seat. I have a nice spot in the bottom. If I can get the bot out of there. Do I roll 4v2 turn one? Probably. I probably take a 75% roll to take a turn one plus four. Oh no, I would, still wouldn't have it. Because I'd, I'd need Madagascar as well. I take the bottom. I take the plus three. I hope it holds. I get a six in the top. That's not very useful. Um, I could go here. Not better than this. They're similar. Can't do both. Mm. Yep, Jax takes ooh, the portal. Ah, okay. Jax wants um to be able to pivot to whatever he wants. Makes sense. 
You also kill guard the bot on that territory. Mm -hmm. Try a turn one bonus, I guess. Can't get shitty dice though. Yeah, those dice are okay. Those dice are okay. Fine. Oh, look, it's the peach. Oh, no. How you doing, Scraft? What's the blue bottom left? Blue bottom left. So the player who won last game, Magento, is now blue. Jax is still white. Speed is still black. Are you in Super C? Hear me out. Not five round rumble, but a five rumble round. Like the last turn, each player can only make five attacks. Ooh. Limited attacking. Yeah, very strategic. Are you misguided? How the game's going? Ah, oh, we're okay. We're okay. We're this is game two of five. So far, we've only we only have four points on the board. Spawning in the third seed. If I win, I get seven points, but unlikely that I will. Or not some Discord. All right, so Jack starts with three, doesn't have a bonus yet. Um, where are we pivoting off the portal for Jax? This is a good game. Okay. He's not happy with his position. Oh, trying to take that. There's a three in Madagascar. That's heartbreak. Does he roll it anyways? Thinks about it. Still off bonus. Threatens me. Doesn't break. Okay. Probably getting three. Hits my three? No. Purple's a taker. Good to know. Okay, Jack sees that I have that bonus. Let's see if he breaks. Good cards? No. Oh, we do. Okay, good cards. Good cards are key. So blue gets six. What do I think blue is? Very limited information. Okay, Magenta's up in Mars. What's up, Square Giraffe? Pete, what are your thoughts on the game having bigger maps? It, I would love it. It'd be, it would be one of my top things that I would want. Bigger maps with more players. Very much so. Would love it. Would love to sit down for an eight-person, ten-person game of Risk. Um, a few things would make me happier at this point, in fact. All right, and speed starts with... Six. Speed has a plus three. 
break. Yeah, it just takes a plus four. That's fine. You let me hold, I let you hold. Do I let him hold? Ooh, bot sets gets the six. I mean, a two point would actually be kind of good. So what's my one, two, three, guard the bottom? Might actually be the play. I lose the three? Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. What's my other line of play is to take this maybe? Not a great bonus, another two troops. I think it's smarter to just build up. Do I keep Jax off? Do I keep Jax off? No. Did I just lose a shitload of fucking troops there? I lost six on a four? It's ridiculous. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Regular dude says, Pete, how are you safe from other competitors not watching your stream and listening? Um, you're never really, but the stakes are low, right? The community is close. You know, if you're the type of pathetic loser who needs to cheat at a risk game, you'll be found out. And then you'll just be banned and no one will play with you, right? So, I'm I'm pretty sure that we're still small, right? Our community is still small such that it self-polices somewhat effectively. Is this true random? No. This should be balanced blitz. I want to watch this, but my wife is making us watch a chess tournament. <laughs> Thank you, Boopface. Appreciate your vote of confidence. Uh... Play some GeoGuessr. You want to play some GeoGuessr after this? I could be convinced. B gets the bot kill again on four. That looks real good. any tips for experts trying to push for master having zero luck um i wouldn't say that you know i would i would i would detach your thinking there um from presuming that your rank and risk is luck dependent it's not remotely kill blue you say huh <laughs> maybe worth a shot no well, looks like Jax has that idea already Purple. Gets more time.
63 should land. Hmm. And blue takes a dude's trade. That's not good. Looks like Speed has this one in the bag. Yeah, blue suicides into me. All right, fair enough. Yeah, in plus twelve in the in the last seat, and that's a GG for Speed. I think Speed did hit Jacks though. Yeah. Uh, what's going on, Nugget? How you doing, Richie? Risky bitches. Nugget is now in Ontario. Oh, nice. What are you doing here? I agree. I'm making a joke about the luck. Yeah. My games usually go my way, top three at least, but then I feel inconsistent with how my games turn out. Sure. So the um, the the question people ask me and I always kick it back to you is, what do you play? Right. If you tell me your settings, then you can tell. Then I can get a sense of what you're actually struggling with, and that can inform the uh, the advice you're seeking. Rainy River. Oh, okay. So like technically Ontario, but about as far away from me as possible. Never been up there. Never been much further north than Muskoka, frankly. But that, uh, that makes me sound like a Toronto person for sure. Okay, is Jax hitting speed? I don't actually care. I'm going to pump all my troops into... Blue. Oh, I don't care. I don't. I mean, you're going to make me lose. I'll make you lose, too. It's totally fine by me. You can oops me all you want, sir. Love from Sweden. Yeah, back at you, man. You're from Saskatchewan. This is deep Ontario. Fair enough. <laughs> You can see America across there. Was that Minnesota down there? Yes. He's seeing red per se. Speedster wins easily. <laughs> Neither of us addressed him. Jax was expecting maybe me and Blue to not be at war. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see if the war continues to game three. Uh, Puma... Kuata. Have you ever seen a moose? No. I have an obsession with seeing a moose. I'm from Victoria. I finished driving 3,000 kilometers looking for one. And I never found one. Crazy. Oh, yeah. Easy win for speed. Jax was surprised that Blue suicided into me instead of playing to win. I'm not. <laughs> I've seen a moose. They're intimidating. I believe that. Speed has almost the whole fucking board. God. Saw a polar bear once when you were visiting your sister in Caluet. Got the fuck out of it. Dude! How? What, I, I need to know the circumstance that you found yourself in a Caluit. That's wild. And gets my kill too. Can I see the board as he's running it? Yeah, almost the entire board. So this scenario is possible when two players fully suicide into each other. Ryan they just completely feed the win. Yeah, good game. Yeah, oops. <laughs> you're you're dumb and you suicided into me. <laughs> oops. Let's see it again. <laughs> yeah. 
very close game. I'm I'm super curious to see if it extends to game three. Uh Togue Lico seven, thank you for the prime. Thank you very much. My sister used to be a teacher in northern Quebec and went up to Caluet visit. A bunch of times. Super cool up there. Northern Lights. It's light out at 11 p.m. Yeah, man. It's wild. Thank you for the content. Oh, you're welcome. Very welcome, guys. I love making it. Hello from Sweden. What's up? Fopper. How do I pronounce this? Foppler. Good luck, guys. This isn't actually an actual tourney we're playing. This is game three of five. Can suiciding into people be banned? No. There would be no way, right? Because um, in order to have a threat of mutually assured destruction, um, if you take away the threat, then if you take away the ability to do it, then the threat is toothless. There's no possible way to remove uh, mutually assured destruction from a free-for-all game. From a fair free-for-all game, in my opinion. All right. Position one for blue. Looks like we're going to lose a two here. Unless it's targeting. Even if it's targeting, how do you prove it? I was targeted uh, round one of, a, of last season's tournament. No way to prove it. All right, you can't ban someone for playing badly. It's like if you threaten destruction, you take a territory and you don't do anything, they can run roughshod. Yeah, you have to back it up sometimes. The show you just restart. Why? What happened? Did someone spawn with a bonus? I guess B is suggesting it might be a restart. Why? Yeah, but why would Jack starting with a bonus be a restart? Which bonus do we think it is down here? I think it's actually a bonus that this community is so small because you can develop a reputation which helps that you don't have to prove you're not bluffing as often. It's not a restart, it's just very rare. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Marcellus. I don't see any, can't imagine there being rules against that. Ah, oh, what do I do here? I mean, he didn't, he doesn't hold it yet. Someone could break it. This whole conversation shouldn't be happening. Um, Yeah, I shouldn't know that Jack spawned with the bonus, right? I shouldn't be told this information. Missed game two and the end of game one. How did those go? I lost. <laughs> no points. Let's get some points on the board. If I win this game, I get three points. How would I go about doing that? Uh, I should have probably taken fucking nine troops to start. It's fucking amazing.
Blue has five. Blue's a plus two. Well, if Jax has this bonus here, then he's going to come down and clean off that. Oh, that actually is still open that way. It's still a good bottom of the map to start. Blue attacking. Your favorite mode and settings? Traditionally, I played uh, Prog World on. Um, these days, I play Europe Caps the most, by far. Um, but my favorite modes are like things that are a little bit more creative and trying to push the envelope a bit. Um, so I've been experimenting with different prog cap settings and fixed cap settings on different maps. Ooh, I wouldn't put troops behind that bonus. Europe advanced progressive capitals. Indeed. I must say I am a, I'm a, I'm a convert to the Church of Europe Caps. Okay, so we get decent position. Ready to smoke the four if he doesn't move it. I'm trying to snowball out of here. Speed wants to be cool on that line. Ah, the bot probably breaks me here, though. I didn't guard. You both bot kills. <laughs> You're looking good? Yes, I shall try. <laughs> Surprised we haven't seen a bot get strong yet, though. Ajax didn't leverage his advantage to take a second bonus turn one. Speed has a kill guard on me behind that four. Mm -hmm. And our only real exterior is that kill guard now. In our games yesterday, the bot was only strong in one game. Did you get any points on the board, Zango? That blues bonus. Nobody's taking it. Bye. Uh-huh. I'll be cool with you. Makes me hit a four. Move your four. I don't want to hit it. Hmm. Makes me hit his four. How many games are we? This is game three. <laughs> that was yelling. Uh, at one point, you were top of the leaderboard with 69 points, and you have the screenshot. Holy shit. Congratulations, Zango. At the coveted 69 points.
Orange bot gets a Tentry. I have one. This is game three of five. We are we are not on the board. Lose the three. Yeah. Okay, I have no exterior positions. I have a 10 set. Don't have good vision on the board. <laughs> Jax is huge. Hmm. I think blue has two plus threes. Sorry, he's got a plus two and a plus three. You're in here. Blue's in the first seat. Don't think they go aggressive to me. I think they should be worried about white. Where are the spaces the bot could be? Jack starts with 10. So 10 is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Yeah, Jack says all of this. That's fucked. Oh yeah, these games are, are very high luck. In every way. You have to be you have to take risky plays because um your positioning matters so much early. Um plus five. I don't know. I don't know how Jax is stopped. But I'm not going to be the one to do it this time. Okay, 19 hitting blue. Okay. Let's see if blue suicides into black to feed me the game. All right, the reverse should still be true. All right, what, um... This is the penultimate round. So if I... I do have a three point on this, which is cool. How do I beat Jax? It's a cool three point. As long as it doesn't get broken here. Bot might go in. Jax might go in. Kind of hoping that they don't because they're the only players after me in the turn order. None of the bots have died. How did you get better with decision making? Is it just trial and error and repetition? Repetitions. Also, I love you, play Pete. I learned so much. Thank you, man. Um, how did I get better at decision making? Yeah, I mean, you need a lot of repetitions, right? You need to see everything that can go wrong to truly understand. Yep. Looks like my bonus is guarded. Well, you're just asking me to smack a 12 then, Jax. If you're in the ultimate seat on five cards, you're going to win the game. Blue sets gets the 10.
So my question here is, do I try and resist Jax by punching him, or do I try and lock off a piece of board? I don't think there's any resisting, unless everyone hits him now, which they kind of should. Um, but that's kind of my only line to win. So let's play that line, right? Let's play the beat the shit out of Jax line and hope that speed and uh, Koenig do as well. Maybe he's got a dude's trade or something. Who knows? They should, but they won't. Why not, though? Why do you suppose they won't? You don't think they're playing to win? I think these guys are playing to win. For sure. Yeah. Okay. Magenta bot on three cards, hopefully. All right, well, one's for all the marbles, I suppose. It's a lot of board. Jax is last to act. Let's see if you can get it. I got 26 territories. What does he have? One, two, three, four. He probably gets it if he punches only me. Jax needs to punch only me. Let's see if he knows where I am. Probably knows where I am. You can get either the bot kills. Low set. No, it's a 10 trade. Pretty sure that's game. He should be going hunting for the bots, right? If you can chain those bot kills, you can fucking win the game. But no, hitting only me is fine too. Yeah, hitting only me is good enough, I think. Easy win for Jax. And we will go to game four. I don't know. I don't think my opponents resisted him at all. Right? Nobody hit him but me. Didn't seem like it. All right, game four. Oh, yes, ladies and gentlemen. Game four. Let's go. And we're going in. That's right, baby.
What's up, Arkin? Have you seen the YouTube video you posted on one of your opponents? Yeah, I watched it, yes. He was great. He did such a good job. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm glad that I wasn't too big of a dick to him also. Like, we were in a huge war, and as soon as he posted, I was like, oh, man, did I say something dumb? But no, I actually think that... Uh... I actually think I was respectful enough given the circumstances and his take was hilarious, right? He was like, he's like, yeah, I definitely screwed this up. You know, he didn't even try to be like stubborn about the error or whatever. I'm in a great way. This is a fantastic spawn. So we have uh, one point on a plus two for the entire game. Ideally we don't lose that. Um, can I take a second bonus early or turn one even? Magenta's in the first seat. Okay, blue bot, yellow bot. Hmm. Step off, seven. Don't hit my two, don't hit my two, don't hit my two. Fuck. Yeah, okay. Lose all his troops, though. That's nice. A lot of yellow material. I lose a three. All right, well, the bot luck did not go our way. <laughs> Down to 13 troops, folks. <laughs> Arkin says, I like how he spoke about the mistakes he made that were the difference between being a master and GM very thoughtful. Yeah, but like that was the weirdest part of the video is that that self-awareness is kind of what is required. So maybe he talks about being emotional. So you got heated in the moment. He wouldn't choose that. All right, I lose that anyways. No, just moving through, just passing through. Fine. Okay, five for speed. It does not look like Moonstone Forest open, but then again, I wouldn't be caught dead on that map, so it's more of a you thing. How was your stream, man? You still on? <laughs> Fuck off, bot. All right, let's see if we hold both. We use it to take Mars or something. We qualified for the meta meme tournament first try? What do you mean? You're in the finals? What's meta meme tournament? What's that? What is it? Oh, sweet. Magenta stacks a seven on my five. <laughs> sweet. I was hoping they'd do that. Jesus Christ. Like JJ's turn, the goal is to die first against the bot. You have to lose to win. It's in the meta setting. Strange. Very strange. Who came up with this? Johan, nice. Hey, thank you, Clegger. Thank you for the sub. Hey, Jax is thinking about what to do now. You're not allowed to hit the bot. And it's true random. 
But sometimes hitting the bot can help the bot kill you. How does that work? I'm going to hit this seven, I think. I don't want to, but it's going to hit my five anyways. So better to get a favorable roll on it and then lock off this front, maybe. Take a plus four. So plus three, not a plus four. Plus three of Galacticons. I just hate, hate hitting so much bot material. Oh, wait, that's not a bot. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> he keeps switching colors. Threw me off. That is not a bot. Oh, wow. Okay. Oops. <laughs> that's definitely an oops. This guy switched from blue to magenta back to magenta. Like, you got to stick with the same color, man. <laughs> All right, blue bot sets on my border. That sucks. <laughs> right Pink's game. Yeah, well, don't stack on my fucking five. You see a five in there, you go the other way, right? <laughs> I don't feel I don't feel all that terrible about that considering. Like I had a five that I spawned with, and if you stack on it, then you know, you reap the rewards, I suppose. No break. Ooh, who just died? Oh shit! The bot just killed Magenta! Jesus Christ! <laughs> Jesus Christ! He had no choice! Oh my god! Oh wow! Oh wow! The bot just killed Magenta, that's wild! No, stop hitting me, don't hit me, don't break me, don't break me, don't break me, don't break me, it's gonna totally break me, no! Fuck! Oh my god! Okay, break, break Jax too then at least, please. Fuck's sakes. What happens to Baldwin's attorney? Good one. <laughs> Fuck. Oh my god. I fought his Angie. This is redonk. This is a redonkulous situation. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Falks. The bot thought Majed was stealing his thunder. That's fucked. He was only in one place. That was his all his troops was stacked up by five. <laughs> That was all his troops. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, what does speed do here? Eight troops. Bought one of my first game in the groups. So yes, yeah, so it's just a zero point game. If the bot wins a game, folks, nobody earns points, right? So having two bots does make it kind of, well, it's just more variance, right? More more upside luck, more downside luck. Like, I never would have expected that. This yellow bot is massive. Okay, we have the six, uh, six trade. <laughs> not sure what he expected. Bot breaks me through a portal. Thanks, bot. Um, not sure what he expected cornering my five stack. That's what I'm saying. Like, it had nowhere to go. Well, he didn't know what was on the other side. He was hoping I would hit the other way, right, and move out of his bonus as he saw it. He saw it as his bonus, and fair enough. I just spawned with that five. Bot's going to break all my shit, right? Come on. Okay, it is a taker. <sighs> Fucking trash. Hmm. Just got all our shit broken by the bot. 
is what it is, folks. I feel like we had a reasonably okay spawn that is kind of going sideways. It's not going down, but it's going sideways. Jack's getting nine troops. Jack's moved in. Oh, just to break in case I had it all. Mm -hmm. What happens here? Any tips for an intermediate expert who plays fixed world on zombies? I also play portals. I prefer playing fog and blizz. Yeah, the uh, the inverse pyramid scheme. Kind of my uh, it sets and hits me again. Love this. Love this for me. This is just the best thing that could possibly have happened. Sweet, thanks, bot. Appreciate it. Hit Jack. No, hitting, hitting only me. Yeah, well, that's that's good game. I guess speed wins or something. Find the blue kill. Take it. I don't know. Left me with two, not bad. Hey, Jax has a four trade. Where do we think blue could be? Oopsies. Hmm. Jax hitting speed. Jack trying to kill blue. If he fails, he probably feeds it to blue. Or it feeds it to black. I need to go looking for this kill, otherwise I'm toast. Yeah, he fed it to the fucking speed, right? Yeah, fuck. Fuck. Did Pete answer my question? What was the question? The the inverse pyramid scheme, right? When you put um, when you're playing fog blizz and fixed. Um, you put progressively larger stacks on an interior guard in your bonus, which disincentivizes people from pushing into you. Speed is killing blue, I'm guessing, and hitting jacks. Which means my job is to hit black. But I have no troops. Yeah, that's good. That bot was right up my ass. Yep, that's correct. Make it so I can't resist him. Yeah. There's no point in even playing. Nothing I do in my turn matters. Speed has half the fucking board.
Oh, Jax actually won? No way. I thought Speed had it. All right, final game. All right, waiting for the final game. Got to win this game, Redemption? I don't know, man. The luck has to go our way, right? That game seemed like... Uh... <laughs> that game seemed like the bot was uh, focused on me. Humans are 75% water, but Pete is 70% water, but Pete is 75% pee. What's up, Jackie? All right, final game. Third position. How do I win from third position? Purple is that. Guards. I don't think I get a bonus turn one, do I? Yeah, 18 troops. And I win a 4v2v1 for a bonus. Somebody else gets that. Speed gets that for free. Jack might take it. I have no turn one bonus. I'm going to 6v3. I hope that there's a one on the other side. And hope that it holds. This sucks. <laughs> okay, how about a four? How about a bot four? That's just what you fucking want to see. Oh, man, this sucks. Very disappointing. Let's just let the bot fucking hit someone else for, for a game, right?
Jackson, take it to speed, does. Step off, Magenta. Favorable, unfavorable. Four stays. Still up to the four. Mm. I've hit a four to take a turn two plus two, folks. <laughs> no good. Yeah, I think the bots in these settings is absolutely a miss. I think playing these settings with a bot is an error. I think playing these settings with unstable portals is an error. I think you want blizzards and pockets. And you want players fighting for pockets. You don't like the blizzards? I like the blizzards a lot. I think you have to have the blizzards um, for five round rumble. Um, I think that's, I think having blizzards is what makes, um, five round, like a viable setting. Bob probably breaks through there. Yeah, you want pockets, I think. You want a big map with pockets and, and, and lots of bonuses. This is a great map for Fire Round Rumble. Um, I think we take away the bots and we take away the um, portals. And then you have something really cool. You like LA and Boston? Yeah, me too. Anything with lots of little bonuses. And this is turn three. We have the good set. What do we do with that? Okay. Nothing you can do about that.
Yeah, I mean, that's just, you know, it is sad. The bots make these settings terrible. If a player did that to me, I would at least be able to understand why. Right? But just to have it be bad luck. Why add luck to already incredibly lucky settings? <laughs> you need, I know the bot needed that bonus. I know. I know. No, one bot also makes no sense. One bot is bad. Having a bot in these settings is bad. This is not good. <laughs> makes it luckier. Why would you want it to be luckier? Come on. Every time you run a co okay. Can I just explain this to the people? You're running a risk competition. One of the most important things you want to be thinking about. Despite the fact that five round rumble is lucky as fuck settings, right? The most important thing you want to be thinking about. How do I mitigate the luck? Do not add to it. Yeah, one is from the settings. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The settings is bad. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't add bots. Probably learned... Ooh, kill me. You should kill me. Do you know that's all of me? <laughs> you should kill me if you're... Uh, if you're uh, purple. <laughs> Ah, fuck, Pete is live and I'm not free to watch. <laughs> what are you up to, Sam? It's so fucking important. The bot prevents a bit of the advantage from player six. Let player six have the advantage and fix that, fix that with the scoring. Player six should have an advantage. The bot doesn't fix that, right? It just throws, it throws the game off. Makes the outcome more lucky. Why do you want that? No, it doesn't matter for place. There's no such thing as placement. You either win the game or you, or you score zero. Do you think player six wins more than 50% of games? Have you tested that, Riedel? I don't think that's true. Right? I think you actually, a strategy develops to mitigate the propensity for player six to win the games. And even if they do, you could still adjust the scoring such that the players who don't win from the ultimate seat are benefited when they do win. That is incorrect from the testing. Yeah, I imagine so. How you doing, Isaiah? I love you too, man. Makes sense that fifth spot wins more often than six, right? I think you just have to. I think you just have to account for it in the scoring. Look, man, if I got to sit here and get ass raped by fucking bots, I am going to comment on it.
Good work, purple. Yeah, I think the last few games would have been viable if I didn't get randomly targeted. I actually like this map. Yeah, I love this map. I think this is one of the best maps they've come up with in, in recent memory. Chad says, bots are important to give lower positions a shot to win. Bot screws over other players. Lower positions can take advantage of that. Making kills, snowballing, getting... Yeah, so that's a lot of words to say exactly what I said. We, we're adding luck. Why do we want to add luck? It sounds like we're saying the same thing, right? In order to give players in the different positions advantage, right? We're, we want to put the thumb on the scale, right? Instead of developing a strategy, we want to add variance. And I just don't think that makes any sense. Yeah, exactly. Add a wheel spin. It's not, not what I would do. Anyways. We don't want to add luck. We want to remove Prague World Dom as a viable tournament setting. Prague World Dom doesn't have more luck than this. This already has way more. What are you talking about? This has way more luck than Prague World Dom, and then you add luck to it. It's not even close. Can bots prevent sailmates in the correct settings? No. You're, you're not really going to prevent stalemates. You're going to, like, just... <laughs> you're going to feed wins. There are some settings I can see bots making sense. Okay, we killed Jax. That's pretty spicy. It's like a guaranteed win for speed now. You don't blitz a 75? I think you blitz a 75. Yeah, he wins anyways. Sure, every game mode is lucky. This is the luckiest game mode. That's why you never see it in tournaments. So adding luck to it is probably not the move. I think I've said everything I need to say about that. Yeah, this is obviously the most lucky game mode. Exactly. Speed? Yeah, good job, man. Speed killed it today. All right, hope you guys enjoyed, folks. And that's it for me. What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete Strategy. I'm Pete. I'm a top player in Risk Global Domination. The daily release on YouTube. I do weekday streams on Twitch. And if you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channels. Come along the ride with me. Ladies and gentlemen, this is round four of the five round rumble tournament hosted on the main server event labs by nathaniel thank you nathaniel 
Trunk is donning the Arco avatar. Yes, everyone is these days. Very popular avatar. We're playing against some real heavy hitters in this group. We got Leona, Crackle, Trunk, Loma, Slackjaw, and of course the bot. Good luck, everybody. We've been playing five games of five round rumble. Uh, only wins count, and a win from the first three seats is worth seven points. A win from position four and five is worth three. And a win from the ultimate seat is worth two points overall. We are barely on the board, so I'm going to try and hope to get lucky, which seems to be the way most of these games go. Trunk did not confirm. Hey, welcome in, Jocko. Lobo's going to sweep. Europe advanced. Here we come. One day. Let me show you guys uh, the players quickly. Start with Pete, because we can't see Pete. 25, 13 hours, 68, 09 games. Going 2, 3, 5, 6, and 7, 87. Leona, the black player. UK flag, 8, 62 hours, 15, 08. And 181, 203. Crackles, the blue player. USA flag with 12, 83. Hours played, 2, 7, 15, and 4, 41, 5, 75. We get Tronk, the yellow player from Canada. 5, 62 hours and 13, 02 games. And finally, Loma Slackjaw, flying the flag of St. Kitts and Nevis with 17, 87 hours and 3, 3, 4, 3 games. And wow, that is a lot of ranked play. Okay, well, let's go. Let's see how this hooky hambush. What's wrong with the mic? You can't hear me? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, so Roots of Yiga Shield is a bunch of small bonuses. A bunch of small bonuses is what you want in five-round rumble. Um, Bronator. Muspelheim. I take that turn one. The Bronator. Let's hope the bot doesn't fuck me. Seem to be getting fucked by the bot a lot in these settings. Okay, and Trunk is yellow in the first seat. Hey, thank you, Fizz Mitt. Watched for four months now, and I would like to thank you for introducing me to Risk. You're very welcome, man. Very welcome. Bots don't ask for consent now. They're, they're big meanies is what they are. Big mini mini pants. How are you doing, Baza? I'm great. I'm enjoying my birthday. I'm a little worried about that orange bot. Okay, there's Crackle. See a little crackle -ish. What do you turn today? I turn 41. Okay, Bob might be going for that bonus. We hope it doesn't roll a four. <laughs> Wouldn't try me if it did.
What made you start using uh, doing YouTube videos? Always curious to hear the origin story. Yeah, so I was uh, just out on my balcony there meditating one summer, and COVID had happened, so I was packing away at my phone a lot playing this Risk app, and um, I had a couple of buddies independently talk about like doing YouTube. My one buddy is a physio, so he had like a flat foot video that went viral. He made a couple of bucks on it, but nothing major, right? Um, and then I was like, well, maybe I'm reasonably good at this Risk game. Um, so I started recording myself, put it up on YouTube. No real uh, expectations of it going anywhere, but... And for a while, it didn't. I only sort of started posting daily once I joined the community and was, like, really practicing for the free-for-all tournament. You know, it starts with a bonus. Six troops, yeah, okay. Hmm. Crackles is good game. So she's taken something. Rot Jotunheim. Okay. And then, yeah, like pretty much uh, daily videos since um, January 2021. And now we're coming up on uh, four years on YouTube pretty soon. Uh, Kosh. Na Visto. Why are you not streaming on YouTube at the same time? You have a lot of viewers out there. Right. I think the viewers on YouTube for live cannibalize the viewers on YouTube for the video. And I don't want to impact my algorithm for today's video, which would have come out on, uh, you know, 5 p.m. about an hour ago. But yeah, if there's ever something I'm, like, trying to promote and I'm happy to do it at the cost of that day's video, then I would consider it. Are you interested in game theory? Yeah, a ton. Very much so. <laughs> i play this one conservatively. <coughs> okay, there's a crackled stack. Uh, Sam would like to know, Pete, what is the best way to deal with stallers at game? Yesterday I was in a game, and a player just sat in cap stacked while wasting his full turn timer with no will to play the game. Is there a way to stop these stallers? No. No, you either quit or you don't, right? You either sue out, you disconnect, or you let them do their thing. You report, obviously. Um, Jackie says, your Risk World Championship vid got massive views two years ago. Yeah, yeah. We, we kind of exploded on YouTube about two years ago. Just the day after my birthday. About two years ago now. So I've had about as much time toiling in, obs in risk obscurity um, than, I, than I have also had, um, you know, having a much access to a much larger voice. Leona holds. Yes. She goes bad to me. She does not go bad to me. Okay. okay, Trunk gets a 10 set. That's key. I have a dude's trade. Do I use it? Are you interested in geopolitics? Um, yeah. depends on what you mean by interested. I'm I'm a philosopher, more than a, a political science person, right? So, I I like to know what's going. Ooh, I, I like to be aware of what's going on. Um, 
But uh, the way I would answer your question is I don't think the level that people discuss politics on is particularly interesting. Right? I like to discuss um, politics on a structural level, which isn't really the level most people want to go to. Right? It's a, it's a sort of an additional layer of depth that, that folks don't tend to want to hang out in. Ah, oh, do I lose my six? Fuck me. Fuck me. That's just bad luck. See, this is what I'm saying. Every every one of these games just seems to be this shit. Go the other way. Okay, goes the other way is nice. And that way is nice. Mm. Okay. Well, there's a way I could play that. Maybe we get a uh, 10 set on the river. Uh, thank you, Baza, for the prime. Appreciate the Bezos bucks, sir. Does anyone know why there is no turn timer in solo play versus bot? It's meant to be more of a sandbox mode. Yeah, I don't know why you would want one. What, adva what advantage would a timer have in, in solo play? Is Loma doing all right? Okay, Leona has a... Okay, Leona takes the dude's trade here. Could I have taken it? Yeah, Leona's chilling, waiting to build up for the final turn. Which will be quite the schmackerino. Let's trunk at seven. Okay. Okay, Crackle takes the fifth card. Yeah, we expect the bot takes there. Let's, ah, do trade no matter what. Okay. Fair enough. Okay, I have all my 10 stack. 10 stack is Gastro Paneer. Okay. Looks like Loma's getting ready for a nice big run. Pete, I have a question, a strategy question from the meta settings. Can I send it? Yeah, throw it, throw it up, man. Is the one you asked before? What do you do when you get capped behind your pocket? Um, take a look at, if you search on free Pete, um, there's a, a series called like, what, to, what to do when you're locked in a pocket. Let me see if I can find it for you. <laughs> Stacks a fucking massive stack on me. Yeah, so there's, um, if you go to Free Pete and you just search, search term locked, there's like five different videos where um, I discuss what to do in those scenarios. All right, thank you. Thank you, Renegade. All right, and here is the final turn. Ooh, wow. Now goes into white. That's good for Leona. Okay. 
Okay, we figured the vault was gonna break some shit. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we don't have a um, good trade here. Hey, guys. Holy shit. I get the crackle kill? <laughs> Holy shit! Ah, oh, bad dice. Okay, well, Leona still might have me. Between Leona and Loma... That was a great turn. Don't think I have it, but looks decent. Uh, yellow is trunk. Between white and black hitting me, I think it'll be enough to to shrink me the right amount. That's the that's the problem with being in the uh, third seat. Yeah, or he's gonna take he's gonna take his piece, and then Leona's gonna take her piece, and then Leona's gonna win the game. I get nothing. Too bad. Um, Faradiko. Hey, Pete, happy birthday. Can I ask you to explain a bit about sliders and percentages? Sure. I don't think I understand it fully, and it's become a problem in my recent games. Thank you. Sure. What do you want to know? Yeah, now Leona's torn between hitting me and hitting white. So it's tough to know. It's tough to know how hard to hit. Leona wins this one for sure. This is way too many fucking troops. What have you eaten today? Nothing. Nothing. Waiting for uh, a late. I, I got up late. I stayed up late. I got up late. Yeah, white hitting me secures Le Leona's victory. But I don't know that what, what white could have done. How can player one win this kind of game? By chaining kills. Establishing a pocket and then chaining kills. You kind of have to get really lucky. Who won? I didn't see. Did Leona win that one? Okay, I had a question. Why do you use the slider on ones and twos and not just 100% of your troops? So the way balance splits works is it um, causes you to risk additional troops. Um that would create impossible outcomes, right? You would never risk even a four. If a four of you is hundred percent, the maximum you should ever lose on a blitz roll is three dice ever, right? If a hundred rolls into a one you should never lose more than three, but you see that occurring. Um, and the reason is because of the way the balance splits math works. So if you dial the slider down to the minimum to get on a hundred percent blitz roll, um, you end up with a way to mitigate troop loss. So you kind of have to rig the dice. <laughs> I'm no Mr. Beast, but I'll donate ten dollars if you shave your head right now. Nah, man, I gotta do. Uh, I gotta do my thing here. I've never had hair this long, ever. Right? I used to work outside, so I got a lot of dirt in my hair over the years. So I figured now's the time, right? Grow it out. But thank you for the ten dollars. It's very nice. <laughs> 
My girlfriend would fucking kill me, too. She loves it. I think you need sushi or a giant steak for your birthday. Yum, yum. Both sound wonderful. Kind of hate this idea of a game that's pretty luck-based and seat-based. Yes. Yeah, you're not alone. Um, the thing about Five Round Rumble is there are only five modes in the game, and we've really desperately tried, you know, other than hoping and praying and breathing down SMG's neck to give us um, more modes and competitive settings. Um, we've really tried to squeeze all the possible juice out of the competitions. Um, this is what has been come up with for a five round rumble, but you know, agreed. It's not a perfect thing. How much to shave my hair? More than you can afford. My friend. What's my hair actually worth? The bot just took a bonus. Rolls my two. Why not? Yeah. Why not? This open sucks. Pretty sure I lose here. Yep. That sucks. My dice are shit. My dice are shit. And my dice are shit. Yep. My dice are shit. You're playing manual placement, sure. Sure, yeah, when it calls for it. Manual placement is a lot in 1v1s. Nathaniel says, unfortunately, only so much can be done about the inherent disadvantage of the turn order when it comes to Fire and Rumble. Yeah, man. We're, I mean, this is just a first attempt. I assume that you're going to be gathering a ton of data from these games, and maybe we can use it to inform... Um, if Fire and Rumble is viable at all, and if it is, how so? Um, did I lose a 93? I lost a 73% roll. It's my birthday, Donuts. I already answered the slider thing, but I want to know why the attacker seems to have an advantage when attacking with the same number of troops or just fewer. So the way um, the risk dice work is um, as the attacker, you can commit one, two, or three dice to a roll. Um assuming you have at least that number of troops, and if you win, you are forced to advance the, that number of troops into the territory. As the defender, you can only uh, choose to roll one or two. You almost always roll two if you have to. Um, and defender wins in a tie. So in the average uh, roll case, which is uh, sets of three attacking dice into two defending dice where the defender wins in a tie, the attacker has like a 15-ish percent, 15, 20 percent advantage. So there is an inherent attacker's advantage in risk, assuming you're rolling the dice properly. Yeah, so the auto holds a bonus now. Crackle blocks me. Crackle's in the last seat. I wonder if he's going to take something. Letting player one have a bonus is dumb. But blocking to prevent other players from having a bonus prevents me from addressing that. I mostly get second place a lot and don't win the game. Any advice? Um, what do you play? What settings? First time getting to tune into the live show? Right on, man. Welcome. I have no play here. There's nothing I can do. Nothing I do matters. Like you make someone lose. I don't really want to do that. That's how my crackle lose. 
Now we lose another troop. Hey, thank you, Snow Tech TV. Thank you for the prime. You play caps and you get second a lot. Okay. But you don't know why you get second a lot. Is it mysterious? Hey, thank you, Floyd. I just, I, I need something. Are you losing to speed? Are you king making? Are you are you helping the guy who wins kill the entire table? Um, could be a number of reasons, right? This is game two, yeah. Who won game one? Leona won game one in the final seat. She also has two bonuses. Probably going for a third here. Hey, the bot sets on three with a dude's trade. Man, I should have went to bed a few hours ago, but I didn't want to miss the tourney. <laughs> At this point, I wish we could spectate. Yes, that would be sick. I lose another troop on the attack. <laughs> I have no troops this game. Oh. Yeah. Nothing nothing has been going my way for any of these five round rumble games. Hey, when are the uh when are the cuts, Nathaniel? Do you think semi auto placement could help with making this game more mo this game mode more balanced? No, I don't actually think there's a way to make this game mode more balanced. I think this game mode is intractably broken. Pete, I just hit master after binge watching a gazillion of your YouTube videos. Oh, thanks for watching, man. That's a decent time frame. Yeah, of course. That sounds really good. First rounds of cuts are after the trip. Okay, so I'm gonna get I'm gonna get cut then. Cause I have no fucking points, right? I have like four points on the board or something. Well, I'm not expecting the luck to turn, so. I expect we, we just get shut out. Yeah, 13 for Leona. This is game. How do you stop that? If the first three were to keep fourth and fifth off bonus, you could see a productive game. I mean, I'm just. <laughs> I just have to stop this, right? Oh, 
We can't let the first seat win. Now Leona's gonna smack this shit out of me, as she should. <laughs> Fucking 13 generating. One idea I've been toying with is the idea of placement points for five round rubble using territory and troop counts after five rounds to determine placement. That way all players have something to play for each game. How come there's a bot in this tourney? Because uh, they wanted to add luck to an already lucky mode. The Discord to sign up for the tourneys is um, the main risk Discord. It's the Event Labs tab. I think the bot is absolutely negative. Um, it may having six players. I don't know. I see. I think you need blizzards in all of these settings. I think you need no bot. You think you need no portals and you want players to play for honey pots and grab pieces of the board that are then defensible. But I'm open to being wrong about this. Right, having just big open board seems see just seems too lucky. And I, I suppose you could make the argument the that the blizzard spawn then puts luck in a different place and fair enough. But I don't know how you solve for it. <laughs> Good work, Leona. <laughs> Alright, now it's somebody else's turn to address. How does the Delis Trap finish off an Oz player if they just sit in Indonesian card skip? Do you take turns slow rolling? Yeah. Or you or you uh, slider blitz numbers of troops into the stack. Well, what are the chances that's the bot's final position? This is my only line of play. Ooh, that's a lot of bot. Has there ever been a tournament where only bounties gave you points and placements didn't matter? Uh, maybe. Can't say for sure. Why is no one smashing to black? Because they're not very good. <laughs> that is an error, is what we call it in the in the game. So an error in gameplay. Nothing I do matters. I won't be able to win this game. I can make other people lose. And ideally, I would want to make the people in that, you know, final seat there. Trunk's killing me. Yeah. You should kill me, Trunk. Now Trunk is winning. You think they made it every player gets to play in the fifth seat, but how would you force it? Right? You just have to keep restarting games. I would never I wouldn't I wouldn't sign up to a tournament where they force restarted games like that. Um No, I think you fix it with scoring. You just score the the round based on the the, the seat. Yeah. Well it depends on how many troops crackle has. So far, I don't feel like anything I did here really mattered. It's the main risk Discord, Donus. The one that you get to th uh, through your game. Discord.gg slash risk. This is where the sandbox mode would be helpful? Yeah, well, sandbox mode would at least allow us to make viable settings. Like, maybe you don't want five rounds. Maybe you want ten. 
Something like that. No sandbox mode yet? Yeah, no sandbox mode ever. When is that happening? All right, so Crackle gets the magenta kill. If Crackle gets my kill too, he'll get another three cards. Ah, it's a dude's trade. Unlu unlucky. Unlucky. Who do you hit as Crackle? Do you hit Trunk? Or do you hit Loma? Yes, exactly. If you win from the sixth seat, you get two points. If you win from the first, second, or third, you get seven. And fourth and fifth is three points. And that's how they're fixing it. All right. Crackle's hitting shit. Good job. Another idea Nathaniel's been toying with is five round rumble on fixed world dom and considering the game over after X rounds. Yeah, that's better. I think that's a way better way to approach this, right? Because it wouldn't leave us with the shitty five round rumble settings, right? The lack of manual, um, the mandatory fixed cards, all that shit. All right, game three. Another, uh, thank you, Marcus. I'm another coffee. All right. So, hey, Nathaniel, I had a question. Um, did you? Oh, I don't care what color I am. You've seen all of my games so far. Do you think I've been playing badly? Am I missing anything? Um, or have I just been getting unlucky? Because I wonder, I wonder what you think it is as an observer. Oh, I don't care. I really don't care what color I am. Thank you, Jonah. James says, you mentioned honey pots. You think the blizzards would help the game mode? Yes. <laughs> having people fight over honey pots, having a player in any seat to have a chance to snowball. Yeah, I think that would be more interesting than to have a bot just, um, um, just randomly smack people kind of blindly in the fog. I think having honey pots would be... Um, would make it a lot more strategic and less lucky. You're doing a lot better than I did in Five Round Rumble last night. You did terrible. Sort of hear it, man. All right. So I am in the first seat. And the bot is white. No turn one bonus. <laughs> Nothing really jumps out to me as viable. Over here. Um, you say one thing I could recommend is trying to play around bots more. For example, I noticed a time or two. You didn't break a bot holding a bonus next to you and letting a bot position exist next to you. Being aggressive to the bot is your suggestion. Cool. How many rounds are in this tourney and what makes it unique beside the map? So this is a five round rumble tourney. Um, so each game has five rounds and we're playing five games. Um, scoring the winners based on their seat position. Uh, 4v2 is 75% roll for turn one bonus. Wasn't worth the risk. I lost a 5v3 last game. So, you know, that sunk my entire game. I tried, I, basically, Jocko, I, I did that last game and it didn't work. <laughs> ah. 
Nathaniel says, I can also recommend watching Arco's Five Hour Rebel videos from this tournament. I've learned quite a bit from watching his videos. It's coming from someone who spent a good time designing and playing the settings. Okay. So so your your fundamental suggestion is that no, I am not getting unlucky and there is a skill gap that I that is invisible to me. Which is good to know. Have you considered getting better dice? Yes. Yes, I have. I don't recommend blocking their crackle. Right. Okay. Any good shows you're watching at the moment? The Boys? Or House of the Drag These Ball. House of the Dragon. Um, no, I don't watch a lot of TV. Just watch Jeopardy mostly. I watched Star Trek Picard season three. That was sort of like the most recent TV show I watched. Happy birthday on the new map. Thank you. Arco has more wins from the first to third seat than the fourth to six. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it stands to reason that. Um, there is a skill gap. I think it's more likely that there is a skill gap that is invisible to me than I'm just getting unlucky, right? But it seems like every game I'm just getting unlucky. And every time that happens, you have to wonder, you know, what am I missing? Never got into Star Trek, don't attack me. No, all good. You like what you like. You know, is a turn one plus four. Nice. No set. How you doing, Psycho? Had a good birthday so far. Very chill. Very chill. Okay, white probably has that bonus now. Yeah, almost certainly. Thank you, Micah. Johnny says, I find Arco sees the one moment in any game mode where he has a chance and capitalize on it. He fails a lot, but he succeeds more. Sure. And that's the game, right? Risk. Take the chance when it is available to you. Hey, thank you, Jocko Johnny, for the gifted. Lose a 3v1. What are the settings? This is 5-round rumble. Speed blitz on Roots of Yager's Hill. Auto 60 with an expert automated bot. One in each game. Fixed cards, balance, blitz, dice. Fog is on. No blizz, portals, alliances. Leon is a second bonus. It sets to knock my 10. No set on four. Okay.
wherever the white bot is, they're probably quite weak. Oh, there they are. We go for a kill on the white bot and fail it. Okay, crackle getting plus uh plus five. Crackle has this and this. Spaces white bot can be our limited. Loses seven before. And that's game for me. Duba says that's what I do. Thanks, man. Yeah, had to had to be done. Didn't work. Nothing, nothing I seem to do works. So, whatever. I don't think any of this makes it to YouTube. <sighs> it's no Alcatraz. There's definitely that. You should kill the bot, Leona, if you know where it is. Do you, do you think if they had unprogressive cards specifically for this game mode, that would be more fair? So that's decrease in value. Ooh, that's very interesting. Or just have no cards at all. That might actually be the way you fix this. You have no cards. Okay, well, at least we know where the bot is. And again, we find ourselves first to act on the final turn where nothing we do matters. So we can make someone lose, but we can't win the game. And who do I want to make lose? At this point, nobody. Yep, well, fuck this game and let's go for another.
Yeah, I'm completely demoralized, Sam. I don't know what I, I don't know what I could have done differently. So I'm not actually learning anything. Um I'm losing. I'm having really no no growth. So if the luck doesn't turn around, that's fine. I, I assume I'm getting eliminated anyways. So I will just sit here and play the next two rounds and then do something else. But this is completely fucking demoralizing. It bleeps out words in chat, but you can see them. What do you mean? You have some sort of, um, you have some sort of profanity filter on. Is what the fuck is that? Just blocked. Weird. Might be your Twitch settings. Crackle might win here from the final seat. Crackle looking real strong. I don't think I've gotten a single 10 set on three <laughs> in weeks. I don't know. My dice are shit. What, what do we do here? Yeah, this is Crackle winning the game. GG Crackle. Well, I don't know if that's true, Nathaniel. Maybe it, uh, Maybe there is a skill gap that is invisible to me and I'm not learning from either. Let's put two more reps in before we get eliminated. Hey, thanks, Poggers. Uh, realistically, this game mode is luck based. You should win one in five games. You might get unlucky and win none. You might get lucky and win two. You still have two more games. Don't give up. I'm not giving up. I'm going to play these last two games before I get eliminated. This is Trunk now. Switching to an alt. <laughs> Oops. 
All right, we spawn in the funnel seat. And we have a good line for turn one bonus. Cool. Good. <laughs> so used to watching on YouTube. <laughs> Tries to pause the live show. Oh, I actually don't have that bonus turn one, do I? Maybe I do. Yeah, I still do. Ah, uh, trunk disconnected? What the fuck? Hmm. Are we playing this out or no? We might be restarting. Hey, thanks, Horace. I have an orange bot there, so that bot's going to break my shit. I'm a trucker, so I usually eat your vids go on the radio and I just listen to them for a few hours. I was like, yeah, man. It's nice to have somebody to listen to, I imagine. You got lots of time to do that. I assume everyone's still playing. I listen to a lot of audiobooks, YouTube or phone calls. Yeah. Audiobooks, I imagine, would be a saving grace as well. All right, so I'm going to be sandwiched between the yellow bot and the orange bot. So even though I get a turn one bonus, it gets broken, I figure. Which didn't have that. But I didn't know. Now I don't get 100% roll. All right, we do get it. This looks pretty bad. That was extremely expensive. What's up, Woodsy? Yeah, we're having a good day. How are you? This is a bot now. Yeah. We find ourselves in the two bot Bermuda Triangle, folks. I bet I've paid at least one of Audible's employees' salaries for a year. <laughs> Can you play against me? Sure. But you got to sign up to tournaments. We did a play with friends uh, before this game. I'm trying to get one in every stream if I can. Okay, orange stacking on me is bad. 
Yellow stacking on me is bad. I probably can't address both. Which way do we go? Do I have my birthday fixed capitals on Alcatraz yet? So I was waiting. I was just waiting for that. <laughs> Yellow first. Yeah, I think so too. I think so too. All right, we really need good dice. Oh, there's Leona, look at that. I'm gonna get broken anyways. Laws tend to go the other way if you match their troop numbers. <laughs> right. You take into account what you think they're going to generate and if they choose to stack on you. It's like we went the wrong way. Pay a bot. If you pay the bots enough, they go the other way. Nice. <laughs> Should have thought of that. Orange bot sets. Lucky you didn't smack any of my shit. Leona is a ten seven three. I've not gotten one of those in quite a while. So yeah, Leona wants to fucking hold there. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Maybe we get a ten set on three in the final game. Hey, we got the Joker. All right. Me not opening the Leona hopefully generates some sort of goodwill. Big, big hopefully. I'm 50-50 on whether or not she slams a stack up my ass here. Okay, trunk bot in the bottom. Second last round. A light turns out my legs down there. 
Who else in this game? Uh, Trunk was in the first seat, but he disconnected. Uh, we've Loma Slackjaws White, an orange AI in uh, the third seat. Leona is black there, and Crackle is blue. going on sander I'm watching a lot of videos welcome the players make money out of this game no no there's no real prize support that breaks both my bonuses fair enough i lose as well Lose this one too, folks. You're in Alaska. <laughs> the prizes game is pain. If you move on going to future rounds, it causes more pain. <laughs> this top bonus structure is really cool if you can win it, right? It's a three point. That would have been my line to win. One, two, three. Top of the top. Three point exterior, too. This is your fave map? Right on, because of that. Yeah, it's cool. With the blizzards, it gets even crazier. That's what I think I would love to try this, these exact settings with blizzards. And may, maybe no bot. That'd be very nice. How you doing, DJ Spanner Crab? Hey, Pete, I've been watching you daily for four months, really loving the Europe Advanced. Europe Advanced Progressive Capitals. Europe Advanced Progressive Capitals. Um, what are your thoughts on reverse world broadcasts for the new meta settings? Nah, it's close with no cigar. You want a big map with lots of small bonuses. Reverse world has larger, big bonuses. I should not be allowed to hold all this. Uh. How does Crackle get in to break me? Do I win here? Yeah, Loma's staying there is huge. That fucking guards me. Leona thought I was weak because I didn't start with any bonuses, and fair enough, I was. But I, like, recaptured everything that turn. Okay. Is 
So we can get some points on the board, folks. All right, happy to get one of the dubs. It was a good move for Crash to try and stop this. Good game, guys. Hey. <laughs> All right. Two points. Let's go. <laughs> That's the birthday win. Oh, baby. All right, we got one more game. The winning streak begins now. Lol. <laughs> Hey, Zerky. Hickory tie. <laughs> One in a row, you're on your way. <laughs> You know, couldn't bring yourself to kick him. <laughs> Wait, where's Loma? <laughs> there he is. Final game, folks. Damn, I know you tried. You tried to get in, Sergey. <laughs> did you end up playing this? Or did you sit out for the five round rumble? No, yeah. Looks like Trunk is having connection problems. Hmm. My dumbass tried to click ready. I know it's such a I do it too when I'm when I'm watching Risk TV sometimes. I'm like <laughs> triggered to to click ready. Ah, oh, thanks, Eric. Thank you so much, man. Man, am I hungry. <laughs> Let's go. I need fucking food. First seat. White's the bot. Drunk Ashley playing. Okay. Let's 
Spawn doesn't seem all that great. That was okay. Ooh! Oh, jokey joker! Let's go! Is that bonus? Plus four, okay. 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 Why he takes that? Can't really stomp them. White has a strong open in the right hand side. An idea if the perfection dice will be gifted for my birthday. Um, haven't spoken about it. I think it was last year. It was the last time? Elixir says, Pete, I'm in a game right now, and a player bought it out, came back after like five minutes, put a new capital down. This was the first round. We were in a six player game with seven caps. <laughs> I mean, flag and uh, report the player for hacking and and uh, disconnect. He's cheating. Sorry, man. We're going for a first turn win. Let's try it. Uh, Nathaniel says, I do plan on including a Google form next week's announcement to collect you feedback on the tournaments. Yes. Yeah. Well, I mean, I've, I've said basically everything that, uh, that I care to say, but I, I also, Nathaniel, do, do not pretend to know what the right answer is. So we will need... Um, to use the data to draw. Like, I don't want my intuition to, I don't want to pretend that my intuition is correct here. I have one, but that doesn't mean I know what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm just going to test stuff, right? Misguided says, Pete, hypothetically, you wake up tomorrow and you can't remember how to play Risk. How would you strategically approach getting better at the game? Would you stick with one game mode and play it until you felt confident enough? Yes. Um, to switch... So you play multiple and an overall feel. Um, I love your stream and I watch your YouTube daily. Thank you for all that you do. Cheers, man. So um, the process of learning how to play Risk, I think, starts with Classic Fixed and then Classic Progressive and then other maps and then other modes in that order. That's how I would look at it, right? Start with... Um, Classic Fixed is the root of the game because Classic Fixed explains position and explains player psychology. And once you understand position and player psychology, you can graduate to progressive and you can focus on the timing and the, the kill chaining. And once you have positioning, player psychology, timing and kill chaining, then you can focus on the skill gaps of fog, blizzards, portals, capitals, zombies, etc. In that order. That's how I think about it. Uh, but he placed the cap. I took it and he left again. Is it even cheating or just a bug? It sounds like he's cheating. <laughs> it might be a bug. It sounds more likely that he's cheating. Okay, my turn two looks like this. We get really good dice. Yay. Crackle got anything? No bono yet. Has a bono now. Crackle has a plus three. White bot here gonna cause trouble. Maybe that way. A says, I think Classic Fix is good until intermediate. After that, I moved up to meta settings because there's a lot of Pete videos. You can learn from that a lot. Yeah, I mean, frankly, uh, an intermediate and classic fixed is better than an intermediate in meta settings, right? I think if you can be a a classic fixed grandmaster, 
right? You can likely be really, really good at a lot of stuff. 22K master in two months, right on. Yeah, well, the meta settings is the best way to rank, is the most efficient way to rank up. Um, classic fixed is harder. So the pet depends on, the, the question there really depends on if you want to improve your skills or if you want to rank up efficiently, right? Which do you care about, your rank or your ability? Because ranking does not necessarily correlate to ability. And thank you, Max. Thank you for the birthday wishes, man. Let's play Europe Advanced Progressive Capitals 24-7. Europe Advanced Progressive Capitals. Um, <laughs> I'm trying not to play the same thing all the time. I like it. I love it. It's very fun. Do you want to play it all the time is the question. Where is Purple? I don't think we see him. Ah, so I get the Joker turn one. It's a fucking dude's trade. Unreal. Do I use that? I think I still use that. Hey, Uncle Traveling Matty with the five gifted. Thanks, bro. Fuck yeah, man. Thank you so much. Hey, thank you, Zayo, for the pitties. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Appreciate the generosity, man. Oh, it's trunk botting out again. Please, please, no bot. No bot. No bot, no. No. Bot, no. Don't do it to me. That's my... Oh, fucking, fucking bots, man. I tell you. All right, do we get the dice still? No, we don't. No, we fucking don't. All right. This is actually a really, really good board position. <laughs> Let's see if it holds. Because right, speaking of fucking bots, got any special plans for the evening? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have sex with the robot. Uh, wait, did I? I'm going to have sex with the robot. No, I'm not. I take it back. Uh, <laughs> I think Trunk currently has his turn. The PRT turn. Yeah, poor Trunk. Um, <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. This is a redonkulous board position. I'm on a really strong three point. This is a bot, though. Think about the bots not breaking. Good. Bot fortifies there. I have to hit that. Or do I? Can I just hold this turn and expand next turn? Hold on the three. No, it's not a three point because of, of this. I wonder. Happy birthday. How old are you now? I'm 41. Okay, Leona's hitting a lot of shit. I think we have to play this carefully. Use every troop. What is the number that I have to put here to prevent the five from rolling? And w if I do so, will I be able to put enough here and here? This is going to be my card. Yeah, we're fucking up the bot. Or do, or do I roll this five? Right, those are the two questions.
Yeah, because the bot could set. So steal the bot's bonus, maybe. Steal the bot's bonus, go, hope to get good dice. Mm. Oh, Trunk's back. Yeah, this is Trunk taking a bonus there. Well. Please, good dice. If this holds, I, I guard a very nice piece of the board from the first seat, but I don't know that it holds. Trunk probably breaks me, right? There's no way they let me hold this. They shouldn't. Is that the white bot's final position? Oh my god. Someone has that bot kill. Who knows where that bot is? Can I get there? Well, first question, does Trunk fuck me up here? Him missing the card, maybe he doesn't have a set. And I get the trunk kill. My trunk doesn't fuck me up. I don't think I hit that trunk stuff. I think it guards me. Then. Well, maybe it breaks me next turn. Do we go for the white bot kill? We have to, right? No kill. Too bad. <laughs> I 
Ah, Leona's there already. Damn it. All right. She gets in. Can I hold enough board? Can I crackle sets against the 10? Does he know how big I am? Well, now crackle gets the bot kill, though. Big bearded enemy. Established dominance. Birthday win streak. Ah, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, that should go into me. Good job. Or is he trying to kill Trunk? First hit win seems impossible. So someone cuts me down to size. Going for the Trunk kill. Yeah. Okay, 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 this is still fine. Maybe Leona punches from this line, or maybe Leona gets the trunk kill. Yeah, there's a lot of board. You have to hit me hard. Whoever got the karaoke asked Pete to sing happy birthday to him would be funny. Yeah, just trying to get the trunk kill. Fails it. Fails it. Okay. Loma? Loma Slackjaw? Yeah, in order for anyone to get to me, they have to punch through blue or yellow. That's right. Okay, he only has a six trade. He hits me, though, which is smart. No! He hits the other way! Oh! 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 No! Oh, no! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! He's hitting Crackle! Oh, my God! <laughs> Dude, I have half the map! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Seems like you'll move on to next week, yeah, despite my best efforts. Oh my god. Oh shit. Cracklebot, no. Oh wait, what? Oh my god, drunk. Oh my god. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen! <laughs> A first seat win. Holy fucking shit. Oh, <laughs> Good game! Oh my god! <laughs> oh. First seat win. Wow. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you found some of it fun and entertaining, maybe a little bit educational and informative if you are interested in getting better at the game of risk. I invite you to subscribe to the channel. Come along the ride with me on a daily show, twice daily. I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you for all of you on the path to world domination. Good games and good luck. Speed Blitz! What do you mean, man? Oh, yeah. We got Silent Legend. We got GX Hydron. Who else in our group? Jax and Ben Work Shoe. All right, are they late? I'm not late. I'm right on time. Two minutes on the clock, folks. Two minutes for round five of the five-round rubble tournament. Nathaniel's in the chat. Hey, Nathaniel, can you link me the spreadsheet? 
I want to see how the old Peatman's doing. I think I'm on one, two, three, four, five, six, plus seven. I'm on 13 points. Thanks, bro. How's, how's the Peatman doing? The standings. Holy fucking shit. Arco's at 37 points. <laughs> Am I 13? Yeah, 13. Okay. You know what? We made the cut, but just barely. <laughs> All right. Let's try and get some points today, folks. What do you say? What do you say? What do you know? Can we do it? Is the luck going to go our way? I like this map. This map seems cool. So are we gonna, we're doing Blizz here? Yes, Blizz. Cool. All right. Spawn heavy map, but like we got Sim the Lion to fuck some shit up. We got the turn order to fuck some shit up. Let's see if the chips fall our way, right? GX Hedron says, did we work real hard to get Sim the Lion? Would you prefer an actual lion? Well, we got a real group here, folks. Good luck, fellas. You doing, Sam? Yeah, I, I feel bad for the chair as well. Pete, I have a simple question. Will you always get points if you end up being second um, for five round rumble? or ranked I'm guessing you're talking about ranked play in ranked play um, you rank up if you're if you're kind of new it, up into about GM you'll always get something positive for a second place finish um, unless your opponents are very very weak um, hmm is there a bono for Pete? Bottom right. Okay, so I'm fourth. Hmm. Two territory plus two if I'm willing to hit a four of GX Hedron, which I don't know that I am. Alliance is supposed to be off. Yeah, we definitely don't want to be able to see. Yeah, def restart. Def restart. Got to have those settings proper. All right, second time's a charm. At least Jack's in the mood for risk yet, Tim. Right. Who are we waiting on here? We got Ben. We got Silent. We got Jax. We need GX Hedron. Yes! There he is! There he is! <laughs> you and Zeraki had went uh, went two and two. Ah, why don't you play the fifth game then, Tacos? <laughs> in what in uh, simple world caps okay this is the real game oh i have a turn one bonus hooray for the peach meown um <laughs> wow that was intense And I'm in the third seat. Okay, 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 okay. Who's the bot? Bot is black in the first seat. Yeah. Yeah, I have a way to play this, I think. Jack says, good game already? Did you just get folked by the bot? Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no. Yeah, dude. I'm enjoying the Chardonnay for sure. That's what we're listening to today, folks. This is... This is what's going to keep me in the five round rumble kind of mood. Maybe I take this actually. 
Oh no, Jax. Jax does. Good for Jax. No, it's okay. You don't have to cry. You don't have to cry about it. I get it. All right. Well, no guts, no glory, I suppose. <laughs> no guts, no glory. We lose this one, folks. Lots of guts, no glory. Yeah, I think it was worth. I think a 63 was worth rolling there to get a turn one plus whatever. What is that, Bono? Plus three? It's a good position. It just, the dice didn't go my way. Oh, sick. I lose that position too? Nice. We're going to actually die this game. We're going to die. Okay, so GX Tutor is bottom right. And bot starts with five, bot has a plus two, where bot has this. Where does it expand? Maybe the bot has 15 territories, but I think that's less likely. Uh huh. Jax has. I know where Jax is. It seems Pete has to pay back the luck sometimes. You never see me get unlucky, Leona? The last two tournament games, I've gotten um, ridiculously good luck in the open and then bad luck in the end. Right? I had a, I had a round with Tyler where. Um, I had a very, very high high odds kill. Everything went my way early for Assassin, and then I just couldn't get the rolls. Or like yesterday with the, those fucking Alcatraz zombies, right? I might have misplayed a little bit too, but like back-to-back -back fucking sets on three from Zeraki, that that got me for sure. How do you renew a Prime sub? I don't know, man. There's probably a button that like you click. It says like renew Prime sub or something. I don't know. The fuck do I know? I just work here. Okay, so Jax doesn't have that, right? Uh huh. Jax does have that. Okay, then where's the. I don't know where he is. I don't really give a shit. I'll let you. I'll let you uh, think that I'm down to work with you. Yeah, I just I, I think I think uh overall my luck is volatile, but I, I don't think it's particularly good right now. I think it's more like lots of highs and lots of lows. You struggle every month to give me that free free Bezos bucks, eh? It's appreciated, sir. It it definitely definitely helps me. Okay, GX Hedron does not have a bonus. It's still fun to play in the confirmation bias with all the good luck. Yeah, play with whatever you want. I I, I kind of need to track it, right? I, I'd much prefer to just be accurate and understand when I get lucky and when I don't. Oh, but I, I hear you. All right, so Jax has two plus twos. Now, Jax has this and this. Where does he add his troops? What map are we doing after this? We're going to be doing five of these. So these are five round rumble games. They last four or five rounds. And they are scored at the end of the fifth round. So um, if you're new to the mode, the player with the most territories at the end of the fifth round is the winner. 
uh, it heavily favors the player in the last seat, which is why the player in the last seat, if they win, earns two points. The player in the first three seats earns seven. If you win from seat four, seat five, you get three points. I think. Did I fuck that up? I probably fucked up the scoring. This is a funsies tournament. Okay. Uh, given the scoring system, which position would you choose to start in? Last. You would always choose to start in the last position. If you could. It's all it's such an advantage. Man, my card luck too, huh? You know what? I'll take shitty I'll take shitty luck in the funsies tournament. <laughs> Over luck when it matters. Alright, now we knock Silent out of that position. For sure. You're liking the open tourneys less than yeah, they like opens just aren't, you know. Aren't the best skill expression, let's say. <laughs> Does some noob give you the smack arena? Oh no. Oh no, I guess I just lose then. Okay, are we gonna try and take a bonus as blue? No, we're tr we're trying to stack and run out the corner. It might work. This is fine. This is fine. You think I failed the bot kill? Yeah, you think we see Jax get it? I don't really have a set, so. <laughs> Probably can't put enough troops out there for it to matter. Yeah, Jax gets it. Looks like. Also, uh, no backseating, guys. This is a tournament game. I know you guys just can't help it. <laughs> Jack just kill me. <laughs> Can't believe not having a set on five is fucking great. Ooh, goes the other way. Into yellow. I get one more round. Mm, but where would I put my troops for them to be impactful? You steal a bonus from Jax. Doesn't really do anything. Yeah, I think we're fine. And we get the dudes trade? <laughs> yep. Wait till five for the dudes trade. Miss a 6v3. Might as well flag now. What is the name of this song? The song is called Stronger. That's a nice looking stack for silent. Someone's gonna win this game. It is definitely not gonna be me. <laughs> Sweet has got me cleaning the dishes in a different kind of way. Yeah, you think Jax can kill me for sure. Let's see if he does. I hope he enjoys the dude's trade. All right, so uh, 
Uh, ben blocks that. Jax can't kill me now. You need this playlist? There you go. That's what we're currently listening to. Ultimate Sade. How you doing, Grim? Grimmy? Grimy? Grim Y. How you doing? You think you think it's a treat for you? It's a treat for me. You have to play five games here. Pete, do you think you do challenges like you can't get a bonus of 10 turns, classic or other stuff? I do from time to time, yeah. That's baby making music, says Victor Slim. Oh, oh, oh. How long does it take to before a video gets uploaded relative to the stream it comes from? Depends on what I'm shooting. Different things take different amounts of time to reach air. These might not make it to YouTube. Right? There really isn't anything sort of strategically interesting about these games. Um, they just seem to be a bunch of shit that happens. See if I can steal like a <laughs> 10 territory corner of the board or some shit. Not going to be enough. Shit that happens is my favorite type of content. I mean, th I just, there's nothing I can commentate on because I can't see half the game. Um, the gameplay seems haphazard. The luck seems incredibly volatile. The fact that there's a bot in these makes, you know, there really isn't anything strategically interesting to break down. Get lucky. You know, okay, I can get lucky or, you know, not. And we'll see how it goes. I might, I might put these on YouTube, but I'm in no rush. Put you that way. I did really well in uh, the, uh, what's it called? The last PRT tournament until the finals. So that one probably makes it. Ooh, Silent is manualing a Ben stack. Hey, Astrogan, what's going on, man? Thank you so much. All right. Yeah, it it we might see uh we might see player six take it this time. Last in the turn order super stack run the board. Seems good. Seems good. Yep. I'm expecting that I get ten territories and GXC drawn has more than that. Pete, what is the best map in your opinion? Best map for what? What are we trying to do? You know, manually or what? What's going on here? Different maps do different things. Blue? Yeah, blue. All right. We got a two-pointer for the player in the final seat. And we go to game two. From last stream, I also agree that there is no universal ethics system because there always seems to be a counterexample for each system. Yeah, but like <laughs> normal people, <laughs> common sense, right? Normal people don't need um, perfectly correct rules. We're not machines in that way, right? There is subjectivity and there's always room for opinion, room for error. It, 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 in my understanding, it, it is the thing that we are fundamentally, right? We are an opinion. You're a viewpoint. You are a unique viewpoint on the universe, as am I, right? We might see things almost the exact same, but never exactly the same. Thank you, Speedster, for the raid. What's poppin'? What's poppin', Speed Raiders? Animals are biological machines, sure. So we are imperfect machines, right? There is, I mean that in, in, in terms of rules, right? As far as it relates to the idea of there being perfect rules for the universe or whatever. Perfect rules for the right. It, Ethics is a, is a tr particularly tricky one because ethics refers to a quality, a quality of rightness or wrongness. So these hyper mega ethical philo philosoph philosophy nerds go into it and they're just like, 
No, we can actually math out the right thing. We can we can know conclusively for sure in all cases that it is true that this is right and that is wrong. It's like, well, you probably missed a spot. You actually matter, right? Your opinion, your viewpoint on that matters. You have to live with yourself. <laughs> if you do shit, and like obviously not not taking into account true psychopaths, but you have to live with yourself. Same map five times, that's right. All right, let's see how that does. Hey, doing Mazden. I'm good. Thank you, Nighthawk. Thank you, for, you know, Leona loves it, eh? Of course, how could I not? How could I not? It's fog. Nobody needs to know. Uh, Fix the Bug says, I'm sure you know the... Oh, I'm sure you know, though, that some people, not me, are desperately trying to find the what's the best way to ethically conduct themselves, although those answers aren't always attainable. Well, what we're doing right here is a good thing, right? We're having a conversation about that. Um, I think other other people's opinions do matter. You have to treat other people's opinions like they matter. Okay, Jax is looking to make a play that requires other people. Oh, hello! That didn't work out for us, did it? Okay, bot's gonna break both of my bonuses, right? Hope you're staying cool. It's hot as balls here. Thanks, man. That's one, and that's two. Sweet. All right, and that's game for me, so we'll go to game three. I'm sure I'm glad there's a bot in these settings. Bot makes these settings way worse. I can't believe we're still doing this. Can't get away with anything. Spawn. Don't spawn next to the bot. Boss slammed me so much in this tourney, too. I know. It's ridiculous. It's such a miss. Imagine what these ends would be like without a fucking bot. <laughs> Just imagine. It's easier to prove negative, so wouldn't finding unethical ways to not conduct yourself be more effective? Well, you can't rule out infinite things. So would it be more effective at what? Figuring out what not to do. Well, I, I mean, you could make the argument that ethical systems kind of are that. At least ones that are good. It's good to know that not all games are winnable. Oh, no. Oh, no, they're not. Realistically, people should focus on yellow because he's in the last seat. Anyone get anything? Jax has no bonus. Silent has a plus three from turn one. Am I religious? I'm anti-religious. I think that um, you owe it to yourself. And then by extension, you owe it to other people to make up your own mind. So if you parrot what other people believe blindly... Um, you're not doing a, a fundamental duty in investigating the world, right? So, I, and I'm not anti-religious people, mind you. 
but I am anti-religious. Oh, Jax wants me to reciprocate that? Huh. Oh, he's paying me back for staking the, paying the two threes? Sure. I don't give a fuck. Neither of us are going to win this game. Have you ever heard of Kurdistan? No. I'm sorry. Obviously, I've heard of Kurdistan. Um, but... Oh, great. Yes. Please hit me more, bot. Please. Thank you. Ooh! Ooh, the bot poos his pants. I love that. Love that for you. I, I've definitely heard of Kurdistan. Kurdistan is not only in Iraq, it's in uh, Turkey and Syria, too, right? A region of the uh, northern Middle East there. Isn't that what Jesus says about the scribes and the Pharisees? Yeah, well, I, I don't know. I don't know what Jesus says about things. I'll I'll pay Jax back. Let's see. What's the worst that happen? So Ben is here. Ben is in the, in the final seat, so they should have advantage. Sounds like an atheist, but non-theist. No, I, like I definitely believe in God, <laughs> but probably not in the way that you think of it. I just don't believe that it is up to me to tell you what I believe, right? And, and I don't care if you agree. I'm not selling it, right? Religion sells it. I'm never selling it. I straight up do not care if you guys agree. <laughs> but I'll answer the questions if people ask me. I'm just absolutely disinterested in the presumption and the arrogance to presume, right, that other people... And yeah, that's silent. All right, all right, all right, all right, fine. Fine. You know what, silent legend? You know what? I should fucking broken the bot too shouldn't i you know what if that bot breaks me that's fine i deserve it hey pete have you got the bug that doesn't let you place troops it also doesn't kick you for inactivity i've seen players yeah I've, 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 I've seen it happen a lot i've never gotten it maybe i don't think i've ever gotten it no I keep winning classic pro games in the two-player game because of the turn timer. Yep. Feels like cheating thoughts. Yeah, my thoughts are, and I've been saying this all whole time, that, uh, you know, the fact that the game is broken um, and it does not, not only doesn't have an equal um, cross-platform speed, but also um, <laughs> starts new players with a speed handicap. Um <laughs> Right, and then has a speed limiter on both PC and mobile. There's a speed. This is the one thing people don't realize. There's a speed limit on mobile. You can't even move as fast as your fingers. It's like all of that is just like if you wanted to, you know, restrict the growth of your game. That's how you would do it. Ah, no set on four either. No set on four. Well, what do you know, folks? All right, doesn't look like we win game two. Yeah, we're breaking everybody's shit. And, I mean, I'll happily give Ben the two points then. <laughs> if you want to get fucking suicided into, that's how. <laughs> Did not know that about the speed limiter. That's dumb. Oh, yeah. Lots of real bad design. Blue's looking for the bot kill. Well, now he's looking for uh, me suiciding into him. <laughs> you know what? Now I'm looking for his kill. How about that? No worry. We'll get a good game in. Or we won't. How would you play an alternative risk game in a better technical gameplay? Better. I'd play better. <laughs> if the game had better tactical gameplay, I would play better. If the slider didn't need to exist, I wouldn't make slider errors. If I could move faster, I would have more time to think. <laughs> I would play better. Get 
all the bad dice out of the way here. A little candle for me to win the game? Yeah, fuck it. I don't care. I, I, I would prefer to be eliminated here, actually. My experience of this tournament is the, the only real feedback I have, right? Try these settings without bots. Some of these maps are very cool. Like, this is a very cool map with the blizzards. It chokes up a lot of shit. The bots ruin it. Not having fucking, uh, not having a set on four back-to-back -back games, right? Whatever. Let's get some action in the third, fourth, fifth game. This guy's gonna fucking try kill me and be off by one and fucking feed me. Oh man, what a dumbass play. <laughs> what a stupid fucking play. Just feed the game. <laughs> Just fucking feed the game. Just stupid. <laughs> Good job. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Who's blue is GX Hedron. He's a good player. He won the last game. I didn't. Can we see through the fog now? Slider air. Oh no! Did you suicide into me and then get killed too? Oh, no way! <laughs> what a dumb play! Oh my god. What a dumb fucking play! I'm I'm very happy for you, IKEA. You I encourage you to believe whatever you want to believe, brother. If it makes you a more loving person, you know, more generous, more peaceful, it, then it is a good thing. I am I have zero interest in uh thinking like others. Okay, are we killing Jax then? I don't think that's an oops. I think that's a great kill. Yeah, but he doesn't have it. <laughs> it was worth trying, I'd say. This is fine. This is fine. I think that was very much worth and break on the bottom line too. Silent. Bottom uh three v one here. This is cool. Three v one, three v one. Don't give him two. Yeah. Good fucking shit. Alright, so Jax has cards. Silent has a lot of board. But I think I ah, sets, right? Are you doing Fortnite Vortex? Did you learn anything from this game? Yeah, that these settings should have no bots. I've been saying that for three weeks, though. I'm just going to say it every time. Yeah, you agree, Leon? Nice. I'm glad. I'm glad somebody agrees with me. I think it'd be way more interesting without bots. And bots just randomly hit shit. 
make players have to fucking choose. Okay, so yellow can kill white and set. But winning from the last seat, you know, makes a lot of sense. Yeah, easy win for yellow. He's going to kill Jackson set again. Almost sweet. Very nice. Very, very nice. Gives early seeds a chance. Let, let the players decide that. Ari says, one of the reasons I continue with the Star Trek questions is because it's interesting to see your systematic approaches, which are different from mine. I tend to believe, bear with me, that the universe is rationally designed so we can, in fact, logic our way into ethical and moral conclusions. You believe like most people do. So anyone's reasoning can be at the very least interesting when confronted with ethical dilemmas. Um, yeah, I just, I fundamentally disagree, right? I don't, I don't think the world... Um, I don't think the world of quality, this is, what, this is where you draw the line with ethics, right? I don't think the world of quality is purely up to logic, right? How can we play a game with you? I'll, I'll play a viewer game after the, after the tournament set. I'm going to do three more of those, and then I'll, I'll happily play a, uh, a viewer game. Been playing for two years? Right on, silent chubs. How are you, man? You blame Blue? Yeah, Blue really fucking fucked that up. <laughs> Blue fucked that game right up. All right, so it's two points for Blue, two points for Yellow. Can we get game three? <laughs> Remember the gator that got your hand? Well, I got his head. How do you feel about the speed blitz settings? Yeah, so far, almost every round has had cool settings. There was like one week that I thought the settings were, were kind of shitty, but like this week was cool. You know what it was? I don't like Dracons. Dracons is too much. Um, oh my God. I, lo I, I like maps with like blizzards where you can have fucking deep pockets and shit. That's what I think makes these settings interesting. But then again, Nathaniel's definitely tested it way more than me. So I don't pretend to be an expert on the, the settings. It's just more of a, a gut reaction with me. Right, you should definitely take Nathaniel's fucking word for it over mine. Pete, I defeated Grandmaster Day and leveled up to an expert. Congrats, Square, square Giraffe. Thank you, son. Thank you. We're going to try it. You think Dracon's your favorite map for, for five-round rumble or, or just in general? I think Dracons is cool for what it's good at. I don't think it's good at good for these, especially with a bot. <laughs> right? Dracons leads to ridiculous snowballs where someone just gets fucking dumb unlucky. All right, I'm in the first seat. Watch me lose another turn one. Six v three. All right, now we're talking. The bot's in the final seat. Hmm. Nathaniel says, we tested lots of different maps. The main things I was looking for was lots of easily takeable bonuses to allow for dynamic games and maps where blizzards lead to interesting pockets. 100%. Okay. Blue wants that. Blue's going for a split bonus? <laughs> Based on how we played last game, let's say maybe, possibly, perhaps doesn't realize it's a split bonus. <laughs> Whatever, I can lose it too. No big deal. No big whoop. Uh, Disco Ball says, do you think we have a good system for using pathological thinking like psychopathy and narcissism in a system of incentives so that their exploitation is directed to perform the task they specialize at? 
Mm, I don't know, man. I think most of that stuff is parasitic. All right, so I, I think the, uh, you know, traits like psychopathy and narcissism um, likely persist because of its own sort of survival adaptation. But, you're, I mean, you ask a very interesting question, right? Do we use narcissists for the thing that they're good at? Do we use psychopaths? I don't know. I'll have to think about it. I, I, great question. <laughs> <laughs> Gamble says, <laughs> says no homo. Uh, the no homo thing's so funny. Gamble's like, maybe a little homo. <laughs> maybe a little homo is my favorite. <laughs> All right. Who's this bot going to fuck up? Yup. All right, first set on three of the round. Yep, cool. You're doing Christopher Cosmos. Hey, Peteman. First time catching one of your streams. Been loving watching YouTube vids for about a year now. Got great vibes, man. I do try. I do try. You guys busting at the uh, latest emote, which is the crazy Pete face. All right. So we got Ben here. What is that? A plus three? Hmm. Which topic in philosophy do you like or dislike the most? I like logic because there is such a thing as the right answer. Um, I dislike ethics in this way, right? And I, I dislike the idea that there's some sort of um, right answer for a qualitative thing like ethics. But um, generally speaking, I don't mind talking about ethics. I love Phil of Mind talking about the, uh, the way in which the mental meets with the material. Um, Oh, what else? Um, epistemology is always fun. Figuring out what you believe. Figuring out what is true. You're an anonymous gifter. Thanks, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Support from Serbia. Right on, bro. So I'll move down to my Bionero. All right, maybe I guard the bot kill and I try and snipe it? Yeah. Is that a thing we can do? I need to bluff correctly, though. Pete, how do you find the Discord link and how do I start playing tourneys? Um, go to friendsofrisk.com slash uh, tournaments. Here, friendsofrisk.com slash calendar. And you'll see the tournaments that are open at the current moment for sign up. Hmm. So nobody saw this territory. Nobody knows the bot is here. So maybe I get fed the bot kill here. This is kind of my line of play. Oops. 
A first seat win would be very spicy. Uh, just to clear some confusion for me, are you talking about if we have a soul and where it would be in the body? Or are you talking about consciousness works in the minds? Uh, so philosophy of mind refers to, yeah, the mind-body problem is, is one of the things it talks about, like the way in which um, the mind interacts with the body. If the mind is material, I tend to fall on the side of yes, right? The 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 short, the, the broad strokes of that is if you think of your body as a machine, biological machine, and then you're, uh, yes. Feed me, silent legend. Feed me the bot kill. Um, if you think of the mind as an algorithm, like a program running on the electrical meat computer of your brain. Oh, fuck, really? 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 Okay. These fucking bots. It's just the dumbest shit, man. I'm just gonna stop playing. Doesn't fucking matter. The fucking dumbest shit. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine.
Why am I? I did you made a joke. And you emote this as fuck bots. I don't think we want to do Phil Collins. What can we do? There we go. All right, let's get this one done and then we'll play another game, hopefully. Jax probably wins because he's last in the turn order. All right, game four. Come on. Let's get a real game here. Let's go last in the turn. All I want is a game where the bot doesn't fuck me in the ass. Yeah, the same settings five times. This is four this is iteration four out of five. Hey Pete, you are a survivor in the wilderness of Africa. You need to survive three weeks. You have the chance to take three things with you. What would you take? <laughs> What's your definition of thing? <laughs> Fridge full of beers. <laughs> Did this map change? Nope. Same map. Ah, what do we do here? Take a turn one bonus and get immediately broken by the bot, right? Right? That's how this sort of thing has been going. Um, Aries would like to know, hey Pete, you're an unfortunate passerby in engineering on board the Enterprise. Wesley is attempting to create a static warp bubble, and you're about to be caught in it. Your thoughts at the moment of its creation determine the nature of the universe inside of it. 
Though physically it will still conform to the current environment, what might that universe actually look like? What would you want that universe to look like if it's different? Yeah, I think the uh, the extent to which your um, thoughts align with your intentional creation. Um, some people are way better than that at, than others. I'm okay at it. Um, So, but the world that is is very different. The world, that, and particularly the world that is accidentally, is very different than the world that you would choose to have it be. And I, I probably spend a lot more time thinking about intentionally creating the world than most. But what would the world look like if I could create it? <sighs> really, it's really tough for me to say. Right now, the world I'm thinking about is, is that of a family, right? I just want to live a peaceful life. Peace would be the one I would create, right? Peace, free time, joy. You said you liked where the mind met the material. Let's go, buddy. Let the rubber hit the road. Well, okay. So as a self-employed person, I have always kind of created my future in a literal way. You know, if you were, if you were put forth the problem of um, either you do this work or you starve, what would you choose to do? Now, for me, a guy coming from a world where my folks let me live with them, right? They supported me. But there was no money coming my way. So I couldn't start a business with any sort of investment. I had no collateral. Um, I had a shitty philosophy degree. I didn't even have that when I started my business, right? So it was just a matter of working really, really hard. Um, and for me, that is kind of my trick. I don't think I'm particularly gifted or brilliant. Um, and I don't even think I'm all that hard of a worker. I think of myself as kind of lazy. But one thing I do do is... Hey, I said doo-doo. Um, one thing I do is I commit to something. I start something, I iterate, I do it again tomorrow, I get a little bit of feedback, iterate again. You do that same doo-doo joke? Nice. Poo. So that's my answer to your areas, is that this, as a business, right, the YouTube thing, I would have never in my wildest dreams have thought of this as a viable business idea. This was entirely um, dependent on me being reasonably good at this thing and then iterations after iterations after iterations. Do it more and more and more. Maybe get a little bit better tomorrow than I was yesterday. Very well played, sir. You were going to lose that. Jax doesn't have a card without a break.
Hello, Yuri Zhang. Hey, people watching since I was a beginner, and now I'm at 21K Master and climbing. Thank you for entertaining me on, on my lunch breaks. Ah, oh, you're most welcome. Hey, nice. Silence got a set on three. I do not have a set on four. That's three out of four games. Bot sets on three and breaks me of the three options. Hey, dude, Shiraz. Hope you're doing well. Finally, happy to catch your live stream from Pakistan. How you doing, man? Beat two masters. Let's go. Yeah, we did see someone break it. If it looks like Megan Fox, sure. I do all sorts of stuff to make it vlogs. Hi, I'm coming from YouTube. Install Twitch only because of you, bro. Thanks, Bardia. How you doing today? So many new people. How's everyone doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome to all the new folks. I don't actually have a card, so you already have a bonus, Jax. I guess I can hit the bot. Which one of these two does Silent have? Is Silent beginning the three or the four? You know what? I don't even test that. All right. Do you think that Megan Fox would be just as hot if her last name was a different animal? Well, that depends. Do we think her hotness is related to her last name? Megan Hippopotamus. <laughs> Yo, you guys, y'all, y'all check out the recent Megan Hippopotamus movie. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Fox is a good name. Good point. Oh, sweet. Wait till five for dudes trade. All right. All right. We can do that. That seems like something would happen. No, at least Jax has a 10 set.
Anything I can do here is fucking king making again. Can I kill black and yellow? That's that's my line of play. Try and get another set. Ha! Yellow's a 31 stack. Is that guarding the bot kill? Yeah, but anything I do here still decides the outcome. Um, in not my favor, there's nothing I can do to win. Nothing I do matters. Pass the turn. Did I understand you correctly? Earlier you said you can logic way into ethics because you can't logic your way into ethics because the universe and you disagreed the whole thing or just part of it. Yeah, so the 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 thing, Aries, is the physical construction of the universe, what the universe is, I think is beholden mostly to logical rules unless we start to talk about like quantum physics and uncertainty, at which point all of that sort of thing breaks down. But if, if we just want to talk about Newtonian physics and the structure of the universe, then yeah, I would say it, it makes the most sense to assume that we are beholden to rules and those rules are logical. Um, but once you reach the... Um, field of ethics you're also um you're an <laughs> good, good job sir <laughs> this fucking guy what the fuck was that <laughs> once you reach the level of ethics you're saying okay so this is the universe that is there's a qualitative layer what is um good and bad about that Right. So the, the and, and I think once we ask questions of quality, there's no objectively true or right answer. So that's where I'm trying to draw the line. Quantum physics might not be deterministic, but it is still logical. Okay, how do you how do you uh, articulate the difference there? I wish people at my work would ask questions of quality. <laughs> Is pink on the Mary J? Yeah, I don't know what they're on, but. <laughs> Mr. Curly Jaw Beat I'm at Master And to keep fluctuating between that and Expert I want to get to Grandmaster any advice What do you play? Alright, last game Just caps Europe caps, classic caps Fixed, progressive I put a YouTube video. No, I'll, I'll happily give him a specific uh, tip or two here. To, just the tip, though. Um, classic cap, mostly fixed at any map. Okay, fixed caps on any, any map. Cool. So key principles to understand with fixed caps are um, negotiation. So how to allow your opponents to get what they want, how to get out of their way positionally. Fixed caps is a lot more like a slower... A more explosive fixed game. So I think the key difference between a master and a grandmaster in fixed caps is primarily in reading their opponent, negotiation skills, making sure that you're in a position where you're able to negotiate for your position and your opponents dislike each other more than they dislike you. So forming relationships, giving your enemies what they want such that they give you what you want I like fixed, my, my um, play style with fixed is I like to be the biggest player and I like to kind of bully a little bit, um, but in, in the nicest way possible. I like to kind of leverage my strength um, to say, you know, I will trust you, you will trust me, but if you break me, I will retaliate really hard. 
Um, so kind of incorporate those those ideas into your gameplay. And I'm sure you do much of that already. Um, but I think the, the real difference between a master and a grandmaster for something like fixed caps like that is understanding your opponent's psychology, playing to it, and then allowing them to get what they want up to and including the point where, you know, gives them the win over you. You oops me all you want, get the fuck out of my face. I give no shits about this game. I want to lose this game. Make me fucking kill you. <laughs> Newtonian physics is deterministic while quantum physics is stochastic. But both obey logical rules. The fact that the stochastic nature of quantum allows for any possible result, even with an infinitesimal probability, does not deny that. Ugh. I want to know what that means. Quantum mechanics follows rules with randomness. Yeah. Randomness. Yeah, exactly. Rules with randomness. So, what does that mean? Hmm. When you only have two potential outcomes like a Monte Carlo simulation... You have a fixed outcome after iteration, so the rules of statistics still apply. Yeah, things are probabilistic. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, right? I don't know if the mechanics of quality still work that way, right? If we can, if we can actually break down everything into... Um, you know? True-false. Binary propositions. Uh, be well, Bumstum. Do you follow any sports on the Olympics? No. My girl's really into the gymnastics. I don't care, Dax. I don't care. I have no position. Kill me. Make me die. While we may not know exactly where an atom's electron is when it is orbiting its nucleus, we have a prob probabilistic indication. We know it cannot be an apple pie. Okay. Um, does that make it a qualitative observation? No, right? Still makes it a quantitative observation. So how do we define the quality of the universe? We observe it. Maybe it is a qualitative observation. I'm just trying to think this one through. Just hit my five, Jax. Just roll an AV5. It's a very unlucky spot. Eh. I'm happy to not play this next week. Every fucking week I've been fucked in the ass by bots. Jax thinks I'm playing like I have something to lose. I have nothing to lose. Why are there bots allowed? I don't know. Settings choice. When you observe something, we collapse the wave function and we know exactly where the electron is, then it is Newtonian, no longer quantum. Yeah. But like, is that sort of how you define a qualitative observation? And if not that, then what? Don't worry, Kyle, I got a set on three.
Holy shit. Okay, so Silent smacked the shit out of Ben. Why? Trying to get the Ben kill, I think. Okay. Silent feeds the Ben kill to Jax. In the course of 25 or more games, I asked Nathaniel this last week. I asked him if, uh, if he thought I'd been getting unlucky or if, if he thought I'd been playing the settings bad. The thing is, if I have been playing the settings bad, no one can give me advice. So I'd like to hear it. But if I've been getting unlucky, you know, that's just the shit fest I expected from this tournament. I'd love to know which one it is, though. I think over the course of 25 or more ridiculously lucky games, some people get lucky. I think getting the bot out of these games would be a great idea. Um, just from the perspective of... Why have more luck? So I, I smack silent here because I think silent fed the game to Jax. Let's make sure he can't come back. Am I enjoying the five round rumble so far? Eh. I'm glad we're trying it. Mm. I'm trying to kill the bot? What? Okay, now Jax gets the bot kill. <laughs> oh no! Now Jax gets the bot kill. Oh fuck off. Wow. Let's go. Jax probably gets the bot and the silent kill and then, oh man, this is a really good turn <laughs> okay, Jax kills silent legend? no, his AI yeah 
Kills the AI and then kills me and Silent Legend, I think. Oh, the PB tournament. The PB tournament is the one I'm looking forward to the most, right? I think that's the closest thing to what we will see from actual competitive tournaments in the future. Only winning matters, longer seasons, more games, no cuts, or very late cuts. Give people a chance to actually win some games. Let's try to find silent. Doesn't find it. Well, that's Silent's final territory, but I don't get any... Um, I don't really get anything from it. I mean, other than the... <laughs> other than the pleasure of killing Silent Legend. I mean... <laughs> Threw this game to Jax. Good game. Let's see how much blue hits me. I love the PP. Oh, 100%. Do you think winner only format creates more stalemates than a points format? Well, that's the thing, right? Um, originally, points and risk were designed to mitigate um, the propensity for risk games to stalemate. And at that point in time, tournament organizers were still giving players stalemate settings and pretending that it was the player's fault that the setting stalemated. But now that we've learned a couple of things, right? We've learned that the stalemates are mostly the setting's fault. Um, we've learned that um, you can design risk settings that don't stalemate. We've learned that you can design risk settings that can stalemate, but don't always. And in that space, um, one thing I've been working on really carefully is to try and get the idea that resets are ever okay in a tournament um, completely off the table and say, instead of that good game, no set? Ooh, it's an open game. All right, who does Jax hit? This is actually a, a... We don't know. I mean, does GX have more than me? Yeah, you hit blue if you're Jax, I think. But that's risky because it could... Oh, man. we. I don't actually know who wins here without a set. <laughs> yeah. Do you hit blue or do you hit P? It's a tricky question. You kind of hit them both, right? But you hit both of us kind of equally, I think. Jack still wins. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so the, the instead of restarts, what, what Parlox has done in the, the Perfect Play tournament is institute my idea of after a set number of rounds, we add a stalemate win con in that, you know what, sometimes the settings will stalemate, and if they do, we have a mechanism built in as tournament organizer. We respect our players enough to have a mechanism built in that ends the game in a reasonably satisfactory way. Jax wins, yeah. GG to Jax and GG to everyone. And thank you to Nathaniel for hosting this tournament, man. Solid first attempt. Very, very grateful to compete, you know? I don't mean to shit on the effort. It is, appre it is appreciated. Hope you all enjoyed, folks. And that's round five. Hey, you Nathaniel? Doing all right, doing all right. How about yourself? Pretty good, man. I'm excited for some five round rumble. <laughs> I'm I'm also very much looking forward to this, especially the uh, the unique format of this finals. I I really hope that it uh that it works out well. Would you like to tell the people about the uniqueness of the format? Yes, I can. I can absolutely do that. So, um, how the finals are going to work for uh, this five round Rumble finals here is basically all of the finalists are going to kind of be reset back to zero points using the same scoring structure as the previous rounds. It's first to eleven points wins. Cool. And can you for for someone just tuning in? How does the scoring structure work for five round Rumble in this tournament? So. 
So how it works is uh, a win from first, second, or third seat gets you seven points. A win from the fourth or the fifth position gets you three points. And then a win from the ultimate position gets you two points, because since five round rumble, the goal of the game mode is to capture as many territories as possible after five rounds are over. It does tend to favor those in later turn orders versus those in early turn orders. Did everyone get that? It's going to be a rumble. Who are we, uh, who are we getting to see fight today? So our five finalists that we got here, we got Arco, uh, we got Mamba, we got Chris, 141433, we got Speed Sepe, and then we got Beretamite. First to 11 points. This could go quickly or it could go quite a while. It looks like almost everyone could. is here. And no bots for the final, mm -hmm. eh? Six people? No. Um, we're no, there, there will still we're be keeping a, a bot. A okay, bot we're keeping one bot in each of the games. Are the mm -hmm. settings rotating? Um, the settings, how the settings are going to work is I have a Lamas? wheel pulled up on my phone right now with the round one, two, and three settings on them. And... Then what I'm going to be doing is for each round, spinning that wheel to determine what settings we're going to be doing as we go round by round. Okay, so each game is going to be different settings. Mm -hmm. Spicy, yes. very spicy. All right, it looks like um, Bradamite is just going to be running a few minutes late, but... Besides that, we should have everyone here soon, hopefully. We can entertain the people. Should we throw up a, a Funzies five-round rumble game while we're waiting? Uh, yeah, I can <laughs> see if I can potentially get one thrown up here while we're waiting. Just got to boot up Risk. Sure would be a shame if there would be some dead air. <laughs> Here, there's Instagram models you can put on instead. That doesn't sound like my show. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Who would do such a no, thing? No, never. <laughs> I just thought it was an ad break. It was. It was. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, let me see yeah. if I can find something for the people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me uh, retune in. <laughs> you know what else we could do in instead of Instagram models? I'm, I'm also partial to uh, fashion shows. <laughs> Hello, people. Hey, Mamba. Hey, Mamba. I unfortunately will not be able to partake in the VC activity and shenanigans today. Um, due to driving home from vacation uh, with a bunch of people in a car and no earbuds. Oh, damn. <laughs> um, and I'm on mobile, so on top of that, I won't even be able to check Discord. <laughs> It's a man. triple whammy. Hell, you get to see the wheel spins. Oh, <laughs> shit. Yeah, I heard that we have command base on standby. <laughs> that sounds awesome. What's wrong with command base? I'll be the first person to run it on mobile. I'll do it. I'll be the <laughs> one. <laughs> Full world uh, victory. <laughs> <laughs> I heard I get 11 points. <laughs> Honestly, you, you, Nathaniel, you could make that a legitimate rule. Because <laughs> I doubt we'll see it. Not not a fan. Somebody's going to get a crazy spawn. They're going to take two bonuses turn one, and then they're going to just win by turn four. <laughs> that never happens. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, don't hit me too hard. Uh, I'm going to sign off, get ready for the games. I won't be able to voice chat, unfortunately. I uh, wish everybody good luck. Good luck. Oh, man, but that background audio is great. <laughs> <laughs> Most importantly, let's have fun. This tournament's all about fun. Like all right, good luck, man. All right. I'll talk to y'all later.
All right, I did uh, DM you that code, Pete, if you still wanted to do a quick five-round rumble game while we're waiting. Oh, let's do it! <laughs> All right, let's go. Wait, so since we have to mute you guys soon, and then Sepe's usually doesn't speak, it'll just be Chris Brady by now. Yeah. <laughs> It's gonna be fun. <laughs> Hell yeah. when it's needed. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> so, we're in agreement? We're all just gonna kill Mamba every time? <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna tur immediately run Legends strats on him. Everyone hit a stack. It seems like a safe play. <laughs> Uh, you guys remember that uh, that New York Prog Cavs game in one of the round ones? Yep. I forget which season it was, but I remember there was one person in my group where shortly after the game started, he left the VC. And as soon as he left the VC, I was like, okay, we're going to card block him here, here, and there. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> He's going to be He's gonna be gone. No, no, he wasn't in my group. Uh, I got one shot that game. I, know I think that was. I think that. I think that was the round I met Becky. Actually, in the in the infamous digitalic slam when he meant to <laughs> slider a portion, he accidentally full sent. <laughs> It was it was a tactical uh, full that. send, tactical full send. <laughs> As evident by his immediate oops. <laughs> <laughs> I think my favorite part about that whole thing was. I think it was down to the final three or four, and none of us realized that top right connection was a thing. And so, like, we were all, like, <laughs> missing out on potential kills for many turns because we all just forgot that connection was a thing. Oh. So when and you how does this... Wait, when and how do the wheel spins begin, Nathaniel? Um, so what I've got is I have a wheel spin uh, pulled up on my phone with the, the first three round settings put on them. And every round I'll be spinning it, and then whatever it spins, I'll be uh, just putting that in the finals thread. Okay. If you want to, I can also accompany that with a uh, with an accompanying screenshot just to just to show that that was indeed the settings that were shown, but uh, I'll leave that up to I the... Think we're ready to I guess, the yeah, set up here. That, 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 that would help Mob out a bit, I think. Oh, oh, the way, he can't check Discord. You guys good to go? I guess. Uh, I don't know, Bradamite's here, let me see... I am ready. I can set up the game. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, we're good to go here. Alright, let's, let's, let's get this show on the road, folks. All right, sounds good. So, um, one final thing that I will ask that you all do before, right before we get started, is you will have to go down in this VC and turn down all of our volume, both Pete and I's volume on Discord, all the way down to zero, just so, just so that way you all can still hear each other, but not Pete and I while we're and we got to keep it that way, regardless if this is like a two game or twelve game set. <laughs> <laughs> all right uh, all right i'll meet you two guys now yeah yeah i'm gonna mute them right now too well, good luck fellas and there we go okay yeah i'm ready for whatever the settings are so i can set it up i think everyone's friended except for speed for me. Oh, I see. You just want the red. Correct. <laughs> you know exactly why I'm setting it up. 
I don't care. Pink, red, black, white. Drink all. Besides orange. Orange is just disgusting. Nathaniel says, for settings or Dracons? Oh, boy. Okay, those were Fog. Fog and Blizzards. No portals, I think. And 60 I seconds. I thought there was unstable portals every round. You think there was unstable? Maybe there was. I know there was Blizzards and Fog. Maybe Nathaniel can type in the chat for us if there was unstable or not. It's been a while. it's been a few weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that it round trying two? Trying to remember is very hard. Was that round two? Oh, so, uh, no, there's, there, there, the there's, there's a link. There we go. There we go. Yeah, it was round two. It was unstable. You're correct. Look at that. Okay. Because I remember a lot of the fire normal testing games. Unstable, 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 unstable. <laughs> yeah, wow. it's almost like that in the FFA. Unstable, unstable. <laughs> I don't know. There we go. I don't think anyone plays okay. pink in this. Codes up. I should be sick. With that great kilted flex tape beam of. <laughs> Putting unstable portals as the flex tape <laughs> onto, onto the cylinder of water. Yeah. The band aid patch. They work, guys. <laughs> oh, I'm not mad. I'm just bored. Uh, I don't like dead air, right? I want to give you guys a, an exciting show. So I'm just waiting for this uh, tournament to fire. <laughs> what the heck is this? <laughs> italicized font. What? <laughs> italicized? <laughs> what in the world? Slit, whatever it's called. <laughs> That's crazy. First changing the color of the name, now yeah. changing the font styles a thing. Oh boy. What is this color scheme? All right. I need the bots to be green. Like we need we some sort of... To get started here. There we go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> On Christmas colors, I see. All right, sounds okay. good. Okay, are ready. we uh, I am definitely ready, ready to, to go? Rock. Game one? All right. So tell us what we can expect from good Dracons. Luck. So for... Dracons, what I found is it can be very easy to uh, to snowball on this map because there are a lot of two or three territory bonuses, so it's quite easy if you have the right spawn for it to take a bonus or two first turn, take a bonus or two second turn, and if players aren't careful about keeping each other in check, one player can kind of run away with this game depending on what the what the spawns look like. Mm-hmm. So we're going to be seeing all of these games from Chris's perspective? Mm -hmm, yes, we are going to be seeing them from Chris's perspective. So Chris is magenta, and he's in the ultimate seat. And ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Well, he got lucky there. The bot decided to roll a three turn, turn one and failed it. Lucky dice. But all things considered, it's not it's not the worst thing in the world just because Chris does have the advantage of being six. So he does get the ability to act last if he can make it. So I don't think turn. I don't think acting last on this map is an advantage. Right? Now it's an advantage for the mode inherently, but one of the things I've noticed about Dracons is stuff gets claimed. Right, so being the last to put your troops mm. in really means you're dealing with the dregs. You're dealing with the position that nobody else wanted. Hmm. Is that how you yeah, see I it? Yeah, I can. Um, I I can definitely see that, but um, some one strategy that I've employed from the last position with varying degrees of success mm -hmm. is basically claiming one bonus as my own. Thank you, SNK. Just sitting on that bonus and just making one big stack as the player in the last position. Right. Just so and, that way, and with the blizzards too, you can really leverage. That's a great. Uh, it's a great strategy, I would imagine. Um, if you can find the endpoint of a pocket, 
right? And just clear out everything. Like, mm-hmm. like as an example, if uh, if the player in um, in this position in, in yellows four is able to get everything behind them and just stack, mm-hmm. and then they can push out into, you know, either on the last turn or the the second last turn, right? Just to set up how deep how deep can you hold a pocket on a one point is a good thing to figure out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've. I've definitely seen some some pretty insane blizzards where I think with the right blizzard setup you I've seen like two or three bonuses able to be held from from one point. Mm-hmm. So blizzards definitely can chop up this map. Yeah, they always do. I would mm-hmm. I would I would dare say almost every single blizzard configura- configuration for Dracons is very significant. Mhm. And this is yeah. See, so what we're seeing Chris do is he's he's making a safe play. Um, gets bad dice. He was going for two bonuses, and he should have been able to get close to getting it, but not much that we're going to expect to see Think. here for our hero. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, it's going to be it's going to be risky. Yeah, we see the bot add everything to a portal. Which portal does it decide to hit? Ta <laughs> wins a four v two. Yep, thanks, bot. That is <laughs> that is game over already. Let's see if we can figure out who wins this game. So Mama didn't get a turn one bonus that held. Mama's blue, and he's taking mm-hmm. a plus three there, which probably does hold. Let's see. Does Brayden might have anything? We didn't see it went over too quickly. Well, we can. We see Bradamite playing as red. Also moves into oof oof. Oh, All right. ooh. It looks like looks like Bradamite's the yeah. one holding that pocket right potential, there. Potential potential snowball for red coming out of the top left. And that would be a big seven points, right? Starting it out. Mm-hmm. That... As Nathaniel explained, folks, a win from the first, second, or third seed is worth seven points, and this is uh, first to 11 points overall. If the player in the uh, second last or third last seat wins, it's three points, then the ultimate seat is two points. So in a vacuum for five-round rumble, it really is heavily, heavily favoring the end of the turn order. I think these settings actually... Um, lean kind of the other way, right? Just the way all of mm-hmm. the configuration of these settings work, I think it favors someone who aggressively takes and holds an early bonus and then aggressively takes a, and holds a second um, on the subsequent turn. Chris is now all in on that split bonus at the bottom. Ah, really rough first game for Chris. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. Okay, so Seppi has a plus three. Let's see who's getting what. Brayden White had a plus three. Now he has a plus three and a plus five. The bot might have taken that bottom plus two there. Yeah. Yep. Okay, Mama now holds that plus three and he's going to move. And sets. <laughs> that is also really important, right? That's an- another reason why I think the... Um, if you can If you can get a early set on these settings and keep leveraging an open. I think, and, and your, your statistics can actually, um, look at that. <laughs> 16 mm-hmm. trips. Your statistics can probably already um, tell us some about this question I have for you, Nathaniel, but um, to what extent did different settings favor earlier uh, seat wins? Um, is, is my intuition see, I... about this one correct? Let me see. I can pull up the statistics that uh, Marcellus was nice enough to put together. Damn right. Why don't I the am, devs just make I a spectating seeing... option? Yeah. <laughs> Why don't the devs do anything? <laughs> I wish it too, I, my friend. I am. I am seeing that for uh, this round settings right here, these Dracon's Fortress settings. Mm-hmm. I'm seeing a lot more. Sp- red on this round so like there are even. still quite you think this is a fairly even setting mm-hmm. oh interesting mm-hmm. yeah at least like i'm 
seeing a lot of a lot of well a lot for five round rumble of uh like first second and third a lot of fourth and fifth and then also quite a few sixth position mm-hmm. wins if you want to i can also uh can also tell you some of the stats tournament tournament wide for how often you win from uh from each p- seat yeah i'd love to know yeah so what this is something that i was quite interesting to learn about because i i thought that it, five round rumble was, the wins were kind of going to be tiered where like sixth seat is the most likely to win then the next tier would be fourth and fifth seat which are slightly less likely to win but still likely to win and then the least likely was first second and third mm-hmm. but it seems like there's actually kind of a natural progression seat by seat where it looks like the data shows that each seat is about one one and a half times more likely to win than the seat before it so fair scoring would be um two po- so okay two points for ultimate seat one and a half times um mm-hmm. and then times 1.5x so how mm-hmm. would you do, how would you do that um how do you distribute the maybe... scoring fairly yeah, that's that's what I'm trying to think. Maybe you could do like uh Maybe you could do like you said two points for sixth, you could do three points for fifth, you could do either four or five points yeah. for uh for fourth and then you could do like about six to seven points for uh for third and then just keep on keep on going up the line. And and that would sort of do. Do you kind of like that? For have you been thinking about doing this for the the next iteration? Um, like yeah, the way the points I, are distributed. Hmm. I I would definitely say probably the 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 biggest problem with the current scoring is that a win from first is treated as the same as a win from third. Mm. Where whereas the data Which seems, is seems way to harder. show that yeah <laughs> yeah yeah. Yeah, Absolutely. like just just looking at the the stats, you have about a four and a half percent chance of winning from first seat, versus you have an eleven and a half percent chance win to win from the third seat. So, but yeah, I would say one of the one of the things that I'm most excited about from this tournament is now I have a much larger data set. For which to base like scoring and stuff off yeah, of. Yeah, definitely. Cause... Now we know some things, as opposed to everything being a wild guess. Hmm. Yeah. Like, like obviously, I had my my test set of about seventy five games, which I based my initial scoring off of. But now, now I have a data set of over three hundred games for which to draw from, which is a lot bigger. Hey, thank you, Tanner. Thank you so much for the sub, bro. What else um, are you using this data? Like, what else have we learned? What are you using it to uh, inform uh, for next season? Um, perhaps uh, this is isn't so much in the data, but it's what I've seen from both viewing the games as well as feedback from the participants is that the next iterations will 100% have no bots because one thing that I've learned is bots, they cause more problems than things that they offer in terms of snowball potential for early mm. seats. They cause more problems than they fix. So, I, I personally, um, I felt that there were two different issues with the bots. So... There's mm. the there's the the way in which the bot attacks um whatever is around it in fixed with the portals um mm-hmm. can be quite lucky. Right? So we're adding a luck element mm-hmm. to an already lucky mode. And one of the things that I think is so admirable about this entire endeavor is the attempt being made to you know, make what is inherently a ridiculously lucky mode somewhat viable for competition. Mm-hmm. But I think the other thing that um, that I found might have been a missed opportunity 
by having the bot do that is when you have players making decisions, um, a meta can develop, right? We, we just honestly don't know. Now, maybe these six guys do, or these five guys do better than I do, but we don't honestly know what the real meta strategies are for the mode because it just hasn't really mm -hmm. been played competitively all that much. And I would love to, to suss that out. And I think having, um, having that additional luck element um, slows down the progression of, of figuring out how to quote unquote properly play five round rumble. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is, that is definitely a, an interesting analysis there. And I, and I definitely agree with basically all that you're saying that, like you said, the bots introduce just another element of of randomness mm -hmm. that can make it hard to, like you said, suss out exactly what the best strategy or the correct quote unquote way yeah. to play five round rumble is. Do you and and on that note, um this <laughs> this does seem like one of the modes just as a general rule, but this does seem like one of the modes where aggression is heavily rewarded in risk. Would you say that's mm -hmm. that's kind of one of the big takeaways you've noticed? Oh, one one hundred percent. Yeah, it it it's it kind of runs counterintuitive, perhaps, to almost every other game mode, where it's all about you know gradually maintaining positions and waiting for the right moment to strike, where you can then convert that to a win. Whereas in five round rumble aggression is almost always the way to go just because the game's only five rounds long. So you need to do as much as you can to maximize your chance to win. Yeah. Like the right moment is the first moment. <laughs> and then mm -hmm. if, and if you manage to build off of that, then the right moment is the second moment. And you just have to keep kind of trying to leverage any advantage or, or possible advantage. It, it seems also like very punishing um, in a way that, you know, it's difficult to come back from. If you do, mm -hmm. you know, just start on the back foot. Comebacks are almost impossible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is that is one of the things that I've been sort of trying to figure out uh, myself is what is the correct number of players for five round rumble in order for it to be a enjoyable experience for all players involved. Because mm. at least in my opinion, I think six players could almost be too many players for five round rumbles just because there's only so much board that you can sort of claim and section off for yourself that with six players one player could end up screwed through no fault of their own just because everywhere else gets claimed so then they get stuck with next to nothing yeah like even chris this game right like chris spawns in the ultimate seat now he happened to get a lucky set which is the reason why he's any troops at all but mm -hmm. you know and this is a noble attempt too being made because he is in Lassie. He just wants to try and hold as much board as he can. I don't know. How do we think this... Uh, oh, that was a mistake. Oh, lock is stacked. <laughs> that was a path Lock here. is yep. stacked. Hey, thank you, Fighter Jock, for the prime. Thanks, man. Ooh, they're doing the counting. Doing the counting. Well, it doesn't matter. This was the last player to act, so we shall see. The game will count for us. Who do we <laughs> think got it here? Mamba? I'm liking either Mamba or Chris. Hmm. Do we think 11 is enough? Arco. Oh, Arco. <laughs> <laughs> so that is uh, uh, three points for Arco. Yes, that is, that is three points for Arco. Very nice, very nice. Arco puts himself on the board to start. If you're just tuning in, folks, this is a uh, final set where we're going for 11 points. So first to 11 points. Arco first on the board at three points. <laughs> Tyler, let's just roll the 3v7. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if, if you believe in your dice enough. So the next round settings here that are going to be coming up are going to be the round three settings, which are on Operation Adam. Oh, yeah, these, these are great. 
These are really good. I like uh, I like this map a lot. I think this map is an underrated risk map. Mm -hmm. It has a oh, lot yeah, of that's, um, it... diversity to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's one of one of the reasons why I chose it is um, it has a lot of small, easy to take bonuses. So, like you said, it allows for some very dynamic, different gameplay, and um, also the blizzards can lead to some very interesting um map orientations because it can create pockets or it can block off connections between territories and can lead to some very interesting boards how do you feel about experimenting without the unstable portals that is that is one of the things that i kind of need to figure out because there there are pros and cons to including and not including them mm -hmm. um i would say the one of the pros is that you can take an awful spawn and try and turn it into something just because you Look can use the portals to combine positions move troops together to in order to claim a bonus or two um kind of like we saw chris did in that last game but um obviously a con is it opens up more connectivity and particularly when there's a bot involved it can lead to hidden bot stacks all of a sudden appearing and then going through portals that players would have no way of seeing. Yeah, I, I think my question is more in the in the environment without a bot, right? In that sort of mm -hmm. hypothetical scenario I was talking about where we're trying to develop an actual meta for, a meta strategy for Fire on Rumble. Um, mm -hmm. I find maps with exactly like this, right? Maps with the potential to have very deep uh pockets with with one point holds two point holds um where the blizzards are op um i think that creates very interesting tension um for when the right time particularly with fog too right when the white when the right time to address a player who may be snowballing is mm -hmm. yeah so sort of like you said to that point um portals can definitely help to deal with a player who is snowballing because if they're claiming a pocket, they can't be claiming it too quickly. Otherwise, when unstable portals open, they may be uh, susceptible to being broken. And um, again, like you mentioned before, getting your bonus broken is perhaps one of the worst things that can happen to you in five round rumble just because the, the game mode is only five rounds long. So you want as many rounds worth of bonus generation as you can. Ideally all five. Rounds. Ideally all five, yes. <laughs> I'm just I'm just looking at this map here and we have some very interesting blizzards on the on the left hand side. It makes sort of uh, that Europe bonus a two point hold. Assuming there are no portals in it. Europe. <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> Europe! 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 If only we could get you, you through the uh, voice changer, Nathaniel. <laughs> All right. Chris smacking the crap out of some bot. I like that. Mm -hmm. What does he do for the fortify? Ooh, it looks like he's trying to lay claim to another bonus there, potentially. Having that four in the top left is actually quite ideal, you know, for the late game. That mm -hmm. is just a natural corner in this map. If you have mm -hmm. enough troops yeah, in there and you can come out of it, rip roaring. And it's, I think, perhaps one of the best things about corners like that is only one person is ever able to see you at a time and only one person is ever able to smack you at a time because one thing i've noticed from uh five round rumble games particularly in skilled lobbies is sometimes what players will do on the final turn is they'll like slider somewhere between five to ten troops into a player in later turn turn order just to basically give them less troops to work with on the final turn. Mm -hmm. But that's also a very, very interesting tension, right? Because you have to figure out um, how to do that in a way that doesn't just throw it to someone else. 
Mm-hmm. And you have to yeah, be I... blind. Yeah, it's 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 a very interesting balancing act because if one person ends up snowballing, obviously they just end up winning most of the time. But sometimes in trying to prevent the snowball, you can end up feeding it to another player who perhaps you didn't quite know their exact size, how many bonuses they're holding, what their troop count is. That was my that was another one of my main issues when I was playing is I noticed that there were a number of games where any action I took would King make. But no action I took mm-hmm. could advance my position. And I really have no interest in choosing which one of my opponents wins generally. You mm-hmm. know, un- unless they have done something specific to cause me to favor them over, over any other. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that is... I'm actually really glad that you brought that up because that is perhaps the number one sort of issue with the game mode that I'm hoping to solve in future tournaments is, like you said sort of that scenario where it gets back around to your turn and you basically have no move you can make that potentially wins you the game. And one of one of the ideas that I've been sort of toying around with is maybe introducing the idea of placement points versus just winner only points mm-hmm. just so that way even if it gets back around to your turn and you have no way of winning, at least you can do something to try and achieve the highest placement you could possibly hope for. But what would uh, what would that even mean for this mode? What does placement mean in Five Round Rumble? Mm-hmm. I know. So that's yeah. no. I, I, again, honest question. Something... I would love to know. Like, I want to. I want mm-hmm. to help you work on this problem. <laughs> yeah. One... So when you say placement, what are you thinking? So one idea that I had, because obviously with Five Round Rumble, after the final final person takes their final turn the game just kind of ends it doesn't give you right. a placement screen it doesn't even show you who owns what territories the game just ends one idea that i had was playing basically pseudo five round rumble in fixed world dom ah. where basically after after the five turns are over um basically players you can either I'll have players all ally up or players can all share screenshots to show what their um, territory and troop count are sure. and then basically use those to award placement points. Excellent. Let the game do it for you. I like that a lot. Um, mm-hmm. It's But the one thing we would miss then would be that free card. Mm-hmm. So... But the one thing we would gain... <laughs> Would be manual placement. I know. Oh, it's, it's... <laughs> I like this. I like this a lot. Okay, okay. How about this, Nathaniel? How about this? How about this? Mm-hmm. Do that, but six round rubble. Manual. Mm-hmm, that is. You, you've thought of I've, I figured you thought of this. I've, yes. <laughs> okay, great. Yeah, Yay. I've, 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 I got there. I've, <laughs> yeah, I've, I've been thinking we're basically what, uh, basically, it'll end up being six round rumble yeah but um what you end up doing is you said maybe the first turn you take that first turn to gain that first card and then yep. the traditional five round rumble thing can then kind of start after that turn because basically it gets everyone to that first card right there and then the game actually kind of starts well this is all very interesting and uh, another thing then to consider would be what actually is the sweet spot for number of rounds? Because there's no real reason why five is the magic number. That's just, just the way it was. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it's... You, have you had any thoughts in that regard? Do you think a slightly longer set of turns would be more would, would lead to a more interesting game? Yeah, it's... That's also one of the things I've been toying with, where basically, if we switch it to just a fixed world Dom game mm. that ends after X rounds, yeah. why does it necessarily have to be five? It doesn't. Why couldn't it be yeah. ten round rumble? Yeah. Well, that, so, so then we swing back to um, just base fixed world Dom strat. Like, in fixed world Dom, it's often the move to feed kills in the early rounds before mm-hmm. everyone has a chance to set. But that becomes mm-hmm. really hard with uh, with Fog. <laughs> Without yeah. the ability for two players to coordinate. 
effectively. Mm-hmm. And, and, and of course, yes. the, the lack of telepathy. Mm-hmm. One, one idea that I've also been toying around with is basically five round rumble with fog, but also with the option for alliances. Hmm. And then it would so just that be, way, but it, then it would just be all alliances. Yeah. So it's again, it's it's not a it's not a perfect science. I don't have an exact solution right now, but right. I, I have I have a lot of ideas that I'm hoping to sort of play around with. Yeah. Why not? And that's that's how um, how all of my comments are meant to, or right? they're meant as mm-hmm. as constructively as possible. I, I really do um, love that there is still some uncharted territory being explored with risk modes. And I'm all for trying to get them as, as interesting as fun and as competitive as we can. Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, this, this tournament here was my, my honest attempt at trying to make a five round rumble work as a competitive game mode. I, I definitely think it can because there are a lot of great things that I discovered with this, but um, there are also a lot of things that still kind of need some tweaking to make it as best of an experience as possible for the, the players. Yeah, and um, I know you paid me a little bit of credit, maybe too much credit, um, when we've been talking behind the scenes, but uh, I just want to make the conversation explicit for the viewer. So my experience of um, my competition in this tournament was that I felt, um, I felt that I got unlucky and I have noticed in my history with risk that whenever I feel I get unlucky, it tends to be a particular, sorry, whenever I feel I get unlucky in something that I'm not really all that good at, right? Something that I'm learning how to play. Um, it tends to be an incorrect intuition and it tends to tell me that, I just don't know what I'm talking about. Um, so Nathaniel was like, well, to be, to be honest, it was probably a bit of both, but I think we can, we can speak to these five players being excellent in the, all, all five of these guys being excellent in the final as an indication that, yeah, I mean, obviously with risk luck does play an effect, but um, Nathaniel's point about how you do believe it can be competitively viable as well. I, I, I would lean towards that that uh, assumption too that it's simply a matter of figuring out how to score this and figuring out how to design it rather than just say oh it's impossible to right or it's always going to be a coin flip i don't think that's true Mm -hmm. so i think what i'm basically saying i I think my intuition Mm -hmm. is wrong and i want to figure out the ways in which it is wrong Mm -hmm. yeah i can say one of one of the sort of takeaways that i've gained from this is there are a lot of strategies that I was discovering throughout the course of the tournament that I didn't really even think of, even as the one designing this entire tournament here. Like so what? There, it's def- um, one of the things, this is actually something that I uh, took away from Arco, one of the finalists here, was sometimes when Arco has a decision on that first turn between what first bonus should he claim, sometimes he goes for the bonus with more territories rather than the quote unquote easier bonus to take. So like in his round one video, he had the option to take either one of the small plus twos in the river town advanced or that gargantuan plus five on the right hand side that has a bunch of territories. And he went for the one on the right hand side because it's more territories that are easier to defend. And as a player earlier in the turn order, it gave him a greater chance of winning. So he was, even though short term, you might think, oh, I need to get a bonus. I need to start getting that troop generation. Otherwise, I just fall behind and have no chance of winning. But he was thinking more long term of how am I going to win by holding more territories? And he decided that that plus five was his best chance at winning. Hey, and Scudrick, how do you obtain a win percentage of 75% and higher? I think it mostly depends on your settings. Uh, you're number 41. What do you play, sir? You play uh, Europe Capitals? Or... Um, right now we're streaming a uh, five-round Rumble tournament final, but I'm happy to dig into the nitty-gritty of how to get those high win rates. Um, 
But I think it, it all really comes down to what do you play? Yeah, in that, uh, in that game we just played, uh, Nathaniel, you and I, um, I was trying to go for that plus five, but I don't feel like the dice were on my side. Mm-hmm. I also love how the bot rolls 4v2s like that. It's just so, <laughs> it's just so upsetting. <laughs> it's so upsetting. Like, ah, oh, Chris is actually in an okay yeah. way here because he's got a nice big stack, but, you know, Sepe runs after him. So in this situation, I think it's actually, tell me, tell me if you read this the same way I do, but mm-hmm. in this situation, with Chris running off of that 24, um, it's probably wise for him to favor hitting yellow. Right, just to mm-hmm. potentially shrink the the only guy who might have, you know, the best chance to run after you. Is that how you yeah, see it as well? Mm-hmm, that is per that is perhaps one of the the first metas that was kind of uh, discovered in this game mode is generally on the last turn when you're trying to take territories. It's generally better to hit players after you in the turn order who have still yet to go, rather than players before you who can't go again because they just took their last turn just because that way you give the players after you less of a chance of winning by holding less territories, by getting less bonus generation. Well, let's see how Chris plays it. So this is the second last turn of the game. Magenta is second last act, and then all things being equal, we would assume that uh, yellow is favored, and we're seeing him hit some yellow. Okay, there's a 13 up there. Does he loop back around? (laughs) Now he has to. There's no real path. I get through the three. No. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. That's it for Chris, I'd I'd... say. Well, it looks good for Sepe, then, if he has a second stack. Looking real good for Arco, too. Arco got a bunch on the left, I'm gathering. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's going to be very interesting to to see who wins here, because there is lots, like you said, lots of territory on the left. As well as that big Sepe stack. Yeah. Do we see any of yellow moving? Oh yeah, I agree, man. Six player games where it's at. I don't I don't wanna just cheese ball up uh with rank playing three player. I don't even really think three player is uh actually free for all. But um yeah, so as far as getting 75% plus win rates, it, it really does just come down to settings. Like the, the negotiation game I came up with, uh, True Random Fixed Caps, I was getting 80% plus win rates on that before I started teaching you know everyone on YouTube how to do it. And I have no doubt that I can come up with more settings like that with six-player open lobbies, but they aren't, you know, <laughs> they aren't growing on trees. You really have to, to dig deep to find them. Because if... You gotta figure, right? If if something was all that consistent, then everyone would realize it and then it would cease to be as because people would get better and then it would cease to be as consistent, right? Oh. Hey, Mamba wins this one. Okay. So Mamba, Mamba was wins. early? Seven point? I think that I think that is a seven point. It's a seven can... pointer for Mamba. Oh baby. All right. So we got Arco on the board at three points. We got I am Mamba at the board on the board at seven points. This is a series first to 11 takes it down. <sighs> yeah, Mama wins from the second seat. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, yeah. I'm just going to quickly tabulate what the scores are thus far in the thread. Just... For my for my sake, more than for others' sake, just so I can actually keep track of who's on how many points. Call them the tabulator, folks. Oh, and I'm I'm listening to the uh, the VC chatter, and it looks like Mamba had thirteen territories, whereas uh, at least one other person had twelve territories. Oh, so, so it, it really, really was did a, come down. a game I'll, of. I'll show you guys on stream. It really did come down to uh, the tightest of margins there. But, oh, interesting choice of... of so this is, this is something insightful. Um, maybe I'll ask, hey, hey guys, if you wouldn't 
mind showing these are very helpful for us viewing. Thanks, Mamba. So what Mamba did here, I think, is extremely interesting to, to show. So Mamba's in the second seat, right? So this is a winning, this is a winning position, okay? And one of the reasons it's a winning position is there's just no way in. Um, you know, he has enough troops to hold a bunch of territory. So Mamba didn't explode on his final turn. He built a wall instead to guard, you know, ideally enough territory to survive. Um, which I do think is kind of the way you would want to play it from an early seat. Mm -hmm. And to, to your point there, Pete, I definitely noticed that it, that is a good strategy um, for a player in earlier turn order on the final turn is basically instead of trying to spend out all your troops getting as many territories as you possibly can just sort of slowly expand out and just sort of try and hold and wall off as many ter territories as you can for yourself just because if you do spend out all of your troops then all you have is a bunch of ones so it's very easy for the players after you to just retake everything that you just took All right. Game three, you said is Rivertown? Rivertown. Mm -hmm. Rivertown. Okay. So uh, Chris is in the fourth seat. So he, if, if, if Chris wins here, he wins. He uh, earns two points. Sorry, three points. <laughs> three points. <laughs> so, so many. Uh, and look at that spawn. That's a plus five, too, isn't it? In the bottom middle. <laughs> Yes, that that is a that is a plus five right there. For but he Chris. can't take it on the first turn. Not even with the best dice in history. Mm -hmm. Maybe with the best dice in history, but like <laughs> maybe <laughs> <laughs> all of his stuff is pretty much in one place. Actually, though, having this is a really cool spawn. So having the left hand side be kind of a you know for. Two twos is, is going to survive. Two twos does not get popped on the first turn. So if Chris can actually be in two places, you can hold those two bonuses from three territories, folks, interior or exterior. One, 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 and one, one. So assuming you can pull this off, this is a really, really great open for Chris. But he guards the portal. Mm -hmm. He doesn't go for it at all. Oh, I see. He wants oh. the roads. He's trying to leverage the roads. Wow, I wouldn't have seen that at all. Okay, do we like this? He's, he's got to guard, guard that portal, otherwise I'd I'd be worried about uh, Indeed. someone potentially the going bot. through and breaking him. Yeah, I'd be worried about the bot as well. But he doesn't see any of the bots. So we just don't know where it is. Interesting. And, uh, Another strategy I've noticed for this map in particular, because it is divided cleanly in half by the bridge right there, those two territories in the middle, it is very advantageous to have at least one position on both sides of the map. Otherwise, there are large portions of the map that you just don't have access to on the final turn. Uh, what's the score right now? We're sitting with I am Mamba at seven points and Arco at three. First two eleven. And the only blue we see is bottom right. Yeah, it is. It is very interesting how little of the bot we see, especially since uh, the bot just started being in the last position right there with six troops on that previous turn. So, can Chris get Chris get that bonus now? 
think it will require some of the good dice, but I think it is uh, the right. I think it is definitely make. possible. Is it the right? Is it the right move to make? Is it the move you make here? Um. I would say, given the fact that there is a bot and the roads are a very hard bonus to defend against a bot potentially breaking you, I would just try and leverage um, the troops that you do gain from holding this bonus here, since I uh, assume that Speed Sepe doesn't break him here. I would try and leverage that to take an easier to defend bonus. So, what about top right? Like, the far the far right above the roads that actually seems like it doesn't have a ton mm. of material in it and he has a bunch of twos so those twos are going to stick around so okay chris has made his call he is going to go i like this line 3v1 has to land 5v2 has to land so these are all low odds rolls but he gets them right oh get, and by and by low some. odds i mean like less than perfect not low odds but less than perfect rolls um but he gets them all he's in a really strong position now fortifies interesting fortifies the one on the portal not the one behind because he wants to try and maintain that corner as well, ideally. Bradamite looks like he's going to take it. But this is think, not um, so for Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I think there was some uh, alliance chatter going on that I think Bradamite eventually wants to claim that, uh, that one point hold on the bonus right there. Yep. So I think that was sort of a little uh, uh, tit for tat diplomacy there yeah i have i have uh the guys completely quiet for the uh the sake of the audio but if you do hear them talking about anything of note nathaniel please please uh mention it for us here mm -hmm. yeah i've i've got them uh turned down so they're all at about like 50 percent whereas um you're at 100 percent for me so i still am able to hear them and i can definitely uh i've tried to cast up. with i've tried to cast vc games and it just doesn't work right the audio is is too muddied um also look at all this good neighbor between chris and arco how far does that extend i can very easily see chris taking like the entire right hand side of the board pretty soon if he's not like checked yeah it'll be It'll be very interesting to see. Not only are these all very good players, but they have VC at their capability. So I wonder if, if Chris is allowed to hold here, if they will attempt to keep him in check. Because to your point, he could very easily snowball in a turn or two here if he's not kept in check. Well, then perhaps expanding isn't correct, right? Perhaps if you're Chris, you just bank those troops and you wait. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's 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 a very interesting very interesting balancing act because I found that if you get too big too quickly, sometimes that can backfire on you just because then everyone breaks you and now all the <laughs> generation and stuff that you've spent turns building up is all of a sudden gone in an instant. Meanwhile, if you hold half the map, it doesn't really <laughs> matter. This is quite the board position for Chris. <laughs> oh. Someone should break this man, right? <laughs> <laughs> I love this. This is fantastic. Brain of Mike gets his shitty plus three, and like this guy has the entire right hand side. Oh my god. Oh. Is, it, is anyone in the chat like commenting on this? They are they are all hey, we they are all chuckling up a yeah, storm here. Exactly. <laughs> Just like me. Everyone's <laughs> all right. Do we see Arco address? You can't Arco, you can't be good with this, right? You have to stop it somewhat. Does Mamba? Mamba's oh Mamba and Arco are like trying to address them because but they're in the earlier seats. Mm -hmm. Nope. Interesting. <laughs> nope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I'm getting that Bob is at war with Sepe. <laughs> yeah, there something something seems to have gone down in uh oh on that left hand side there. <laughs> oh well that's the problem, right? Everyone's over there. So <laughs> they're hitting each other, they're letting Chris <laughs> take the right. Argo's not Argo's not addressing this. 
Oh, wow. Arco says, give me a plus. Oh, no, he does address. He takes a plus five and breaks. Awesome. Awesome. And stops there, <laughs> right? Yeah. I think I think that is I think that's more than a than a fair break right there. Yeah, this, well I think so, goes. right? This is a reasonable move. It says I'm not just gonna let you win, but also I'm not trying to make you lose. And and doing that mm -hmm. with fog on, you know, is mm -hmm. extremely tricky to do well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's I would say it's a it's a combination of educated guesses and perhaps just being willing to guess whether or not they hold a bonus because like you said with fog you can only see so much so if you see that someone holds most of a bonus probably a good guess that they hold all of it but not 100 percent guaranteed ah we Ooh. get the bot kill i like that for sepe very nicely done but does he get to keep his stuff on the right then? Um, he might be able to uh fortify it out if he just attacks a couple of Chris ones there. Yeah. He's not currently on a portal. Wherever his position is on the left. And now he's smacking the crap out of mom. But yeah, well, <laughs> that's what happens. That's what happens when you get into a war. This might be Chris's game. Okay, Chris takes the 10 trade on four. And we're going to finish bottom right, or we're going to leave Sepe back there. Or we're just going to, yeah. Ooh, is he going? No, trying to kill Braden Might. Ooh, interesting. Okay. He's trying to kill Braden Might. Does it work? Yes, it does. Oh, he oh, gets it. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Would you look at this? This could be a world dom win for Chris. <laughs> <laughs> He could get the I, Sepe kill here. I'm pretty sure. Well, he's not quite lined up for it, but oh, man. Now you break I, Arco. I you just remove very... Arco from back there, right? Yeah, you kill Arco. Yes. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> he's got so much of the map. <gasps> yeah, I, I think this is going to uh, I think this is going to turn into a 1v all here this final turn. <laughs> where do you put the stack? Yeah, where do you put the stack? I don't hate that. I don't hate that bottom right portal. That seems like the play. Arco's on five. Maybe Arco has a uh, low trade. Mamba has nothing, right? Mamba's going to revenge on Sepe. Which yep. is good for, which is good for is... Chris, right? Anyone not teaming mm -hmm. on Chris right now means Chris wins. What a crazy, crazy board position for the first four turns. Really, really great start for Chris. I think... Probably the, the most important thing here is does Speed Sepe have a set to help address Chris? Because I don't or, think or does Arf he even do care? On his own. Is he just trying to kill Mamba? <laughs> right? Yeah, Mamba has, mm -hmm. or rather, Arco has a low trade since so only six troops. It's going to be hard to break that plus five. Does Sepe play to win at all? Can he? That was that other scenario we spoke about, mm -hmm. right? How do you mm -hmm. play, play? How do you play to win as yellow? Oh, I love this! Great line of play by Arco. Manuals the three. Great oh. line of play by Arco. He almost gets it, or ah, almost gets uh, it. With, almost. With, he got pretty good luck, but with slightly better luck, he gets that. Do we think this is a win for Chris? Then, yeah, right, has to be. Ooh, speed speed Sepe did hold a bonus, interestingly enough, on this final turn. Too little too late, I'd say. Oh. Oh, oh. okay. Okay. The five has been broken. Oh yeah, I think Ooh, does we Chris have a cards? game. Yeah, yeah, you're right. 
I think I think Chris mentioned in the VC chatter that he did not have a set. And why would he admit to it? Perhaps to avoid getting this, to having this happen. Yeah. Well, they yeah. Have. They have. So now the only question is: Will Sepe end with more territories, or will Arco? So how hard does Chris hit either of them? His nine being yeah, locked kind of sucks. Okay, so far, he does he's have a lot of yellow. ancillary. He does have a lot of ancillary twos and threes that yeah, he can use. He's got a lot of locked up stuff. Might as well try. It's pretty. It, this is the last player to act. So, um, looks like we're going to hit Arco through a three. Use the nine to roll through the three. Yeah, and two, and prioritize yellow, I'd say. Yeah, this is correct. I, I like this for Chris. I think yellow might be close to his troop count, but my intuition here is that Chris wins. What do you what do you think, Nathaniel? Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is, this is seeming like, like a Chris win here. 28 seems like a lot of troops. <laughs> a lot of territories, rather. There we go. Yes, and that is, we got Chris on the board. <laughs> Gee, geez, that was so okay, folks. So, uh, first two games, you you heard us talking a little bit of theory about you know how to um, get a beneficial early position and then snowball from that. And this is an is the epitome of that play style. And you actually got to see it. You got to see Chris do it, and he won from the fourth seat. So that's a three point round for Chris. Uh, scores overall, we got Mom at seven points, Arco at three, Chris at three, and Brainwright and Sepe are yet to put themselves on the board. I'm going to use the facilities, Nathaniel, and I will be right back. All right. Sounds good.
All right, so got an interesting game here. It's like we've seen players players in the early seat get some rough dice taking a bonus and players in later in turn order got some bonuses so it should be interesting to see what happens here all right i'm back baby so we see chris in the second last seat yet again hasn't really mm -hmm. uh has really had an early spawn yet this is uh arguably good but you know i feel like chris is the kind of player who um would not surprise me for a moment if he was going to get one of those coveted seven point wins. <laughs> I think the real, uh, uh, I think the real, the most significant, um, if you were to make one big change to the scoring, um, it's interesting you told me that each seat is like 1.5x more likely to win than the last, but the difference between position three and position four, right? A seven point win to, mm -hmm. a, to a three, that just seems, um, you know, even changing that one thing scoring-wise would have a massive difference. But mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm super, super interested to um, hear what you come up with, Nathaniel, as far as scoring. Like, throw, throw it my way before you kind of lock it in, and I can, mm -hmm. I can just maybe take a, take a moment and think it through as well. Not that I know anything, but, um, you know, more hands make light work. Mm -hmm. Oh, ab absolutely. I, I know that probably... One of the single most important things to probably any five round rumble tournament working is developing a fair scoring system. So I'm 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 definitely open to feedback from lots of different uh people who probably know a thing or two about risk. Well, this is just another one of those uh scenarios there where, where Chris has a very fine open that gets kind of cut short by the bot. So that's a little unlucky. Mm -hmm. It's a little unlucky, and uh, we're going to see if he's going to be able to, to pull back. Yeah, Speed was asking why we can't listen to the to the voices in the VC. So this is a VC final. the The players are talking to each other, but I've noticed that, um, and Nathaniel is listening to them. So if if something really does significant come up in that VC, um, we'll we'll try and talk about it here for you guys. But I, I've just noticed that um, having the two of us discuss what's going on with the other guy's voice in the background is, is just too cacophonous. There's just a bit too much noise for you guys, the viewers. So we're trying to, I'm trying to figure out basically how to put on the best cast for, uh, <laughs> for five round rumble that we can. Oh, and look at, he's really trying to block up that green bot. <laughs> it's like, Let's stay away from me. How did you do uh, one. this season, Speed? We played once or twice, and uh, Speed Sir was. I noticed. I noticed you were uh, competing. You were fairly competitive here. I'm sure over the course of the course of the five round rumble tournament. Imagine Speed. Where is the uh, the spreadsheet? Let me look at uh, the people who. Driz says he almost um, made it. Here, I will DM you the link to the spreadsheet so you're able to see everything thanks man i'm gonna at some point i'm gonna petition uh the staff on the main server to like can we just have a spreadsheet channel because <laughs> every time <laughs> every time i'm gonna turn it's like where's the damn spreadsheet can we pin the spreadsheet to the blah, blah, blah? Can we, like just just give me the damn spreadsheet <laughs> okay so uh, statistic oh very interesting nathaniel thank you all right so we have standings so yeah, Driz and Tedesco lost on tiebreakers. Mm-hmm. And uh, the the two gold names right there, those are our auto advance from being the the top scorer after four rounds and the top scorer after five rounds. And you felt like that was a better way to do it than overall. Um, yes, because then it gives um something for the players at the top to fight over. Because otherwise, if you accrue enough points. You just Sometimes get guaranteed, you can... yeah, and and you can you can king make in the other way, right? You can make people lose. Yep. Yep. Got it. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah, that all makes sense to me. One thing I still find very interesting is uh, for the standings, Arco is still tied for third in points despite not playing the final two rounds. So yeah. <laughs> 
no comment. <laughs> uh, no comment other than to say I'm not remotely surprised. Just just Arco doing Arco things. Well, there has to be someone who is a statistical outlier, right? <laughs> You're a math guy. <laughs> Induce a punishment for last place, e.g. have to wear a silly hat <laughs> or make them eat a sheep uterus on Instagram Live. <laughs> that is a <laughs> that is a next level punishment. Oh, we got a 10 set. Let's go. All right. Let's Chris, take a second bonus. I think you just run into the bot here because the bot's on four, right? Yeah, he is doing that. OK, good. Yeah, he is doing that. OK, <laughs> nice. Good job, Chris. Smack the shit out of that bot. Wherever that four train is going in, it's not going to be next to me. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love that. I love that play as well. Good job. Yeah, that's it's a, a play that I've sometimes utilized where it's like, I don't care if I'm feeding the bot kill here as I long as don't, it's away from me. I don't want a trade on my border. <laughs> Ooh, and I like mm -hmm. that too. Guards a little bit, but fortifies to a portal. Oh, man, this is a cool position for Chris. Arco gets the eight trade. Do we know what Arco has? I don't. Where his Again, seven is? so the, much of this board that we don't see. Arco has so. this, the bonus, I'm, I'm guessing, where his seven is. So he's taking a second here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, and just defending it. It's interesting we are... At least I'm hearing some some VC chatter where uh, players are potentially worried about uh, Mamba here because since he is in the third seat, he will get uh, seven points and win the entire tournament if he can somehow pull off a win. Ah, uh, yes, sudden death. That's a good thing to consider. Mm -hmm. So we're doing a set. Anyone just tuning in, we're doing a set of games for this final. It's first to 11 points. Uh, current score is uh, Arco is at three. Chris is at three. Uh, speed seven, Brady Miller yet to score, and Mamba sitting at seven. So if Mamba happens to win this game, he would be at fourteen points, and he would win the final in two in two wins. Guy, yeah, this is game four. How you doing, Sango? All right, and that so uh, as like you were saying, Nathaniel, this this did feed the bot kill. And Sepe saw it, and Sepe's double trading. Ooh. So that uh, that might be backfiring. <laughs> that is uh, that is a lot of That's troops. a lot of troops right to there. get. Oh boy! <laughs> I mean, wonder if he can potentially chain Mamba here because that's that's twenty troops that he's putting in just this turn. <laughs> He's smacking the shit out of Mama. <laughs> does Mama uh, have cards? Mama like does have cards. Oh! <laughs> looks like he was he was not able to find Mamba, and uh, now Mamba is returning the favor. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Oh boy. What is the point split by placing? Um, point split is if you win in position one, position two, or position three, you score seven. If you win in position four or five, you score three. If you win in the ultimate seat, you score two points. Hey, doing, Gator? Zango says, I feel like being ahead is probably bad because everyone targets you. I like to be third. Yeah, have you been meeting with a lot of success with that? It really does depend on the seat, but I, I'm noticing that these settings tend to reward heavy aggression generally. Okay, this is Bradamite going for the Mamba kill? Or are we just keeping Mamba down? I think it's going for the Mamba kill here, although I don't know if he's going to be able to get it. Is a two-card kill worth anything? Well, it could really good be position for Chris worth too. something.
I'd be I'd be happy right now as Chris with uh, thirty two troops and portal access. Yeah. Sit there. Wait. Hope no one breaks you. Oh no, we're breaking. Okay. Yeah, I think Arco's just hanging out quietly on the bottom, and he's going to explode in the last turn. I think I like Arco yeah, this... here, because he still has two turns to act. I think I like Arco here for the win. Mm -hmm. Some very interesting chatter going on where... Um... Uh, as we saw right there, Chris decided to break Bradamite, and uh, Bradamite was kind of protesting why he was uh, being being broken there. Some very interesting diplomacy going on. All right. Zarko break Chris. No. Mm -mm. Interesting. But he does line up his stack. Set face hit mom again. <laughs> We're seeing two v ones. We're seeing two v one manuals. Oh, he, he gets, gets it, kill. and he gets another trade. Does this affect? All right. So, what do you do? Okay, it's an eight trade. What do you do here? Who do you stop? Because you're in the first seat. You're still not going to win this game. I think. I think what I might do here is see if I can claim that top left corner. Just because with the blizzards, it is a two-point hold, I believe. Meanwhile, uh, Chris has a 16 that's got nowhere to go. <laughs> so you're not, <laughs> you're not claiming that. <laughs> okay, we're hitting, we're breaking everything. We're trying to reduce the total number of troops our opponents have on the board for the, for the final turn. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I, but that still doesn't win you the game. That's still, like, this is the problem with... Um, uh, Sepe's position here, right? I don't know that there was actually anything he could have done. Mm -hmm. I mean, and yeah, fair I enough, think... like, you gotta try and not get yourself into wars, but um... I think that is that is sort of the, uh, the unfortunate thing is there, he kind of tried to play for the win on the previous turn by trying to uh, kill Mamba there and basically try and snowball, but because he did that and failed, then there wasn't a whole lot he could do uh, the final turn. Cirque says last turn order player wins. That has yet to happen from the first three games. We've yet to see a final seat win. I have no doubt we will. Leona, Leona asked an interesting question, uh, Nathaniel. What do you think about this? Uh, she says, VC will almost guarantee that people earlier in the tournament will never win, though. What do you think about that? Mm, I, I don't know if I necessarily agree with that. Just, just because VC works both ways. It can, it can both work for and against players, depending on what the, what the board state is. I would say VC helps players keep players from snowballing perhaps early on just because players can communicate with one another and see oh there is a very large stack here so maybe we should do something about this so they don't just start snowballing and win and the scenario you were just talking about uh we saw happen right chris manualed mm -hmm. a bit of arco in the hope that um it will keep arco off enough troops to capture chris sitting on 20 is okay 
Mm -hmm. Did we see how much Arco puts in? He, he clicked it too quick. Did you see that? Um, it's a nine, right? Ooh, yeah. Eight. Okay. There's Arco. So I okay. there's Arco. Don't. Oh, Arco has. I a think. Lot. Yeah, I think a lot too, of troops. Too many. There. Too many troops. Well, that would put Arco on five points. Yeah, this looks like an Arco win. Maybe one. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice dice, too. Very nice dice, too. I'm, I'm going to say that's, a, that's an Arco victory. Yep. Okay. So Arco's won two games. One from the third seat. No, sorry. One from the fourth seat and one from the fifth seat. Mm -hmm. No, I'm so bad at this. One from mm -hmm. the the, the yes. four seat, one from the sixth seat. So, mm -hmm. Arco is now sitting at five points. That was game four. Leaderboard looks like Mamba at seven points, Arco at five, Chris at three, with Braid Might and Sepe yet to score. Eleven points takes it home, folks. Now this. This could become uh, very interesting here because now both uh, Mamba and Arco Sudden with the death. win from first, second, or third can just win it. Yeah, Mamba got a third seat win? Uh, I believe it was a second seat second win. Second seat win? It's the same for points. Yeah. Mm -hmm. is asking. All right. Game five is Dracons again? Mm-hmm, yep. What I, what I try and do is uh, basically have it, the settings are randomly chosen each round, but in a round-robin format. So basically, no setting can be used two times before everything is used once, just to uh, have a little bit of variety here. Have you considered a five-round Rumble round-robin tournament? <laughs> <laughs> I heard you say round robin. I could help myself. Uh, ah! so, many, so so many R words. Yes. All in the same sentence. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, part of the part of the reason why I uh, decided to make it first to eleven points was um was just because. That way there is a little bit of play where a win from first, second, or third doesn't just mean your next win guarantees you to win. So hopefully to prevent um, any sort of uh, targeting of players who are close to winning. Ooh, okay. We got a screenshot. We got a screenshot of the winning position here. Look how many territories Arco had there. <laughs> that's, that's very, very nice. Oh boy, that is a lot of territories there. That's almost all of the ship bonuses, the entire right hand side. <laughs> all right, we're going in for game five. All right, what are we looking at here for Chris? Ooh, and ooh, ooh, that is that is a very interesting bottom right pocket there. Yeah, let me uh, let me just illustrate it for the viewer. So the way the blizzards work, and Chris is taking the interior of the corner, which I like to. Two bonuses turn one. This is why I think, at least on this map, starting early is a lot more favorable. Um, so we have Blizzard which means that this entire bottom... Stop moving the screen. This entire bottom left 
bottom middle, rather, rather pockets up on a single position there, and Chris is already on the other side. Um, we see the bot taking top mid. We also Ooh. see a lot of Mamba, though. Chris might have to move through that. Mm -hmm. And sits on a portal. <laughs> this bot, I tell you, this bot. Zerky in the chat uh, talking about how he's too good for five round rumble. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, you gotta, even if it's not your cup of tea, sir, you gotta appreciate that uh, somebody is trying to make the, um, trying to make the hard to make uh, the hard to make it work thing work. So that's why I'm, I'm trying to give Nathaniel his due here. Um, absolutely. Um, nothing but kudos and respect to you, sir, for, uh, putting this all together thank you for doing it thank you thank you it's uh something that uh as sort of the last unexplored frontier of risk i really really hope that uh that we can ultimately make this work one day just like all the other game modes because i think it's it's a very interesting game mode that sort of runs differently than other game modes like we discussed earlier we got we got another Nathaniel in the chat. Ace Diamond Ten. <laughs> How many Nathaniels have you met in your life? Oh, I think I've met. I think I've only met like two or three other Nathaniels. I've met quite a few like Nathans or Nates, but I I haven't met a ton of Nathaniels. Yeah, Nates are a dime a dozen. My grandfather was a Nady. Ah. And that's why my nephew's is Nathan. It's gonna be it's gonna be very interesting to see what the what the bot does on its second turn here, because I think it took that plus five in the top left mm -hmm. and it's sitting with a fairly sizable stack on a portal there. Does anyone break? Do we see the portal light up. And who would eat it if we did? All right, turn two for Chris. Very, very great start. But how do you leverage that? I think probably the only one who could potentially break the bot would be, would be Chris here. Just because I think he's the only one who actually has enough troops to be able to do something about it. That three is in another pocket. That three lines into the bonus. He just put a nine on. I think Chris finds himself fighting this bot inevitable. Okay, bot did not hold. And we're going to see a portal stack. Oh, wow. Hit the four? Hit the one? No. Looks no, like it, it went, went behind internal it. to yeah, try. Yeah, it went, it went behind it. Okay. This bot kill might be on the table then. Yeah, that's one thing I've noticed about uh, this map in particular is uh, it's quite it's quite easy to um, get the bot kill because the map is so small and it's uh, a little bit more open than some of the other maps. So it's there's only so many places that a bot can hide after a while. It's also another uh, sudden death situation for Mamba. Eh? Mamba could mm -hmm. win this yes. game, wins the whole thing. And I think we think I, I think we saw Mamba have Southern Parapet to run it on tower and the top left, right? So one Mamba's sitting on three bonuses currently with Chris behind him. Mm -hmm. I figure Chris hits at least one of these, but probably both before it's too yeah, late. Yeah, that's the uh, the problem is knowing when when to strike because if you try and uh break too early, you could just trigger uh Mamba to go back into Chris and then they both don't win. So yeah. it's it's very very tricky. Yeah, like uh like most wars in risk, um these wars are best fought all at once, but uh <laughs> You're dealing with the margins of troops, right? You're very rarely getting 100% scenarios. Mm -hmm. Unless your opponents just completely let you walk away. Ooh, having a portal be back inside that boat. You have a set on three, Chris. You're not trading. Is it, is it a low trade? Could potentially be a low trade or... You're going to break that bot. You're going to break that. No, you're going to break that bot, sir. You're going to break that bot. That bot's going to break you. Ooh. Oh, I don't like that at Ooh. all. No. Okay, he doesn't have it. Whoo! Somehow Chris knew he didn't have it. 
I think maybe he was betting on since Mambo holds the bonus on the left left side of that bot, maybe he was counting on Mamba breaking it. <laughs> Interesting choice to not trade on three. Are we trying to farm the bot kill? Set kill the bot set? Could be could That's be that. That's a spicy or, uh... play. That's a very spicy yeah, it's, play. It's very tricky because he doesn't he hasn't had any vision of the center of the board there so if the bot is in the center of the board it could be very hard to potentially get the bot kill yeah but there's probably a way to deduce that we're not we're not sitting on our opponent's generation so i i can't actually see who's where through the fog very well because um Like I, I, do you have a sense of where Arco is at all? Um, I have a, I have a sense that uh, it looks like uh, Arco and Bradamite are kind of next to each other in the middle right there. Yeah, uh, both based on what we can and can't see, as well as uh, looks like there is a little bit of a uh, breaking going on between <laughs> between the two of them right there, and the based on the VC chatter. Yeah, well, Arco sets, so is Arco killing, or is Arco, like, trying to break Mamba? See a lot of hitting. Okay, Arco's oh. trying to kill the bot. Arco's feeding the bot kill to Chris. Huh. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! That is a double trade scenario. Oh. Do you think he has it, Nathaniel? I I think if if at least if I were Chris, I would I think you have to go for it here because since you're playing from the first seat, already your odds to win aren't great, so you kinda gotta take risks sometime. Well, it wasn't just there. Seppe gets it. Oh, Seppe All right. gets it. Interesting. Can we see a trade. Mm-hmm. What does he do with that? Works on Mamba? Sits. All right, do we see Chris set? My sure. intuition here is to set and smoke Mamba. Mm -hmm. Does he do that? Okay, he's thinking. Yeah, Ooh, set and oops. smoke Mamba. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Yep, poor guy. <laughs> but like that's such a one point for Chris. That bottom, mm -hmm, that, that bottom is... mid there is so strong. Oh, can we see a turn one win, folks? Because now that's... Mama's fucked. Right now, Mama's sitting on five cards top left. Oh no, that means oh. Bradamite gets five cards Ooh. for free <laughs> or Arco. This is a spicy one, man. 13 yeah. troops coming in this turn plus a set for Bradamite. I think, we see, I think we see goodbye. Yeah, we see goodbye to I am Mamba. Yeah. Well, then again, how? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, man. All right. So we are now in a uh, four player scenario. Um, Arco still has two chances to act. So does Sepe. I think Chris is in a great way though, because in order to break mm -hmm. that bottom pocket of Chris, you gotta <laughs> push through an eighteen, which just isn't happening, right? Mm-hmm. Trunk says mom is suffering is... For, for success. Well, that's the problem, Trunk, with the way I think not the problem per se, but that that is a, a strategy with the way Arco dies too. Oh my god. Whoa. Oh, the problem with the way the, the scoring works, right? Is that sudden death from Mama means everyone is heavily incentivized to not let him just suddenly win the game. Hey, it's Squidling. Ooh, only, only the four trade here on yeah. five for Sepe. I mean, two of the kills, but he hasn't really. Like, he's positionally not all that well off, even for being in the final seat. 
<laughs> and now, yeah, now Chris is thinking, can I kill, can I kill Bradamite though? Right? Like if I'm Chris, yeah. I go for the Bradamite kill. Ah, he's, he doesn't look like he's doing it. Huh? Oh man, this could be a, a world bomb here. Oh, ooh. yeah, he pathed it wrong. Okay. Oh, he's still. It doesn't matter, yeah, build... because you capture so much of the board, right? Mm -hmm. As as long as you break everyone, so that no one holds anything. Mm -hmm. I think everything goes to the to the fifteen there to guard. Yeah. No. No, he puts it somewhere else. I wouldn't. I put it all in the 15. Ooh, I see what he's trying to do. He's trying to guard the the top section two off of a five and a seven. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, the yellow 16 only goes into the five. Bradamite has cards. It's not going to be enough. So the, the real question then becomes is, does Sepe go the right way? Otherwise, this mm -hmm. is a, otherwise this looks like a win from the first seat. Yeah, they're in the VC. They're doing the counting right now, trying to figure out who holds how many territories here. So, oh, oh, that's a big stack. Right. Going to push through the fifteen with that? Yes, we are. <laughs> no, we're not. Oh. No, we're not. Okay. All right, no longer a win for Chris, I'd say. Looks more like a win for Sepe. Okay, Sepe moving. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, very much so. And we're going to get Sepe mm -hmm. on the board with two points by the look of it. Okay, he did not go through the five, notably. But I don't think 14 territory is enough. Oh, yeah. Solid win from the final seat. How you doing, finish? Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> now that is an epic win for Sepe. Good job. Ends it in the 1v1. <laughs> Dracon games are a bloodbath indeed. <laughs> so after five games, we have... Let's refresh the scoring. Arco at five points. I sorry, I am Mamba in the lead at seven points. Arco at five. Chris at three. Sepe is at two points, and Bradamite is yet to score. I'll be right back, Nathaniel. How many more games? It's first to 11. First to 11 points.
Can anyone else handle the speed of the splits? <laughs> How many more games do you think we got? Um, if I had to guess, probably another three or four games because we're starting to get to the point where um, any player with another win is either very close to winning or outright wins it. So Yeah, but as we've seen, eventually. any player in that position seems to be getting effectively teamed on. Well, that that's that's where it becomes tricky because when it's just one or two players, it's perhaps a little bit easier. But yes, once everyone once be, get to like sudden death for all. <laughs> I like that a lot. I like that a lot. We will see who can argue for their position the best. This is where the VC becomes a lot more interesting. Mm-hmm. Hey, Rug. Yep. So far, the only uh, seven-point win is, is a Mamba win. Ooh, it looks like uh looks like based on the VC chatter, someone just lost a five V two attempting to take an aggressive first turn bonus. <laughs> yeah, it has to be done. Chad likes River Town Advance. What was uh second favorite? What was your favorite? You like Dracons. I like this better. Interesting choice for a turn one for Chris. Yeah, well, and unfortunately, he doesn't really have a ton of other choices yeah, here just based plus on four, your other... man. That's not bad. You guard on the portal, though, right? You don't want that bot breaking you. Yeah, I probably would have guarded on the portal, but then again, there's uh, large portions of this map that you don't see, so it's hard to exactly know mm -hmm. where the bot is going to be coming from. Hmm. And Chris's play does make a lot of sense. We can definitely expect the bot to be coming from those twos that we do see. Mm -hmm. Ooh, there is some, some bartering for information going on in the VC where players are trying to figure out exactly who's in what bonus to determine if they can take it or not. All right, so Arco off bonus, but he is holding 12 territories. Yeah, if I if I had to guess, he's probably going for that uh, that bottom plus five. Like speed, Sepe has a plus three. Maybe plus two in territory. All right, we have another risk of a bot bonus. Yeah, this is where players might decide to uh, to use VC to figure 
to figure out between everyone what can and what can they not see of the bot. And just like that, one bonus becomes two. I love this for Chris. Oof, loses the 3v1. Should be okay. No one's no one's coming through that portal. Because they don't know he's got a second one yet. Well, maybe they can figure mm -hmm. from him taking it. It's still only, what, plus six? I guess that's a lot of troops. But if Mamba didn't break through, I don't see Brayden might doing it. Oh, maybe mm -hmm. he is. Maybe he is. 4v1? Mm -hmm. No, nah, Brayden might, might just, just be gonna, doing a 4v1. He's going to take his own shit, right? Yeah. Hmm. Very favorable portal. Yeah, so we got... Ooh, plus 10 for speed, Sepe, and the 10 trade. Ooh. So he's got um, bottom right and mid left. Oh, wow. Uh, okay, he's going into the bot. Going into the bot instead of a player, I think, is an interesting choice here. Might he might just be going going there just to try and uh aggressively take another bonus. I think he took he tried to kill the bot. I think he missed that one bot territory. We just saw the bot put three there. I think mm -hmm. that's its last position. Um which if if he did in fact kill the bot, then yeah, worth doing. But I think now Chris gets it. <laughs> yeah, you see what yeah. immediately put troops. <laughs> now Chris gets four cards. Oh no, no, no. Oh! 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 Where's the bot? Where's the bot? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Where is the final bot position? And who finds it? Yeah. Oh, All right. looks like Mamba finds it. Yeah, I don't like that play for Sepe. Yeah, like, it's, if it's, the bot holds that bonus and gets strong next to you, it can be, it can be, and you have already advantage, you can push that into other people. Mm -hmm. I think he overextended on that bot kill and was punished for it. Yeah, going going for the bot kill is always risky because not only do you weaken yourself by going for it, but then if you miss it, you likely end up feeding it to someone else, and now someone else has the advantage while you're on the back foot but to be fair we've also seen um i think sepe kill what four bots already <laughs> mm -hmm. so so his instincts are generally good <laughs> it's just this time mm -hmm. it didn't work out hey what are we seeing arco do here Marco just wants to claim a. Hmm. I, I wonder. I don't, maybe I don't understand that play. Perhaps it was to to gain vision. For lining up that final turn with the set. Hmm. Yeah, that's Ooh. true. Hey, Arco really has to lock up a big piece of the board. Mm -hmm. Or he has no chance. I think Speed Sepe still getting plus 
I think plus 10 or plus 12 this turn, so he is still getting a lot of generation. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, looks like uh Chris is just trying to keep speed and speed sepe in check here. Everyone on cards. Could be an explosive turn if anyone gets like can kill sequence. See Mamba leading into Bradamite? No. I would have thought, to... thought about that. I would have thought about Mamba into the Bradamite kill. Mm hmm If we can deduce where everybody is. Or potentially into the uh the the Arco kill, since I know Arco was off bonus for I think the first turn or two. Ah, we think Arco is weaker. Uh, in the in the VC chatter, they they are also trying to deduce exactly yeah. how strong other other players <laughs> are. Yep. Oh. Oh, we are trying to click a power door. Nobody's touching Chris. I bet you Sepe does. <laughs> All right, final turn, 10 set for Arco. Ooh, also, looks like some, some deals are being made in the VC where players are saying, I won't hit you final turn if you don't hit me final turn. Oh, spicy! Honestly, that's, that's not even something that I considered happening with, uh, with VC players making deals on the final turn to... Basically, have a, a non-aggression pact. Why wouldn't you? What's the point of VC? Anything? Just to make things. Uh, oh, just for spice. Just to yeah. make things more. You yeah, know, just, you just know these spice. guys. These guys are min maxers. They're going to use every tool in their fucking toolbox to try and win this game. Mm hmm. And that goes right into the middle. No. Someone broke him. Arco broke him. So he's too Seve's just going to retake what he lost. Hmm. Really good spot for Chris. If Chris can make a kill. Mm hmm. Does Chris consider killing Bradamite? Another option on the final turn for players later oh, in the turn order dude's is. Trade. Is shrinking the guys after them? Either shrinking the guys after them or going for a kill on someone before them in turn order just just for the extra trade if they yeah. think they're weak enough. Ooh, ooh. We discover a Mamba 17 stack. Okay. Ooh, Mamba is big. Yeah. Mamba can kill Bradamite and win the game and win the tournament, can't he? <laughs> Let's see if he sees it. Don't think that would give Mamba the win. He'd be on 10 points oh. with, uh, with this win here, but it would make oh, him... Oh, that's true, okay. It would, it would truly make it sudden death for Mamba where any win from any position would cause him to win. Yeah. Is he doing the thing? Is he doing the thing I said? Oh, boy. Oh. No, he's going to push into Chris. But I think he took Bradamite out of the left-hand side. Ah, uh, why don't you roll the 3-1? Oh, 
You don't want Bray Mike getting in? Yeah, I think I think that that five right there is basically, as, as I mentioned before, uh, Rivertown advanced just due to how the map is. That bridge is such an important connection point. Dude, that five might be enough. This looks like a Mamba win. Yeah, 13 might make it through. You might as well. You hit Mamba, yeah. Okay, maybe. Maybe Brady might has more territories now. Let's see who wins. Mamba. Oh, was a Mamba win. All right, so it is sudden death. In any, if Mamba wins any other game, regardless of position, he will win the mm -hmm. tournament. Zion Mamba sitting at, what is it, uh, 10 points? Mm hmm. <laughs> Mamba is at 10 points. Jeez. Goodness gracious. Oh, and it's it's gonna be it's gonna be very interesting because since Mamba is our is our one player not in VC right now, it's gonna be very interesting to see how this plays out here. Mm -hmm. How you doing, Jax? How did you end up uh, this season? Let's see where Jack's Wild finished. Jack's Wild finished at 21 points. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. All right. We got another Rivertown game. So you guys understand the standings? It's first to 11. I'm going to eye Mamba at 10 points overall. Arco at 5. Uh, Chris is at 3. Speed Sepe at 2 points. Braid of Mine is yet to score. You listen to the VC? Yeah, it looks like there is there is there is already some uh, uh discussion of uh all of the mamba smacking that is about to go down. <laughs> Eric is saying, are we close to calling five round rumble a viable tournament mode? Now I think viable is uh is a relative question, right? I think that what we're doing with Sabres is, is a great uh, solution for anything being quote unquote viable. I think it's always just a matter of degree, right? So what do we rate this? Do we rate this better than or worse than assassin? Do we rate, rate this better than or worse than, you know, seventy percent? Or, you know, do the players matter? Does the scoring matter? Poor Mamba, why no VC? I think he's on the road. I honestly don't know if uh, VC is all that much of an advantage in this exact context. I think Mamba sitting out of it might have might be um, an upside for him. Frankly. Mm hmm. Yeah, it is. It is interesting that not being in VC, maybe you just naturally draw less attention to yourself, so you're less likely to just get uh, smacked here since any win for Mamba wins him the, the tournament overall. Although if Mamba were to uh were to win this entire tournament here, it would be uh quite the story because Mamba actually had zero points in this tournament going into round three. Hmm. And he managed to make his way all the way to the finals. Did you get super lucky or what? Um let's see, I can 
pull up the uh, spreadsheet here to see what the game breakdown looks like. Yeah, it looks like, in particular, he had a really great round four, where he uh, he got 17 points round four, which is what really helped uh, catch him up to everyone else. Did that round have, like, an extra bot or something? Um... I don't I don't think so. It just uh it happened to be uh two wins from first, second or third and then a win from fourth or fifth. Yeah, well, winning 3 out of the 5 games will do it. Mhm. Mm All right, I am back. Much apologies. I just had to quickly deal with something. I think I want to um, turn up the players in the VC now so we can hear what they have to say about their situation. And I'll, I'll, I'll kind of chime mm -hmm. in, but I think I'm going to chime in a bit less because I think this is where the, um, the strategy in the VC becomes a lot more important. Yes. For Wait, sure, for sure. Huh? Are you fist bumping? Okay. I mean, about me. <laughs> okay, six. But it's it's gotten a lot quieter now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean. I don't know the black bot. Please don't hit me. <sighs> Oh, I forgot the bot still have to go. Son of a bitch. Yeah, yeah. But... <laughs> no, no five on three. No five on three. No, please. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, the bot was going to break me. Okay. Uh, oh, wait, you had the bonus, uh, unfortunately. Yeah, I, I, I forgot that the bot of portals weren't closed and the bot was in six. Uh, it's all right. It's all right. I'll forgive you. It's a nine, it's two there, that's this one and this one. Okay, that's all I need. <sighs> I'm still seeing. Round late. So, Mamba and Arco can't win. Yeah, and they both have multiple bonuses, almost. Yes. <laughs> Unfortunate. If, uh, plus four. Where is plus four? So he has Merchant District. Okay. Good to know. Oh, this is so annoying. Break Mamba. Yeah, sudden death for Arco, eh? Yes, it looks like this game we have sudden death for both Mamba and and Arco here as a win for either of them means that they they will be the overall winner. I don't like this. Yeah, um, there's a three in there of Mamba, but you can try to take it. Seven feet three or six feet three. Not an you see it, right? He said he has to leave. Uh, and the bot is also there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We need Arco. Did you consider that they would tell oh, on each other using the VC? Hits me. Arco, will you hit uh, Mumba say, or will uh, you telling on each kill? other is uh, again it's another aspect of diplomacy up. where some so, like, players bonus, like, weirdly, might accept that sort of telling, whereas other players for... might decide. That they would the not like to be I pulled have, on, so they might uh, bonus he has, decide to ended up enact yeah. some sort of cat <laughs> retribution where, like, if you That's tell on me, I tell on you, or if yeah. you tell on me, I'll break mm. your bonus, so then you don't get extra troops. Why don't I like this? Uh, 
I'm guessing he was hoping to snag both, but um, Bredemite, strong I, position I down there in the in the bottom left. Bredemite, the there's a stack top left, so don't try to go to it. I mean, by adding troops. Yeah, he's still not here. <laughs> wait, wait, <laughs> what? Invite him back. <laughs> Get back here, you son of a bitch. <laughs> oh man. Perfect. Fortify back. No. Fortify forward. Why? Why would you do such dangerous things? I... Oh, why? You're going, Arco. Ah, uh, yeah. We're going. We're going places. That's. That's probably the right play. If you did what I think you did. Okay, who's going to kill the bots, Chris? Can you try to no. kill the bots? No, I think it's possible. Try. Uh, the bot <laughs> is uh... it's not possible. Why don't you try it? <laughs> it's possible. Believe me. Okay, bring the might. You can kill the bot. I trust in you. No, you get five. That's not enough. Okay. Just stop. Right. <laughs> Has he been stuck? You can speed me to kill. Every route at advance kid. Oh no, he he is not in his seat. Why? Going to be such a pain. Such a pain. No, they don't turn. Interesting. No one. No, no one don't hit my six. Kill on four, so Arco? Gets to trade in. You what? see my six? You see my <laughs> am six? I, am I about to see and now you don't. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Tactile, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Perfect. Uh, now Is I it don't see it. No, it's fifth round <laughs> already. Oi, 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 oi. Already fifth round. Fifth round. These uh, guys I don't going by like this. Game. Games okay, so flying hit, by. Hit Arco, hit Mamba. Yeah, keep me up there. Like <laughs> I mean, I don't add there. Um, why? Okay. Yeah, I'll add here. I'll feed one too hard. <laughs> no, I won't be that. Chill, 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 chill. I'm, I'm trying to give it to um, to uh, I'm fake attacking, so uh, Momba thinks I'm hitting. Ah. Yeah, oh, yeah. There's big, big brain moves. Big brain moves. Okay. <laughs> this is actually very clever. I, have, I love oh, that. Big brain moves, and then I fortify in his face. Bam. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I win this. Easy. I've never, I've never Wait, seen that strategy of using no, Arco didn't fake the attacks bridge. there to try. And Wait, Arco, you're trolling! Not in VC. I never said I did. I, well, That's why I I'm you saying did. you're trolling. No, don't kill, don't kill Bradomite. How dare you try? You can't kill Bradomite. Okay, he has two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. He has twenty territories. What? Okay, really? Arco's, Arco's going. Arco, please hit Bradomites. Please. I, mean, I can't really do that. No, Mamba. no, I don't want you to win. I don't want him to win. Please hit him. <laughs> no, it's it's simple. We need more more games, more fairness. Just hit him. Wait, three. Three troops, okay? I think so you're Chris, mixing up your colors. Chris, you don't want Mamba to win. No. Yes, Chris, you're allowed to hit. Uh, you're allowed to win, right? You're not winning from this? Yeah. I, I can, yeah, I, okay, I, so, I so all I want from you is, um, no, Arco, what are you doing? Trying to win. Please. No! Why are you going nuts into... Oh, no, okay. Um, I think, no. Ar okay, no, this is so, so bad. Does anyone know what's on the bridge? Oh, yes, okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, that's good. Um, Wait, so is Bradamite yes. gone from the left? Uh, Mamba has 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 15. Alright, I Bredemite rolled has... stack no, down to no, a 1. Uh, Mamba. Mamba has 15, then Arco has around 25, maybe 26. Chris, Hell you're probably... no, I do not have 26. Yes, you do. Don't be oh, trying to. Bredemite get removed from the left? 
Uh, Brede Might did no get, get removed. Yeah, you can kill him. I think. I think. Yeah, yeah, he did get removed. Just kill him. Just kill Brede Might and then go full into Arco <laughs> and. Um... Yeah, no, listen, trust me. Just no, I, I have literally 12 seconds. Sure it'll be fine. Just listen. The bridge is open. Do everything he tells you to do. Mom, yeah, the bridge is open. Just kill. Just kill Brede, uh, oh, Brede Might. Yeah. Bait. Ooh. Oh! Perfect. Perfect. Oh! See? And then you go into. Um... Wait, can you kill the bots actually? You need yeah, some no, it's not possible. He has too much. No, the bot is like. 20, 20 yeah. yeah, just. I mean, just point win, just wise, win. I hope Chris wins, and it looks like he is. <laughs> yeah, this looks good for yes. Chris. Yes, he's Chris. Yeah, Let's is, go. No, the bot very wins. much looking like a, a Chris win here. <laughs> no, the bot's here. not winning. Nah, never. Oh, that's how oh, this gets oh. stalemate forever. <laughs> no, no, it it will eventually end. I still need Bredemite to win two times, Man, what and a board. me to hit, win one time. What a board mm -hmm. for Chris. And we can have the last game. It's like that 10, is a five. Yeah, 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 right there. So yeah, I'm at 33. Yeah, what GGs. What a board. I had 15. Okay, let's leave. Next game. <laughs> How many points is that? Plus three. How many are you on six now, Chris? Yeah, probably. Yeah, so Chris I'm cannot win first, first, first to third. <laughs> This is a lot to take in. Wait, so Arco. Arco. All right, can you update Arco. our standings for the people? Nathaniel? So Mama's on 10, yes. Chris is on so, 6, Mama, I'm on 5. Right now we have uh, Mama, currently seven, the most what, points, two, Mamba, three, with 10 I'm points. Two, yes, two. After this game we have Chris with 6 points. Then we have Arco with 5 points. Sammy with 2 points. And sadly, Bradamite has seen Even if Sepe hadn't confirmed he was gone from the left, I was trying for the kill. I, I think I had enough to not. Yeah, that's why I, I, I try. I I hit his four in fishing, hoping that was it. <laughs> oh man! So I need to hit three pay three players if they're in first. Or <laughs> gonna be We're hard. being. Uh, oh, here we go. We got, so we got to keep the color consistent. <laughs> Why is he breaking so much? Oh, I'll switch to... Oh, gee, Argo! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> We're all switching. <laughs> oh, God. This is oh, no, 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 no! <laughs> Why am I black? Okay. Give me... <laughs> oh, okay. There we go. The instant removal was hurtful. So, wait, who, who said that? Not young me. I was just fucking with you guys and joining. Ah, okay. Hello. Um. Two hours and seventeen minutes. Okay. God, and wait, then I got yeah. freaking uh, risk Olympics after this. Zombies. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh god. This has been fun though. This has mm. been quite something. <laughs> 13, 10. Wait, Mamba has 10. You can see whose voice are who Yes, by... so we've been through this. <laughs> no! Who pop, who pop so up he... on, the, Wait, on the left there? That's two for Mamba. Oh no, if he's lost position. That, that should be uh, probably the easiest. It's gonna way. be a kill. Yeah, yeah, sh yeah that's happening. Okay, let's go. Come on, Mama. Let's go. Get in here, Mom. So, uh, so Pete, if you if you had to rank all of the uh all of the round settings, uh, that you either got to play in or uh got to view, how how so would you rank the uh the settings? Uh, sure. Okay. So settings yeah. and info. Let me see. Um, I thought. Okay, <laughs> please stream Risk Olympics. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll bring these guys it. down. <laughs> talk to you uninterrupted. Um, okay, so what do we got? We got Rootown Advanced top tier. Really enjoyed um, Rootown Advanced for Five Round Rumble. I love those settings. I think they're super interesting. There's lots of play to it. Um, I think that's yeah. That would clearly be my my favorite. Um, I would say number two would be Operation Atom. Um, lots of play to it. 
Um, I think Roots of Yggdrasil is close, but I liked Adam better just because I think Adam is a more interesting map. Um, I think I did win from an early seat in Roots of Yggdrasil, which is my only seven point win. Um, so, so far we have Rivertown Advance, Operation Adam, Roots of Yggdrasil. Then I would say um, GPU. I find GPU interesting, um, but I got very unlucky was my read on that round. So it left a bit of a bad taste in my mouth. Dracon's Fortress I actually think is bad. I think Dracon's Fortress are bad five round rumble settings. Um, at least that iteration of the settings. Um, mm. In the sense that the existence of a bot in Dracon's Fortress, um, it, it just really, really exaggerates the um, amount that the bot affects the outcome. Right? So Dracon's Fortress mm -hmm. without a bot, I think is far, far, far more interesting um, maybe Dracon's Fortress with a bot and no blizzards, maybe Dracon, you know what I'm saying? But, but something mm -hmm. about that exact combination of settings, um, I think just, just didn't quite work. Um, and then mm -hmm. I, I feel similarly about stairs. I didn't play stairs, but stairs is a, stairs and Dracons are both from the same map pack. And I think they, um, exemplify a certain type of design philosophy that we sometimes see, or at least mm -hmm. we have been seeing more recently. Um, for newer maps, and that's a lot of small, but reasonably a lot of of few territory, but high value bonuses. Um, and and uh, the reason Dracons and Stairs exemplify that to the extreme is there aren't any other types of bonuses. So in mm -hmm. there's no Asia, right? So in in classic we have the the three small bonuses people go for, we have the two big bonuses people go for, and then we have the one biggest bonus that you can't ever really hold. So um, nobody goes for it because they can't. So the lack of a empty trading space in stairs and dracons forces the action in fixed, right? There is never really mm -hmm. a stable state on either of those maps. Um, and that I think can be very interesting for this mode, but you have to tweak other parts of the settings in order for that to be so. You could do blizzards and stable portals would create all sorts of interesting deep pockets. You could do no blizzards unstable. You could do um, blizzards, no bot. But the exact way that those two maps, I think, worked out here, um, th that would be the way in which I would um, critique them, right? They didn't quite make it for me in the same way. They, they weren't, you know, um, I, th I really do feel like the outcome really does um, fall too much to either bot luck or spawn luck. Mm -hmm. More so yeah, than the it's... other maps. Yeah, I, I, I really appreciate your feedback because I I spent a lot of time really trying to find, like you said, the perfect five round rumble settings because it's it's so difficult yeah, you're in great. a game mode where 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 luck plays such an important um aspect to try and create settings where at least everyone has some chance of winning versus games that are kind of determined by spawn luck or card luck or what have you. Yeah, I think you did great. This is not an easy puzzle to solve. So in the absence of even making the attempt, you did. <laughs> you tried, <laughs> right? Got to mm -hmm. give, give credit there. Yeah, I, in, in an effort to pick thick settings for the six rounds of this tournament, uh, I probably tested out somewhere between 12 and 15 different maps with various settings combinations just trying to find the ones that uh gave gave players the best chance brady might bought it oh it looks like brady might must have accidentally bought it mm. that sucks sorry i didn't mean to interrupt you but i, I thought noting that yeah yeah Django says nathaniel is awesome super well done by him yes sir thank you very much again We're we're making steps in the right direction here, that's for sure. Did you consider uh Spain or Boston? Um I my initial thoughts about Spain is it's far too open and that it favors players just later in turn order too much. Okay. Just because most of the map is just completely wide open. Mm -hmm. Um Boston is interesting. It's not one that I initially considered just because I didn't know if there were enough 
takeable bonuses to where everyone could have have and hold one bonus. So my uh, those would be my two maps for to consider or reconsider. I think uh, mm-hmm. I think you could very likely consider because because of those um, for the same reason I was criticizing um, stairs and dracons. I think Boston and Spain work or could. Mm could work in that they have a lot of small bonuses uh, that is few in territory but worth a decent amount but also they do have available space to trade so if you have a situation where um, the the players do obviously still start start their positions but then you know once the board kind of locks in um, I'll, t- I'll give you an example in Boston, right? So there's a four territory plus mm-hmm. five next to a four territory plus five next to a four territory plus seven, right? And the tension of mm-hmm. who gets those and who doesn't, I mm. think, is very is very interesting. We got the Becky Raid! What the fuck is up, Becky Raiders? Thank you so much. Welcome in, Becky, with the good hair. How was your stream? House five round rumble, uh, currently in the lead. So this is a best of eleven series. Currently in the lead, we have I am Mamba at ten points. So sudden death for Mamba. Uh, Chris sitting at six points. Arco at five points. Sepe at two points. Bradamite is yet to score. And it looks like we actually have lost Bradamite. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm. It looks like um, that, unfortunately, if uh, if Bradamite has an emergency such that he cannot continue playing, we will have to continue with two bots. Okay, that's how you're going to do it? Well, it, it, it doesn't really seem fair to have someone else jump in and then continue playing where they haven't had a chance to score for yep. the past six, seven rounds. Yep. No, it's, it's, it's not ideal. Two bots will uh, certainly spice it, spice it up strategically for these guys. It certainly certainly will. Did you compete, Nathaniel? Um, in the in this five round rebel tournament. Yeah. Yep, I was one of the participants. I think I finished. I managed to make it to, uh through all six rounds, but I ended with seventeen points. So, unfortunately, far short of where the the cut was. It's uh, an important question. Random username. Pete, tell me, should I ask her out? I'm nervous. Also, we get along decently, same as true with her. Yeah, I require more information, sir. We're going to do uh, Pete's dating advice corner. Um, we're going to have to get into the <laughs> nitty gritty. Well, let's circle back after the uh, competition, though. <laughs> also, should I ask her out? The answer is always yes. Because you don't know until you don't try. and you, nobody, uh, nobody regrets the things they didn't do. Or sorry, no, nobody regrets the things they did. You, you know, at least you try. <laughs> oh, goodness. Pete's dating corner. Yeah. <laughs> so one of the questions is going to be, have you tried psychedelics? I'm not trying to date random user named 69. I don't give a shit if he's tried psychedelics or not. <laughs> the worst they can do is remove you from group chat. <laughs> yes. You sound, like, you sound quite young, sir. These sound like uh, young person concerns. Jack says the answer isn't always yes. You should ask her out. I don't. I don't know if I agree. Right? If you're thinking that you want to, shoot your shot. I would say it's more a question of how you do it than whether you should do it. You should. If you want, how else would you know? You can be counter arguments. Okay. This is why we got to do Pete's dating corner notch during competition. Say she's married to a mob boss. Okay. I mean, look, <laughs> I'm assuming I, I am. I, you're right. I am making assumptions with random username. 
that he is 19 and in college and she's not married to a mob boss. Exactly. <laughs> uh, Looking good for mom, eh? This is this is where I think it gets most interesting because I, either Mamba or Arco can uh, win the entire thing with a win here. Are we hunting for the spot kill? Dravy says, I, I asked a friend out and was scared to death that it would ruin our friendship. We just had our 20th wedding anniversary last month. Congrats, man. That's beautiful. I'm happy for you. When it works, it works. That bot, eh? That that bot, and I think this will definitely change the uh, the calculus going forward of what players choose to do and not to do. Sorry, Chad. I know you guys are popping off about this. Uh, I'm happy to happy to dig in. Just wanted. To, I want to give this tournament its due. Did we see what Mamba started with there? Uh, I believe Mamba started with eight, even after getting smacked a little bit by the bot. Okay. All right, they killed the Braid Might bot on right. five. That looks pretty good for Sepe. Yeah, the do we see him attempt to kill the Black Bot on two here, or do we just bank troops and sit? What would you do? I would probably just err on the side of banking troops and sitting just because you are in the the ultimate seat here. Versus if maybe I was in an earlier seat, I would attempt to chain another kill just to get another another set as well as get another player's worth of troops off the board. Oh, that zoom. It's a bit too far, Chris. We got to see the numbers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, that's what's always difficult with maps like these is the, the UI scale. There we go. Well, oh, now he's zooming all the way in. All right. All right. All right. What happened to giving the tournament its dues? Yo, st stop giving me shit. Becky with the good hair. Holy fuck. <laughs> Playing a board five round rubbles final here. Talking about ayahuasca and fucking dating. I'm not, of course I'm not playing. I'm not good at five. I know mob is playing. Are you being mean to me? Why are you being mean? <laughs> what the fuck? Who invited you? She invited herself with the raid. Brought, brought all of her friends. I am being mean. Yes. Yes, you are. Am I playing in the Trem tournament? What's that? 
Is that the uh is that the uh is that Evolves tournament? So I discovered that my setup for uh meta settings is I can only scroll at about 50% the max. Uh, my opponent was able to defeat me easily by scrolling 5,000 troops in turn. So I'm not interested in, in competing against um, players in a mode that I can't win, and I'm not really able to um, invest in my setup right now um, to get that you know frame rate to the point where I can scroll 5,000 troops in turn. And when and if I can, then I'd be happy to consider playing meta settings again more competitively but right now i mean i'd love to play but right now i don't i'm not really interested in joining a tournament that i can't quite win right so i would want to at least have the the optimal setup for that if and when have you heard about this one nathaniel mm -hmm, yeah i it's it's so weird that like somehow like green refresh rate and other weird technical factors influence how fast you can scroll troops like it mm -hmm. it it shouldn't it shouldn't be a problem but for some reason it is yeah i mean it's just the technology uh rug I, i'm not actually sure that my opponent was using macros i think that would be defined as cheating but whatever it is as nathaniel just mentioned right it, it the the amount of troops you can scroll and risk is connected to the refresh rate of your monitor in my setup, I have I have one computer monitor. I have two t television sets in front of me, and they're massive. And I like my setup a lot. It works very well for me. I'm trying to make a show, right? I have a lot of screens and a lot of stuff on all of them. So I'm not trying to invest in whatever it would cost me to get this much in actual high refresh screens. Um, so, you know. And who do we have winning? Speed Sepe. You also didn't card block when I advantage and sets on three were huge. Yeah, exactly. He was able to look. I mean, I was setting up a card block, which he was able to break by scrolling 5,000 troops. Everyone saw what everyone saw what happened. I'm not accusing him of uh, of using any sort of software. It was more, I, I had no, it was unfathomable that anyone could scroll 5,000 troops in a turn. The max without macros and ping rates about twenty five hundred. So you're so you're saying that uh, my opponent cheated. Well, if if my opponent cheated, then I have been cheated out of an opportunity to make a tournament finals, and I I choose not to uh, not to accuse someone of something that I do not have evidence for. So. Chad says he can do 3K. They're asking to play true random. <laughs> no, 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 no true random. There's there's already enough. There's already enough randomness and luck involved in five round rumble. Yeah, let's not uh don't mess around. All right, so let's, let's do we have a brief moment to talk about the question? So the question from random username is, tell me more about this. You said you're close, for, you're 19, you're in college. There's two people, one is hot as fuck and we get along decently, although she has a lot of close guy friends, the other is also attractive. So what you're, what you're asking about is you're asking me if I think you should ask out one of these girls. Same group chat, ask one the other, obviously knows. Yeah, I think you should... I think you should ask out neither. Uh, other contexts are both staying in dorms, but the one just lives nearby. The other's half halfway across the country. What are you talking about? Ah oh, man, go up to a girl, say hello. <laughs> Hi, my name is Random Username Sixty Nine. What's yours? Oh yeah, you look pretty cute. That's why I came up to talk to you. It's not fucking hard. You make things way too calm, or just get swiping. I don't know. I was out of the game for a long damn time and I fucking pull up my phone and all of a sudden there's a menu of thousands of women who want to sleep with me. It's amazing. <laughs> Get swiping. I don't know. Don't listen to me. I shouldn't be giving anyone dating advice. Um, okay, so Chris is now red and he's in the first seat. 
I think I think it is very likely that uh, that we end up seeing a winner after this game here because as it stands right now, Chris, Arco, and Mamba can each win overall with a win from their current position. Ah, sucks that we lost Brandon White. I'm sorry to hear. I hope whatever emergency yeah. he's, de he's dealing with gets better. <laughs> I think your best chance to ask someone out random username is immediately. I think if you're already in the friend zone, you might be out of luck. Just be careful with that. So many bots. <laughs> this is an unfriendly yeah. environment. We're going to see a lot more conservative play here, I think. I would, I would definitely imagine so, although conversely, we could also see someone play super aggressively and just see how much they're allowed to hold since there aren't as many human players left in the game to potentially deal with them. Yeah, I think Drake Hans with the will, unless the, we see some bot on bot crime. <laughs> this, this last game is going to be heavily, uh, heavily bot determined. Yeah, it's, it's, it's unfortunate, but, uh, also those blizzards are crazy. These All these are some three of those pretty are, wild blizzards. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Those top two left bonuses are a one point hold. Yeah, on uh, Chris's four guys, if you guys see. So with the uh, please stop moving. That's great. <laughs> with these two please, please stop moving it. Please stop. Tell me when you're done. Thank you, Chris. Uh, yeah, so this territory. Guards. These two bonuses on a one point. Not bad. Not bad. Really good play to leverage that shitty plus two in the bottom. I hate that bonus. The one where his five is in. Oh, you don't have to apologize at all. I'm I'm down to talk about this stuff, just maybe not while I'm also trying to properly cast a tournament finals. I love talking to you guys. You guys are super interesting, right? Everyone has a unique and valuable perspective on life. And if we can honestly talk to each other and, and share what we think, you know, that's how... I think that's how the world gets better, is people... You know, being themselves, maybe sometimes taking a risk with what they have to say, but but meaning well and and trying to just honestly grow, move forward into the future. It's so rare on the internet, right? There's like a we are inundated with someone's agenda versus someone else's agenda. to find, you know, an honest conversation taking place. It's really something that I've I've worked hard um with our community to try and build, you know, just a culture of somewhat somewhat honest and mutual respect when, when possible. Jack says, "Yeah, Chris looks like Chris is building into that honey pot. He might only hold it for a turn, but being in the first seat, you're going to need to lock down a piece of the board that's yours." Yeah. I I do wonder what happened if Chris ever decides to take that honey pot, because in doing so, he will be letting everyone else know that he's taking it. 
based on the uh, attacking who's left in the plus five there. All right. <laughs> well then. Oh, that's, those that's dice. Quite the board <laughs> position. Oh, he doesn't even put it out yet. Ooh, he doesn't. Oh, we got the spud raid. What the fuck is up? AKA spud topped. And the spud raiders. How's everyone doing? It? Oh, baby. It's quite the board position for Chris. See if anyone can stop them. The bots might be causing chaos for the other three guys. This could be a win. And now the VC has gone eerily yeah. quiet as oh, players are trying to right. we're gonna we're gonna listen in folks we're gonna listen in welcome back wait what oh, oh the no, don't break me <laughs> don't break me don't break me please please don't break me okay <laughs> but on but. wait what how is that possible though that's no, hilarious. eight on six. Okay. They don't, I, they don't know how massive Chris is yet. Is that? <laughs> Jesus. I is Chris not spoiling the surprise? This? I, I, think, one I think Chris here. is largely just add trying to uh, stay, one here. stay silent and stay Take out of trouble. <laughs> and move up. Mamba probably. Ooh, that's also, that's a four for trips. Chris. He's going to get so many troops. <laughs> oh my god, this is your talk. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, that's expensive. Do don't do it. 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 That's not enough. Is... Yeah, still. Don't do it. Oh, you take don't that? Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. oh, we get the bot right. kill. All Who right. Kill after that. Everyone has two full turns to or act. Do not go for someone. This That's is spicy, man. Trade. This is spicy, <laughs> man. How much? Twenty troops? Yeah, perfect. Did he kill Mamba? No, sixteen. Wait, twenty. He's trying to kill Mamba, right? Yeah. So if Chris remember, if Chris wins, he wins the whole mm. thing. Yeah, it's true, but he probably can't kill anybody right now. No, I can't. I don't have quite no. enough for him. Oh man, you want to guard that? You want to guard that one point then? You guard that Why one point, dude. That? You need to guard it. But he has, he does have a lot. Come of on, Chris. Come around. on, Chris. Ooh. Let's see. I can't help but root for him, Nathaniel, because we're watching from his point of view. <laughs> Forty-eight to fifty-five, maybe more. I mean, we we all win. If Sepe doesn't win, we all. Yeah, Arco, you know what to do. Eh? Kill uh, Mumba or with Chris. Uh. <laughs> that sigh. Oh, Arco's that's like sigh. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> do I have to though? <laughs> Don't wait. Tap any of your territories. I think it's gonna take all of their collective brain power. I mean, at this point, to, you can go into. Wait, hurry up, man! This last timer. timer. I know. Hurry up! No, it's it's simple. Just hit. No, you're stalling. No. Quick. What do I do now? Oh, what? Why? Yes, he's almost done. I have to go for the kill, I think. For what? Yeah, kill? I go for the kill. What? Wait, kill? that's what connected, yeah. With? Mamba? Why is that? trying to kill Mamba. There, motherfucker. Okay. Yeah. Does Sepe have it? I wow. don't know if he has Lost a way to get into that, 
Does he have enough to take out whatever is on? Oh, it's, a tw- it's got a 20. One bottom. One addition to nine is what I calculated. Uh-huh. A oh, wow! We got a three-player no. game! My problem is... How do you get through uh, both this, eights, though? Boy, it's Chris and Nuts. Yeah. This, is, this is very interesting. I think I don't know why you're just worried about me. You're also it's, gotta it's be a three player about end game. Oh, 28? Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah but Chris seasons. is. Why do you have a 28? Chris is way more of the. Board I think Sepe I... King makes here at best, but he can't I, win. Uh, he just plus, he, plus, he has the chance to have a set on three still on his final turn. This is where the VC Yeah, comes if he has a set on three, I'm I basically. I do not have a set on three. I will put that out. Yes, you do. Don't, don't. No, oh, I to... don't know. I would tell you if I had a set. Oh, I, I'll, I'll what... I literally have a big, big oh, stack. Oh, what do we do, Chris? Out. He's got a 21 in pterodactyl hatchery. Marco's telling on him. Where? 21. What? <laughs> Where? Okay. Okay, I gotcha. I won't so open the How? So, well, it's oh, it's open to my stack. So he has as soon as I move my stack, he has wow. The open no, lines. I just won't break. There's going no the way. He's going for the pocket. No, interesting. Yeah. Why would Arco say that? Because Arco wants Arco's own stack to be open to run. Okay, that's. Well, yeah, it is. Twenty-eight, twenty-nine. It's a very delicate 30. chess match here. I'll hit. Don't, don't be shy. Thirty. Hello. Uh, Thirty-one. That's why. Thirty-one. Thirty-one territories. I wonder if we see Arco try and dive into Chris's pocket. Thirty-one. I don't think so. Twenty of that. Thirty-one. I think Arco runs to the open board. 31. Four six. Yeah. No. Wait, fully into oh, no, him? he's taking it from Chris. Holy oh. fuck! All right, two, all right, five, all right. Five, Arco, two, Arco's four, best five, play here six, is seven, to beat eight, the nine, game. 10, 11, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. Fifteen. Fifteen. So I have to hit, have more than fifteen. That doesn't make sense. Why would he do that? Ooh, they're 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 doing the math with know, three players and how win. many territories there are. Right. How many I can literally. You need to win. Oh yeah, okay, sure, yeah, yeah, I, yeah okay, yeah, it's, okay. No, you can win this game, you can't yeah, win this Yeah, win this game, yeah, sure, sure, okay, it's okay. Uh, how much is seven for me? Wow, like He cleared so me much. out of that whole top left, just so you know. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just... Um, do I, do I put some here? Do it with that with what you will. Oh, Arco sure. might win it if Seppi does this wrong. Wow, okay, not... Ooh, but that is nice. loses the 3v1. Um... I'll just hit a bunch like of you, ones. You need to go into hit. some of probably both of us. Yeah, I'll just hit both of you. Okay, yeah, looks like Sappy wins that. Has this. Yeah, I'll have it. I have 20. Uh, Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, I have this. 22, 23. 24. Yeah, yeah, you got it. I've been in the same position you were in last game, Chris, where he's I, only I know, pointed it. at me to follow up whatever I do. Okay. So okay. it was yeah. a lose lose. So we get a sappy win. So it seems I will win the next game in sixth position. So we will have another game. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, how is, many are you up does that now? leave the Six? scoreboard for Wait, everyone. two, three, plus yeah, two. Yeah, post it up, Nathaniel. Is... No. I won this All game. right, yeah. so no, we no. got uh, Mama still on top with 10 points so far. Uh, Chris and Speed. Sepe each on six points, and then that. Arco on five points. There you go, play FFA. Good luck. Uh... Mongers.
six and three, yeah. Two and then three and three. Yes, eight. I think I killed the bot in the last position. This game. Oh, what colors? Shit, you are looking yellow. Yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, you can, you, can, you can be yellow if you want to. That's yeah, fine. Try to keep it yeah, consistent. Yeah, it's fine. Sure. Thanks. Three, six position wins. Oh, that's not correct. The last one was, he just, yeah, I just won fifth. And the one before was also fifth, I think. Uh, no, I think that one was sixth. No. Well, okay, yeah, that was sixth. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. the red bot was first Seven. and the black bot was third. Yeah, that's right. And Mamba was, yeah, before me, fifth. Yeah. Mamba's on Three. 10, Eric goes on five, I'm on six. You're. Then Five. Yeah, oh six. man, this... still got watch, another four to five I'm games. In us. I'm predicting that this game's gonna be like one, two, win. three seats. It's gonna be us three, and then Mamba's gonna be. Uh, have oh the no! To... Oh, that would be have... so fun. Yeah, yes, oh, that would be the final <laughs> game then. Yeah. yeah. What it would be? Oh, uh... now. Ooh, and interesting. Players are discussing First, right now Mamba, that uh, then the two depending bots, on and then how players three. spawn for turn order, so if, we cannot um, win, and we can all just hit Mamba. If Chris, uh, calling it now, Arco and Speed Sepe, they all feed spawn the game in hope... first, second, third. It's position. either that or Arco gets um, uh, me or Arco please. gets in the. Then the next yeah. player who wins will end up winning the and entire get, thing uh, just based on current us, point distribution. Yeah, 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 that's. Yeah, that's, I don't know. Not a game. Oh, this is so much fun! Six position, come on, come on, come on! Six position! <laughs> I know you want to! Ah, uh, no! Uh, or, okay, okay. Uh, that, wait, Chris, okay, oh, uh, wait, Chris cannot win, yeah, he cannot win, he lost. I'm, I'm so we just, one you guys can uh, win. it's another game from where we hit a Mamba. It doesn't have to no. be another game uh, thrown. Like, yes, yes, we hit another just... game of Big Arco and Mamba. <laughs> And let Chris win. Okay, let Chris win. Yes, I'll let Chris win this time. Perfect. Is garbage. <laughs> no, no, why is it spawn garbage? Wait, wait, wait. You can take um, the... Can you take a bonus first turn? No. <laughs> no, Chris? Okay, I'll, I'll yeah, suicide my, my two four in... Um... No, yeah, I'll four suicide my two. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Can you... Can... Wait. Top... Uh, hey, wait, yeah, the... sure. I'll, I'll hit the white two. And then okay. I'll move out. I mean, try and win. Like that—that that should be a goal of yours. Like, you yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but if they win, <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah, over. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. If, I mean, if Wait, you win too, it's Arco, well, why no, did you? Yes, you why did you go into my bonus? Your bonus. No. Wait, yes, I had a two and a two, and you had a one. I had a two and a one, and I went before you. <laughs> yeah. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I higher, mean, higher turn order has got to get something out of this. <laughs> oh wait, how much? Wait, I got hit a two, and I get hit another two, and I will get hit a Whatever four. Whatever bonus you get, that's all I yeah, have to no, say. Yeah, no, I'm I'm basically dead. Unless I kill <laughs> he has analyzed his position. <laughs> okay, unless I unless I get quick. He is dead. <laughs> unless I get good dice, no fuck. What the oh, heck? Yeah. <laughs> you do it over there. Yes, that's your okay. own fault. So... <laughs> Why? Why is there a black box? <laughs> there. Okay. Ooh! <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> no, the bot wanted something. Oh, okay. Yes, you take that bonus. Bam. Perfect. Could oh. be better. Um... And bots make this so freaking wild. Yeah, because... Yeah, what? Do. Seven? Seven! <laughs> Plus four! How? 
Huh? Ah, plus three, bitch, <laughs> and 12 territories. Okay. And he probably takes bottom left too, and then he breaks me. No, this is over. It's 10 for. Okay, Arco takes his. My bonus. Oh, yes. Yes, two remaining. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, what did he do? Did he do something? As lucky dies as usual. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Attack, attack. Arco, take his bonus. Yes, take it. Oh, oh no, what? That, yeah. Okay. Does he have that bonus? Plus, no. what the? Plus... He does not have Four. that bonus. Okay, seven. Is seven enough to break Arco? <laughs> yes. Yeah, seven, six, <laughs> five. Oh my god. Can I slow roll you? <laughs> Poor Arco. Yes. Are we really <laughs> just gonna. <laughs> yes, what do you <laughs> think? Gonna I'm gonna let you hold versus... my bonus? Uh, I'm gonna man. let you hold my bonus? Uh, no way. Yeah. Wait, slow roll this. Nathaniel, you must wait, have figured wait, this was what was gonna happen. Left. I go to the. Right? I, I don't know. I, I, I just thought uh, let's let's give uh, our finalists uh, another tool at their disposal in well, VC. This is exactly uh, what, no so, way you this is what this. I would expect to happen, right? It's these guys yeah, that no do min-max everything look. and Bro. until the very no! last possible game ah, where uh, everyone's in sudden death. Okay. <laughs> Fortify back. And yeah. then we'll get a real game of risk again. <laughs> <laughs> No, because they're good enough to stop. Wait, this is one of the things. As well. This is like a truism for These our are game, too right? strong. I like it. You can't necessarily be good enough to win, but you can Actually, be good enough to make know. someone else lose. <laughs> if that someone else <laughs> is about to win, it's correct to make them lose. You right? know, if one of the bots mm -hmm. wins, that means nobody gets any <laughs> points. And as if we didn't uh, play in one. <laughs> oh, they're, they're, you have you're to talking about what, what happens no, if a bot uh, I would prepare to, to win hit this. Bomba. What would happen? Bonus bottom right, probably. Um, if no a bot one would get any let him take him, like, No one would get any points and, uh, and we, uh, right. we, we play him. on. We play on, yep. Um, <laughs> ugh. Oh, what happened? Bad dice? Yeah. Uh, unfortunate. Whoa. Interestingly, Still enough, have I, can, uh, I can share <laughs> some stats great. here. Across the, uh, uh, okay, the entire tournament, we did end up having six total games that were that were won by six bots. Tons. No way. Yes, perfect. He hit <laughs> yeah, somebody there. Which I, that was honestly one of the most surprising things for me because in all of our testing games that we did we never had a bot win like oh, we, we definitely had we definitely had games where bot bots were win. large and had large <laughs> <And for C>. <laughs> <laughs> wait actually actually does wait that's good for me i can very that nobody see, wins and then we can have another two games very reasonable scenarios where a bot wins in those positions <laughs> uh, Sefe's just gonna suicide into all of us <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be here for so long. Man. Zango's calling. Yes, uh, sir. Oh wait, my phone is almost Mamba there. sneakily <laughs> winning because he's not in VC. I can see that too. Also, he's switching colors every time, throwing them oh, off. I got troops. Six troops. Bye bye. I think that's very also, savvy, bye -bye right? To you. Changing color every turn in an what environment with two bots. You never quite know who Fight you're back. who you're supposed to be, quote unquote, targeting. Oh, another three. three. You want me to turn Chris down oh, a bit? Is his, is his volume too loud? He has his tradition. <laughs> I, I, I'm trying to get the volume okay. ratio good for all of you guys. Yeah, that is that is one of the thing with the Wait. VC tournaments like does, this. Does have the bonus? It's always always tough finding the right audio balance. Yes, so you can both hear the just other just players, but also hear and... yourself. Yeah. Wait, why not? Your lost position, you just win. You just straight and oh, you, you take it back. It I don't want to break no, it. No, no, you have you have to. If you if we give him troops, he's just gonna break you. And you I don't. Won't. Oh no. You sure? I'll believe. I. I mean, I'll trust you, but okay. Is Arco somewhere on the right side? Plus six. Plus six only. 
How many games have we played so far? Wait, only three? Yeah, I've been on for what? Three and a half hours? Why only three? Yeah, three, three, three hours, 20 minutes. Oh, you're going to take that Why game. only three? <laughs> <laughs> take the bonus. Wait, why are you Let's hitting me? We can look at the players. I didn't do anything. Is this, is this what you figure that out? Is this what you want? <laughs> no! What is happening? Something we must strange. Give the win to no. Chris. <laughs> wow. Five, six. Seven, eight, 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 nine. Wow. Okay, he this held. is game number Oops. 10 right here, I believe. Game 10. Not, what, what, what? I, and when it comes to coffee, you're right, Mac. I do need another cup of coffee. I feel, I feel very seen. <laughs> it's only been three hours. Uh, Give me back my bonus. We're on Give me back my five. bonus. We are on pace for five at this rate. Perfect. No. Oh, this is seven. <laughs> Shit. Fuck. Um, <laughs> no, he's not gonna hit that. Right? Mm. No, he's not gonna hit that. Oh, consider how strong oh, the bots are. Wait, the nine? Oh, I shouldn't start There's a nine already. there. Oh. Why? It's just the afternoon. And there's a seven, okay. Oh, yes. perfect. There's seven oh. to the left, seven to the left. Oh, what happened? Perfect. Okay. Something there. Oh, no, to oh that's not me. That's like, Chris. Uh, that's Chris's I computer. <laughs> I, I, I have I have 15 troops. I, have, I was yes. like, that was and my I computer. No, it was Chris's computer. I'm only in top left. No, it was my gut the hitting the Windows key. The that's what it was. My big fat so belly. Yeah. Can you kill Momba? Oh, he's going only, for it! Holy right, shit! I think. Go Maybe for the Momba kill. Holy shit! Holy shit! I would not not hit him. That's Redonk. Can do seven through the portal. Oh, he doesn't go for it. Which portal? Unless you can kill him. No, I don't. Uh, there, there was a portal on I think Black's three, and he had a seven oh, no. on a portal in his oh. window, so he could have potentially tried oh, to uh, complete the kill if he so chose. Mm -hmm. Ark was probably somewhere else, so trying to kill him is not worth it. <sighs> Being in another position, never. Are strong. Maybe fishing <laughs> district for the plus me? five. <laughs> oh, damn it, you got so quiet. <laughs> Wait, what happened? Whoa, 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 whoa. Why is he going to the left? Whoa, he's hitting me. <laughs> well, it, it comes oh, down to he, boy. He's get the two boy. <laughs> Here, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, sure. That's okay for me. You like, don't need to suicide me. Like, what? There's no reason for that. I'm sure he'll get a kick out of you saying that later on. So what? What? What if I just? What if I just hit you right now? I mean, you could. I mean, probably just. Gonna... I mean, I mean. Oh yeah. I mean, why not? Can I can try. Of course, I can try. Uh oh. So you have this oh, one? Oh boy. Uh oh. So cute. Seven. Seven. Okay, let's load all. Back, back. back. Interesting. Going Ooh. for the slope on the stack okay, rather than not... breaking the bonus. Oh no, we're still breaking the bonus. Man, if I had a set on three, a 10 set on Whoa, three there, that was I could've... accidental. My bad. I... I could have cleared you out of the top <laughs> left immediately, and this game would be so different. <laughs> Wait, black bot. Black bot, go to the... No! Yeah, Take your bones. No, no, hit the 3 oh. that. We got a big bot here. Yes. Go down. Yes, I'm 3v1 red. Top, top, mid, top middle, maybe. Ah, I yeah, don't have... Oh, yes, 3v1. No, 3v1 again. No, okay, you probably have it. Oh, it's seven troops. I think we probably end yeah, up seeing a uh, way more than enough. Chris Good victory day. here. Okay. <laughs> That's right. Just because he's favored in terms of coming Another thrilling game. Really uh, game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to remove Perfect. Sappy yeah, from I the have pocket. 11 territories, so it's not even close. That's okay, it's okay. okay. Oh. Oh, 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 no. Oh, what? <laughs> and a bounty. <laughs> oh, no, okay, we do kill him. Oh, yeah, it's a dude's trade. Even though I know where he is.
Uh, I, have, I, have, I have two ones in Mayor's. Quixie so. says, how do you know what requirements yeah, do you oh, need to, oh, to the blue check mark? Um, there's three ways to get it. You get it for VCC, <laughs> which is Verified Content Creator. I wonder who won um, this one. You get it for Top 100 yeah. oh, Ranking Systems <laughs> or Tournament Winner. <laughs> oh, please. There's all these so long. All right, we got the win for Chris. <laughs> so yeah. how much? All right, what's Wait. the next map, Nathaniel? Operation Adam. Fantastic. Let me scroll oh, down. That one's wild with bots. It is, actually. i got to turn the, the blizzards back on. And everything else, I think, is the same. So, of course. We, uh, got, we got Big the Tepid and Lawson Red Hand. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Uh, for Brady White. Pin, <laughs> all these screenshots and but it wouldn't be fair. Unfortunately. Where do I look? Yeah, is Come on, Mamba. No. <laughs> I'm I'm yeah. reading the uh the, the tournament going. thread I'm, and I'm it looks like Mamba was Five, attempting 10, 8, to feed okay. himself now you're good. to you're either good. speed or Chris <laughs> there, <laughs> basically to Break. guarantee that the yeah I told you this is exactly what you're we're gonna see until it's sudden death for everyone. <laughs> They're gonna keep min maxing it. Okay, so as you would expect them to, because right. they're competitive so, players. Mm -hmm. So Chris Game can win in ten, fifteen, or whatever position. we're on. <laughs> uh, I think it's you can win in any um, position that's not six. You can win in one to three. Arco can win in one to three. Mamba can win in any position. <laughs> <laughs> so here's to all of us being one to three again. <laughs> this yeah. will end. Yeah, here we uh, go. No, <laughs> Okay, so I can't win. Of course, the bot's Wait, gonna take this. Oh yeah, we're yeah, feeding the game to Chris again. Why am I even? Uh, no, <laughs> yeah, yeah, to Chris and to me. So me and Chris can have the win. Arco cannot oh, win, yeah. and Mamba. Ooh, uh, uh, Mamba, Mamba. Okay, bot Mamba feeding the first and first and second seed are interesting. Holy shit! Yeah, it'll be it'll be interesting to see <laughs> if uh, we yeah. see some bots <laughs> causing some shenanigans with some trades on three. I, 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 had a, I had a feeling this might happen with VC. <laughs> <laughs> like, if we didn't have VC, Baba might have gotten what? the win accidentally yes. a bunch of games ago. <laughs> yeah. Why two bots? Because Brayden might have had an emergency. Um, Chris, uh, what do we do about our sixes of bottom right? I'm I'm going up with my six. If he can let me. Ah ah, you want to take that pink. bonus off from Pink? Yeah yeah yeah. I'm gonna take Pink. Ah Pink's okay, bonus. Pink has that bonus. He has a three and a one. So yeah yeah. Make sure. I, he, he hit my two to take it. So. Ah okay, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> wait, who's this one? No. Is somebody in um, the bottom middle oh in the plus three God. in the fence fleet landfill? This is so I have dumb. a two. <laughs> ah, okay, a two. yeah, I can't, I can't take that one. Hopefully, good dice. That's Let's make I... it so oh, we wait. all end up on ten yeah. points. I'm back. <laughs> no. I think that's the no, goal, no. Arco. That I'm is the goal. Out. I'm gonna get out. Chill. Don't hit the sticks. No, no, no. I'm not hitting the stick. I just saw that there is a. Okay, that's not going anywhere. Um... What's below your two in Bow t uh, in Bell Tower? Uh, a, a pink two. Okay. Okay. Whoa! He takes the bonus. Mama takes the bonus. Yeah, you can take it back. It's better now. It's a two and a one. Oh, it's two and a two. <laughs> it's a two and a two. Yeah, just take it. Just take it. Oh my god! It's for yours. We're seeing VC used to its oh, full yeah, potential. Oh, yeah, Zendrick no is as the steal happens, wherever the hell that is. <laughs> yeah, you have that, you have that, perfect. Yeah, wow, you add everything? Okay. Yeah, okay, perfect. Uh, you don't have to guard. It's my twos. Yeah, but unless there's something left of you that's going to break. I cannot see that mm, tranquility. Maybe it's a bot. Ah, I see it's a black bot. Like, should have caught it at two or something. Oh yeah, I should have. I didn't see that. Oh no, pink, no, don't break me. Oh fuck. <laughs> I mean if oh, Mama no, was in the beast team, you would know that my six had Wait. nowhere else to go. <laughs> mama, 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 mama. No, he's not in the VC. Ah, okay, yeah, he uh, I'm bad. 
Uh, of course, the bot. Uh, it wouldn't matter. The bot had that bonus, anyways. Did he break you? Don't tell me. Oh. Uh, most likely. We'll see here in a second. Yeah, yeah thick. And don't go. Oh, wait. Did he make the bonus? No, he had the bonus. Arco has plus two in the top, probably. Or maybe it's another plus two. Yeah, Zillions is also plus two. Maybe he had this. Uh, that's a one point hold. Um. Um. Yeah, I'll break left. <laughs> <laughs> meta gaming. This is a this, serious this is crazy with bot stuff. But I mean, like, can you yeah, imagine? I broke black. The bots do make the easy. bots are the saving grace. Yeah. Well, what are the scores? So if we're going up to eleven full, points. This is a full human lobby. Current score oh, is no. ten for Mamba. God. Um, five for actually, actually, uh, Chris, I know you don't have the bonus yet. So. No. Uh, um, if I've you, lost it. Black will just retake. If you want to, you I can just check games. the uh, pinned Three message games. in the Three five round games. rumble. So we got uh, tournament finals thread. We got ten for Mamba. Oh no, don't, don't. Eight for Chris. Seven for Speed Sub. Five for Arco. It's best to. Or sorry, it's first to eleven. Oh yeah. Oh, already. No, but hit me again. These bots are too strong. Should I take uh, top right? I mean, middle right? No, that's a you take whatever bonus. you need to. Yeah, see, there's the <laughs> son of a bitch. Yeah, no, the bot, the bot adds. Some, uh, no, no, the bot adds, adds everything uh, bottom left. He had like eight bottom left, so it's all good. There's no way he, he had more. Wait, no. Uh, <laughs> what? How? Fucking bots, man. Seven. Uh, um, what is this, Arco? What are you doing, Arco? Yeah, he's he's trying to win. That's what he's doing. Oh <laughs> uh, no, he's going to take the. Hey, thank you, bro. On his top left, probably. Thank you so much, bro. It is four. Many trades. Oh my god. On three. Yeah, I see. Ooh, trade on three. No, for this oh, is I wonder. To... Wonder if he's planning on doing anything. Oh. So do you retake your bonus or not, Chris? Yeah, I do. Probably. Uh, do you have a set on three? I do have a set on three. And I'm oh, in... you do? Okay, I'll break CL. everything of uh, Arco, and you take your bonus. Okay, Arco, it's a joke. It's a joke. Don't, don't, don't try to break me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a joke. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't hit that. Okay. Okay, it's not a joke. I'll just break you. <laughs> well, I'll hit six here. All the rest. Wait, first I take a look. I mean, oh, it's only two. Glitch you. Go back to One of us has to win if we want this to continue. Yeah, yeah okay, we do 65. Let's go. No! Alright, thankfully, <laughs> that doesn't work. No, no, it's fine. I, I win this fight. Okay, no. Um, Is he winning? Plus four or nah, no? I, I lost. Uh, wait, 3v2? Maybe? No, it's, 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 I'll open your stack. He holds the plus four? Yeah, he holds the plus two. No, the plus four? I don't think the plus four. Plus four is a big. Okay. It's, there's no way he's going That's to. Right. Wait, maybe. Maybe he holds it, but I don't think so. Well, Mamba's not completely dead. Yeah, Mamba's not going to hit. <laughs> uh, so, you can take your bonus. How's it still going? Because of VC. The, um, the plus three. The VC in points, points always ends up with players min-maxing what, uh, what no, they will do what it takes to, to win, right? You, this is ubiquitous for anything with VC in points. Uh, players will do what earns the points to get them to the next okay, round, freak. including Mamba stopping the game from being won usually. Yeah, just go up and then go take the other bonus. Unless, yeah. Oh, that bonus, sure. Perfect. Okay, good. 
VC yeah, tends to be only um, uh, applicable yeah, in so winter. No, no, no. It's with make risk, you... only applicable in winter advanced no, 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 style games. Know. Anytime points in VC yeah, comes okay. up, we see the, the same sorts face? of interactions. Goes all into me! No, 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 yeah, I should have taken the golden bonus. How long has this one been going on? So, so this is a... Okay, I'm three that. and a half hours in. This is, I think... It's um, nothing. What, the 11th game? Mm-hmm. Yep, this, this is the 11th game right here. Nice. Uh, will you break the pink boat or not? Uh, I don't know. It depends what Mamba does. Mamba might just go straight into me. Yeah, it depends on what Mamba does. Then... Uh, See what I think Momo just stacks. If Momo stacks, and then just goes stay into you. Whoa, Arco has a bonus. All right, I do need to use the facility, so I will be back. Uh, and Arco doesn't want Momo. Sounds good, man. Ar Arco, Arco is a good player. Arco knows everything. Because he wants <laughs> to break me? No, no. I mean, you've been going into him nonstop, Seppe. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. He can break that too. Shit. Okay, I think I'm going... Wait, this is over. Yeah, they just win. No, wait. No, I have to feed you the win. I'll break black. Oh, I'll no, break technically, the max games if you take fifty one. Incorrect, Marin Brambat. Incorrect. Take back your bonuses. If the bot wins, <laughs> smart. If, he can't win, he's go into if the bot wins, it's it, okay, it's a uh, zero it's point round. Difficult. So the maximum it, games like, because this could take is infinite. <laughs> oh, 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 there is no actual theoretical ceiling. Don't hit me, okay, Arco? You understand? Oh, well, I, I have Arco. to. You stacked against me. <laughs> yeah, but, but it's, it's a friendly stack. It's not going to hit you. What a nerd. Oh, fuck you! No, no, no. I'll just <laughs> me? Move it next turn. Oh, wait, it's the last turn already. <laughs> Shit. That's not last turn yet. Okay. Um, actually. No, but it will be last turn, so I'll have to hit him. King of the nerds. Oh, no, yes. I'm so done. Yes, Chad is being mean to me today for some Lord Dorcas of Magorcas. <laughs> I nerd is a compliment. Wait, we need sets on three. Mm -hmm. We don't have sets on three. Mm -hmm. Oh, I hate this. Mm -hmm. Here we go. We have a lot of firepower oh. to go to Bomba, just so you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Just... Wait. Wait, Momba just wins, no? From the long line of Magorcas. He has two bonuses. <laughs> Some so lines are uh, longer yeah. than others. Yeah, yeah. He has like... Oh, oh, like oh, there's a ceiling. It's the heat death of the universe. Well, the one isn't, isn't that uh, uh, not still being debated? <laughs> no, yeah, we, I mean, I, I has that been conclusively him, proven? No, no, well. no we, we need to... Do we protons to decay? Let's make sure Chris wins this, okay? Oh, no. <laughs> our, uh, it, what no, we have to. We have to. Because Mamba's going to win otherwise. Chad would like a staff roll, please. Okay. You trust me? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Okay, seven. Five. Mr. Seven. Five. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, I only have one bonus. I'm, hit I'm hitting him out of the corner. I can't. He was a VIP. Wait, wait. Yep. Oh, maybe. Now he's Can working for free. Bot, bot kills to you? <laughs> is that possible? Uh, probably not. No, is that not possible? No, I trust you, Chad. Go into kill? You go into Bomba at all I mean, or no? Wait, Arco, uh, how many of the bots are top left? Uh, I own that bonus. <laughs> Ma, you own that bonus. Uh-huh. Get out of here. Wait. Why? It's lost turn. Why would you own it now? <laughs> I didn't realize you were joking. Mom out of the dead end, as I said. Ah, okay. So I'll feed pink, and you I... go kill pink. <laughs> oh my like shit, pink. bro. This is... So... <laughs> okay. This is dangerous. Don't... Okay. I we also, have to, we have to I also want a cinnamon roll, a except no cinnamon. Just give me a donut. Okay, I'll try to I go nuts. Much. From this side, for and then you go around. 
Going to the bottom bonus? Chest? I probably don't have enough because Mama's gonna kill yes, me. Yes, you can. <laughs> oh wait, Favoritism. it's, it's Mamba's turn. Shit. Yeah. Donuts are so bland. You're just not eating the right donuts. Hey, lucky me! Thanks, Mamba. man, monkey. Thanks do for time. something, man. <laughs> Anything. Ah, there's nothing I can do actually. Yeah. Where, where, where is pink? Uh, where do you see pink uh, still? Uh, pink is only bottom middle and um, maybe left side, but I don't think he's left top. I see it too. Yeah, Mamba just goes. Yeah, I think in. if you, if you yeah, just it, oh, it into you. You no, 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 no. I didn't do anything! Are we seeing a game end? Oh, oh my god. No, wait. Oh, wait, yeah, no. no. Wait, can you kill Black? Oh! Oh, no. Oh, no. I think we might be seeing no. a Mamba win here. Yeah, I'm down to literally okay. one tree. Okay. Okay. Um, oh! Yeah, like, I, I, I told you, you needed to Jay. go to Mamba. <laughs> no, but Arco fucked me over. But you boy, hey, you no. fucked Arco over! Oh, yes. oh wait. What do you mean? Wait. I fucked you no, over. Wait. Wait, yeah, I, didn't even, I didn't even break your bonuses on the last turn. That's true. Shit. Yeah, this is Chris trying to uh, desperately get the number of territories that Mamba has down. There we go. This I mean, is, I have to see is, this, win. is this GG's? This is over, at least. There it is. Congratulations to I Am Mamba, the first five round Rumble tournament winner. But I thought you had access to stuff in the middle. No, I didn't. No, he took that bonus, Chris. I I I gotta go, guys. All right, I will. GG's guys. Make sure to update the scores. So we now have Mamba with 13 points, and he is our winner. Hello. Congrats, Yo, congrats, Mamba. Mamba! Thank you, thank you. That's it done. Mamba, you legend! Congratulations! <laughs> thank you, thank you, sir. Mamba, you legend. Is that, is that Tim's? No, no, I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> 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 the petting your father isn't wishing you a congratulations. <laughs> he has been sending me tech over the past two hours continuously, and I've chosen to ignore them. Oh, collaboration, cheating? No, he's like, "What the hell is going on? This is garbage. Why are they targeting you?" <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, they're targeting you for good reason. <laughs> I, I don't disagree. Yeah, yeah. I mean, how, how many times did you start in the first three positions, Arco? That was ridiculous. <laughs> Is Arco not in voice chat anymore? Um, he's, yeah, he's, he's, I think he's, just, he's doing his outro. He's oh, he's okay. Cool. Okay, I'll ask him when he's back. I don't know. All I know is that after I won that first game in Speed Step, he hit me the next two and completely tanked my game. I'm like, okay, buddy, I've been in the first through third position all four games so far. Let's not start it off this way. Ah. <laughs> I was like, damn it. Oh no. man, GG's, Bubba. Hey, hey, Arco, how many times were you in the first three positions? <laughs> like, every I don't know. Time well, here's the thing, right? I I won going fourth, and then I won going sixth. Hey, congratulations then... on your first sixth position win of the tournament. Yeah, <laughs> one and zero oh from the sixth seat. <laughs> yeah, but I can't. I I may have had a fifth position loss in there somewhere, but I think all the rest have been top three positions. And mm -hmm. the Sepe's point system strata <laughs> is not seeing the light of day. Oh, you guys could have also fed the bot the win and kept it going that way. Oh, yeah, we could have kept it going forever. <laughs> yep. If we really wanted. <laughs> no, I'm guessing you guys were all getting sick of playing. <laughs> At least. Well, gentlemen, yeah. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna head. I just want to wish you congratulations for making the finals and extra special congratulations to I am Mamba as the champ. Thanks to everyone who helped out with this tournament. Uh, most extra specially Nathaniel. Thank you for putting it together, sir. We all appreciate your efforts and fun times were had. Oh, well, thank thank you. It's been it's been a blast uh, designing and seeing this all unfold and. Uh, Thank you for having me here to uh, to help cast the finals. It was a blast. Yeah, looking forward to round two, man. Thank you. And congrats, champs. We shall fight each other again uh, before too long, I have no doubt. And hopefully a much shorter rumble. No. <laughs> Seven <laughs> to eight 
round rumble <laughs> minimum. <laughs> <laughs> we were getting we were getting close to the five hours of five round rumble. <laughs> we were getting there. Five hour, oh, five round, round robin well. rumble. Right, be, <laughs> be, be well, guys. Uh, cheers, Pete. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the five round rumble cast. Um, for all of you who competed, you know, I uh, I really enjoyed the effort being made to try and make something previously thought of as impossible, possible. I think it really does go to show that a little bit of um, refusal to believe in the impossible goes a long way. Um, so congrats to Ayamamba. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write out to a uh, spin seeker who is dipping his toe into Twitch, but he's been streaming on YouTube for quite a while. So if you want to see some really high level... Europe advanced progressive capitals gameplay. One of the best. You'll enjoy it. I'm going to enjoy my Sunday. Yeah. He's on. He's on Twitch now. Previously only on YouTube. Pete, wait, what's up? Song? I didn't get a song. But we will get a raid. No, not too many. This is Spin Seeker. This is, um, his name is Risk Live on YouTube. You'll recognize him if, you, if you've seen his show. Uh, folks, yeah, I will be on tomorrow, not to worry. I have a tournament game uh, at noon, my time, 1600 UTC. Be there or be square. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Thank you, everyone, for the support. Thank you, Spud and Becky, for the raid. And thanks again, yeah, to Nathaniel for making this whole shindig go off. Have yourselves a great rest of your weekend. Be well, folks. <laughs>